She should zoom in. She's so happy. Look at her. She's just zooming around. Hey, how are you? How are you doing? Double M! Hello. Hi, welcome. Please come in. Keep me company. It's either Dark Emberly or Dark... Dark Kimberly. Dark Kimberly, Dark Emberly. What is it? Oh, that's wonderful! How is everyone's day at work? Or their day off. How was it? How are you doing? Oh, and I got a froge with a heart. I love it. I believe Double M is the only person who has grabbed the last three days of that damn reward redemption thing. Yes, yes, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Um, oh, that's awful. Oh, hey, how are you? You finally changed it. That's amazing. No, I like that. I like it, it's, it's a good name. You did a good job. That's perfect. And teal with the lecherous uh, duck with the froge. I appreciate froges. So nice of you. Hope everyone's day is going great. We're on day 16. We are on day MFN 16 of this thing. Like, we in it. We in it. Um... I've been doing a bunch of stuff on the back end. I'm trying to plan something for Christmas Eve, the Christmas Eve show. I don't know if it's going to work out. I'm going to do some more brainstorm, basically a game for all of us to play late, like not a, a game, not a video game, but a game. Uh, Yes, Donkey Jim! You're just a little bit kind of nice. <laughs> um, working on that, working on a couple of shirts, and um, potentially finding some new merch. Potentially? Um, 
yeah, I'm trying to figure out like what kind of merch to do. So, so basically right now we use a merch vendor, a, a, a print to ship place. So we are bound by what they can offer. And they're constantly having hoodies go out of stock, which uh, everyone's hoodie, everyone's hoodies are, are going out of stock if you don't pre-buy them and print them on your own. Um, and the the non apparel stuff that they have, it's just it's very limited, it's like a mug, a keychain that looks like a dog tag, but it can't be an image printed on there. It can only be text like it, it's very like weird, just weird stuff. It's high quality, it's just very limited. And I'm trying to figure out what types of things to do for us. Like stuff that that is uh, for the fans. There's two different sizes. There is a, a regular standard size mug and then there's one that is slightly taller. They're not like like the big mugs that I would eat soup out of. Let me see if I have actual sizes. All right, which one is that? I think they're both. So let's try that one. Does it say? Let me see if it actually gives me dimensions. It just says like, like on my end, it says mug and large mug, but I know that there are actual sizes. So let's try the, let's just go in and see what they got. I guess it'd be home and living, I guess. Uh, oh yeah, so they have like water bottles, which is just like that, that plain stainless steel bottle and you can do like an all around print fine whatever and then the mug the ones that we use are the glossy so the smallest size is 11 ounces and the larger size is 15 ounces in the shop oh yeah okay so in the shop there is a drop down and it will show you both so we have one, no rusty mugs. I'm so sorry. <laughs> they actually gave us an option. Yes, leave. They give us an option for different mugs, but the it's very weird. I'm, I'm very, I am lucky that I have this opportunity to actually uh, see what types of items they have available. Like they have an enamel mug that's like, it's like metal and enamel over it and all of this. And they have like, I normally would not know this sort of stuff, but now I do. So it's, instead of bitching about it, I'm finding the silver lining. So right now it's like very limited. Um, yeah. So I found a couple of vendors. I, uh, my best friend and I, we are in the middle of building a print business. Um, it's very slow because we want to do it right. Uh, and it's, it's a little difficult, but we're getting there. And I'm hoping by this time next year, we have a complete store stocked with merch that, that we actually have, like we have it on site and it's already been printed and we just got to box it and go. Uh, so yeah, cool stuff. Uh, like there's also like grow pillow and uh, stickers. Like even the, the stickers are just kind of weird and they're not cut properly. And and the companies like they're they're super cool. They'll if there's any kind of def defects, they'll replace it. But at the same time, I'm supposed to be paying for quality and I'm not getting it. And you know. I, I probably get at least one person every few days saying, hey, where are the hoodies at? It's like, yeah, they keep getting sold out and <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah, so like this time next year, we'll definitely have a full store and hopefully extremely soon we'll have like a, uh, we'll do like a bulk order. Like, okay, we have limited stock, but 
these are done, these are printed. What size do you want? And then, you know, at least we'll have a run like that as opposed to right now where it's like, I could maybe there's one that they can print for me, maybe, fingers crossed. Exactly, Donkey Jim, exactly. Um, and like I said, it's a good learning experience. Um, I would ultimately like to be able to run something like this for other streamers. Because right now your your options are you you pay an exorbitant amount to a manager and they run everything and they take a, a hefty amount of your your income coming in. But that's like if you're like, you know, you've got a lot of money for little little guys. There's not a lot of options. You basically have to do it yourself or you have to recruit your wife, whose name is Miss Queeb, to do it for you. And then she's just kind of like flying by the seat of her pants and figuring stuff out. Like uh, beanies, for instance, we have a beanie. Or rather, we got a sample of the beanie, and it's awful. It's like folded over fabric, and it's just, it looks very cheap, and mm -mm. I, I won't, I won't do that. I refuse. They have some others, and I'm just, I'm not, I'm not happy about it. Like, they have a, uh, I don't know, it, it's... It's hard to explain, like, especially with, uh, you know, with, with beanies, for instance, it's hard to explain what kind of beanie, it's hard to explain what kind of hoodie, um, because unless you've actually held a really crappy hoodie in your hand, you don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, so yeah, we're working on that, uh, worked a bit with, uh, with Lofenstein. Mr. Um, right now, his name is Archie. Bonus baby Archie. Right now, it, it will change probably. Uh, he got new lights in, so he's good to go. So now, four of the five babies have lights. You can see Miss Ripley in the back. We are right now... This is part of what her breeder suggested. Uh because her light triggers her and she has darted out towards her light. We ins took away the, the heated light and we gave her a ceramic heat emitter. So it's basically, it looks like a bulb, but it's flattened, it's made out of ceramic and it heats up. So the bulb itself gets up to like 600 degrees um, and her tank will stay around 85 to 90 degrees. Uh, maybe a little cooler than that because it is such a tall tank. Um, so yeah, so right now she doesn't have a light. We're going to see how it works. We're we going to see what's going on with it. Uh, what else? Uh, there is a game today, obviously. Queeb does not know it. I know it. The end. No. <laughs> um, mug, get beard. We have a mug with a beard, if that is the question. We have a mug with a beard, and then we have a mug with the unofficial Queeb logo. So there's the one with the beard. I randomly made an M with a McQueeb under it. I, I love the shit out of it. I will probably get... Um, I'll probably have a hat made with it. Oh, uh, where am I going? Oh, there you are. There's... Wait, why does it say Blackbeard? Oh, okay, it's the right one. Okay, cool. Um, what else is going on? Uh, went grocery shopping. By the way, if you have not gotten your Christmas dinner, your your Christmas meat. I would suggest you do that. I would suggest you do that today or tomorrow. Uh, I go to a, a popular grocery store in this area. They were out of turkey breast. They were out of um, 
the small hands. They had one left. I grabbed it. And then they had like three of the bigger ones. So I'm not trying to rush you. I'm simply saying you may want to go look and get your meat early. Um, yeah. I believe it is risk of rain, Gabe. Hi, how are you? Flying by the seat of one's pants comes from lack of navigation tools and early aviation. Where am I? Where am I? I like that because that that is exactly my life right now. That is my life. Do I know where I'm going? No. Will I will I know when I get there? Probably, maybe. I'm doing my best. I do like it. Uh, during the subathon, we played um, a bunch of uh, soundtracks that have already been approved by DMCA, and we weren't going to get any kind of takedown notice for them. And honestly, this one, like, there were four or five songs that came up. And we would have it playing basically while we're doing pregame like this. And there are four or five songs that would come up and I'd be like, hold on a second. What is this one? And we actually had like the tracks come up for it. Super nice. I've never played the game, but uh, we're doing good. If you're just joining us, hi, hello, my name is Ms. Queeb. That's not really my name, but it, it's the name I go by here. Uh, and today is day 16 of the Queeb Miss Queeb event calendar extravaganza. Spectacular. Uh, yes, that is Miss Huxley in her tank in the back. No, her light is not broken. He is being retrained. Uh, our advent calendar is right there towards the middle of the screen. It is a bunch of little boxes, and when Queeb joins us and graces us with his presence, he will uh, open drawer number 16. And we will get to see what today's game is. It is 623. I can go ahead and I can pull up info on this game. Uh... I will pull that up. And we will, uh... <laughs> Outward, do you mean Outer Wilds? Because he's fucking obsessed with that game. I swear. By the way, is it raining anywhere else with anyone? It is raining again. It is. I, I love this kind of weather. This is amazing. Uh, I can't open any of the windows or doors in my house because uh, as soon as the, the doors open, uh, loaf goes crazy. So I'm just... I'm just kind of stuck. Oh my God. Yeah, I was trying to tell, I was trying to basically like let it be known how, how desperately we needed this rain. I'm like, you don't understand. Like, it's not even a bad rain. It's like a, a light drizzle. This is only the second day of rain that we have had since February. It's awful. It's it's sad. I love it. I, I absolutely love it. As much of a pain in the ass as it makes my life right now because Loaf is Loaf he, he hasn't seen rain. 
<laughs> the other day when it rained for the first time, that was the first time Loth has seen rain because he's a baby. And he was like, wait, what? What is this stuff dropping on my head? And like coming over to me and he just has mud all over his face. And he's like, mama, I need to give you kisses right now. Like he's, he's such a sweetie. Gabe, yeah. We live in Los Angeles County. We haven't had rain since February. And most of California. Like, there are little pockets that get rain, sure. But most of it does not. Like, we're we're in desperate need. My grass has not been green since last year. Like, it, it'll get, like, little sprinklings of green. But the, the lawn itself has not been green since last year. I'm so jealous. I, I, I hate a lot of things about Texas, but I do not hate the rain. I loved the, I guess the, the rainy season in Texas. Oh, it was so nice. Like I had this, uh, I had this house in, uh, like over Irving area, like in an older neighborhood. I lucked out and I found someone who, uh, who wanted to keep their house, wanted to rent it out. I'm like, yes. Yeah because the houses, they're just so hard to come by there in that area. And so it's like a larger lot, a large front and backyard and the house, it's, you know, just like a, a one story, but there's big trees in the backyard and the front yard. So whenever it rained, you would, it wouldn't rain as much in those areas, just like little sprinkles because of all the leaves. Uh, and I could just like leave the windows open and just listen to the sound of the rain on the leaves and on the roof and on the porch. Oh my God, just so nice. <laughs> yeah, it's it's pretty awful. I live where it snows, it's freaking. I, before Queeb and I got together, I, it was it was probably there for, for several months. I thought about moving to Boston. I wanted to move to a place that was blue because I, I am a, I'm not a blue, but I'm, I identify more with blue ideals. Some place historic, some place, um, that had like, like a good community, if that makes sense. Like, uh, I know New York gets like a bad rap, everybody being quote unquote, you know, pissy or whatever, but I heard lots of good things about Boston and I was down for it. I'm like, oh my God, that would be amazing. Prices are outrageous. Prices are fucking outrageous. And then on top of it, dealing with the snow. I'm like, you know what? I'm, 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 I'm not down for the snow. I'm down for a little bit of snow, but not a lot of snow. Too forgetful. Hi, how are you? Thank you for joining us. You are absolutely correct. And so then it, it got to a point where I was looking outside of the city and I was looking in the suburbs. I'm like, no, 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 no. I want to, if I, if I do this, I want to do this right. I want to live in Boston, in the downtown area. I want the cobblestone streets. God damn it. I want the buildings that are that are a few hundred years old. Like like I want old shit. And it just it defeats the purpose if I'm having to move like like 30 minutes to an hour outside of the city just to be able to afford like, nope, I'm not gonna do it. It's it's fine. Rear ended someone on my way to my trainer, no one hurt low speed, but oh I'm so sorry. I'm so so sorry. Driving in snow with icy roads is not my favorite. Yep. Yep. Uh, Texans do not know how to drive in the rain. They do not know how to drive in the snow. They do not know how to drive at all. Sometimes, but most, most of the time, no. Sounds painful if it happened there. So it'd be nice if we had to... Roads in Boston are fucking... <laughs> Sister lives there and the roads are all aligned... Oh my god, that's awful. Uh, yeah, like, like, it was one of those things where when I, I, I asked a few people, well, I asked several people on social media, like, hey, 
here, here are the things that I'm looking for. I've already done my own search, but knowing these, these things that I need, what would you suggest? And Boston kept coming up and then people were raving about it. Right? So whenever I, I was like, okay, I think Boston might be the city. I'm going to start doing my research. Um, tell me what you know. And then that's when like, yeah, well, I know I said Boston, but yeah, you don't want to live there. I, I know your personality. You wouldn't do well there. I, I have thought about Copenhagen. However, uh, my choice of dog does not allow me to live in most European places. And that's okay. That's okay. I don't even know if they allow snakes. Denmark, import moving reptiles. Bringing these pets to Denmark is not allowed. Tell me, I would love to know. Unlawful dog breeds. Look at that. Number one, Pitbull Terrier. Both of my dogs are like at least 25% Pitbull Terrier. Number three, American Staffordshire Terrier. Both of my dogs are like 74% Staffy. <laughs> Other animals like birds, fish, reptiles have their own regulations, and many breeds are unlawful or lim unlimited in quantities. Let's click it. Tell me. I, I would love to know. Please give me more disappointments. I love disappointments. Check with the... I don't even know how to say that word. Photovirus... Dyrilson. I don't I'm not I'm I'm not Danish. Why would it be expected for me to know how 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 to sound like a Danish person? Let's see. The Danish act on dogs. Yeah, we already know you don't like my dog. It's cool. Tell me tell me about my snake though. Tell me about my snake. We are about to do hints. Because we got to get some guesses in before Quaid comes in here. Other pets, reptile and turtle bear. There we go. All right. Let's see. What is the... Uh... Flies. Nobody brings flies into the country. Oh, God damn it. Crocodilia is not allowed. Motherfuck. I, I was I was going to uh, bring my Chinese alligators and I cannot. Donkey Jim, most most uh, countries in the world will not allow those breeds because of uh, not necessarily directly because of dog fighting or it's rather just because of the stigma of them and the stigma of having a quote unquote bully breed. Um, I haven't looked this up in a couple of years because it was quite abysmal, but uh, out of all of the countries in the world, there were only 20 ish, like 23, I believe, that I would be allowed to move to with my dogs. Um, and it's, it's, it's not because they are dogs. It is because they are bully breeds. Um, yeah. And it, it would be one thing if they did not look like their dog breed. Like if they looked like, I don't know, like a terrier of some kind, like, like a cute little Jack Russell or something. Oh no. They are, uh, they, they are what they look like. So I believe the snakes may be good to go, and that is fine. So that, that's good to know. I still can't go anytime soon. Uh, I mean, I've got an eight month old. Oh, 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 eight. Ho hold on, math. We got to do math. March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. I have officially a nine 
month old Daffy. Loaf has aged nine months. He has proofed in the oven for nine months. He is a little asshole, but I love him. They are. They are the sweetest, kindest. I met a uh, three-legged pit bull yesterday at the pet store. Was super cute. I wanted to give him like just all the kisses. Uh, another one came in and he was, he was walking his dad. His dad was not walking him. He was walking his dad. Um, and his dad's like, hold on, hold on, go slow, go slow. And he was just like, no dad, we gotta go in the store. We gotta go get bones. Like he was just, he was on a mission. Very cute. All right, let's do some hints. The Game of the day. Can I tell you the developer? What do you mean, my... <sighs> Don't you like it when you get those alerts? It's like, hey, this might not be a safe website. It's like... No, it, it, it's Walmart. I mean, it's, it's not a safe store, but it's a safe website. Uh... Uh, I cannot tell you and but here's something I can tell you the developer and the publisher are one and the same and that is to say I cannot tell you anything that they have created because they've only created one ish kind of thing a lot of stuff in relation to that one thing Ukrainian in a bell tower how are you my friend I miss you I love you uh, you are just in time for some hints it is day 16 after all we're gonna do some hints for uh the game of the day all right so we know the publisher and the developer are one and the same but they haven't made very many games number two very positive reviews a, a crap ton of positive reviews um it is a few years old and now on to the tags it is a card game it is a dungeon crawler. It is. It has the tag board game. Uh, third person choices matter. Female protagonist. Rogue light and action rogue like. Uh, and then it is also a rogue like deck builder, fantasy, and it is a rogue like hack and slash strategy action rpg and rpg let me see if there is any thing i can tell you aside from that uh the thumbnail ah very simple very simple thumbnail huh. okay so bad Uh, Dungeon Crawler, Dark Fantasy. Was that one of the tags? I don't remember that tag. Was it? Y'all, don't make me do your job for you. No, it just says fantasy, but the description says Dark Fantasy. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Like the reviews are uh, like people people have like a decent amount of time invested in the game. Okay, that's cool. So it wasn't like a lot of people only playing it for like an hour or so saying I hate it. I'm still here. I'm I'm having, you, you know how these are. I'm deciphering a description. Action RPG. Okay. 
We know that. Yeah, board game. Okay, board game, card game. Cool, 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 cool. All right. So right now, did someone guess yesterday? No, they did not. In fact, no, nobody got yesterday. It was uh, basically just had to, uh, what, what's it called? Wash, it was a wash. Give me a second. I'm not in front of the computer right now. I'm needing to attempt to check on Ripley's heater. Do you see my hand? See that laser? Yes, I'm having to check temps. Okay, it's down to 140. Okay. So she's... Okay. She's doing good. She's doing good. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. You know, I, I take my role as being um, a, a, a bodiless entity on this channel very well. I take it very seriously. I don't want to... Uh, you know, don't want to cause a stir. Quabe, you are early? Well, no. Or, or are you fine? I'm here. <laughs> Was that there? Um. Have I missed the, the hints? I just gave the hints. We have two guesses so far. Bylem, hi, how are you? Uh, I can run through it again super quick. Um, it is uh, same developer, same publisher. That being said, they haven't really made a lot. Okay, go on. Ton tons of positive reviews. Go on. A few years old and for the tags the most important tags are going to be card game board game uh fantasy although the description says dark fantasy uh action rpg and strategy choices matter female protagonist atmospheric board game and card game and, Those were the and tags. fantasy action. Yes, and I'm gonna go with what uh, Too Forgetful said. That's that's my guess. Okay. Yeah, dicey dungeons doesn't quite fit there. Alex, hi! Look at the dancing babies. I love um, how they get down. They're just they're so happy. Day sixteen today. It is day sixteen. Candy cane. You gotta have that candy cane. What are you what are you gonna do when it's no longer Queebmas and you don't get candy canes every day? I don't understand the second part of that question. <laughs> oh my god, Bylem, I'm so sorry. That is that is insane. One hand of fate two tonight. Yeah. I will still give ah, it too, too forgetful. You missed the sequel. Yeah, no, no, no. so did I. Uh, I will still give it to uh, Hand of Fate. Yeah, she's uh, she's been hanging out. She's trying to figure out what's going on. She's not. Uh, Have we done jams? We we need to open like. We need to open some jams, some jammy jams. Hold on, I'll come over and I'll assist. Hmm. 
Ms. Quaid was picking the numbers. Just because there's so many that, that we've already taken out and it's too. She's opening 16. We need to work it out so that we have the right number moving forward each day. Today's Bon Maman jam is apricot bergamot. Same one? They wouldn't do that. Oh, really? Did the same thing. <laughs> also, strand number 11. 11. I'm a huge apricot jam fan. It's one thing I haven't had in the States, actually. It's not something that just oh. people in the States do. Oh, it's a blue top. A blue top? What's that, honey? Uh, it, just, just honey, just honey. honey flavored honey. But I wonder, I wonder if it's back. Is it their honey? Do they forget? We go more, another one. We can do another one. Do it. Love and laugh. Oh, I gotta read that. I forgot to live in that one. I don't know. Peach jasmine flower spread. Uh, not a big peach flavored foods person, but I'll try it. I picked up some assorted meats and cheeses for our little shark coochie board. Yes, I, we know how to say it right. That's just how we say it in our house. You don't have to correct us. Um, got a bunch of little stuff, crackers and whatnot. And so we'll just nosh around. Oh, somebody ordered a mug. Yeah, we were talking about mugs earlier. Come on. Teal? Is it? Was it teal? Mm. Needed uh, a... Stuff 10 ounce mug or more? No. Uh, I was incorrect. Yeah. How, how will we decide which ones you're going to open? We well, said you obviously don't want to open all of them and spoil them. You, the ones I like. That's what I'm saying. Do you already... Oh, you will eat them. Oh, okay. That's cool. Well, I'm, I'm glad that you you thought about me in this equation. That's cool. Thanks. All right. Office manager, Shub. Shub, congratulations. Please be a good manager. You are... Care uh, about people. Uh-huh. Care about people. Don't let people dump shit onto your job. You got this. All right. Looks like people are waiting for... Uh, what was the game? Eat hand of fate. Bylin, that is amazing. I mean, it, it's it's not amazing. It got extended because of the virus, but it's amazing it got it extended. I'm more focused on the inventory and purchasing and payroll side than the you did. Oh, that's perfect. Is it for a tiny company or for a big company? You know that Queen Vent calendar is looking pretty cool. 
I like the pictures. That was a good, good choice, McQueen. Well done. You did a, you did a good job. Frostman, how are you? Hey, Frostman, just in time for the, uh, the, the betting, the betting scenario. Dude, that, that's a good job. I, I have, this is stupid. I have fond memories of the office manager or the admin person that we had at our, uh, middle school and our high school. She was super cool. Uh, whenever you would go in to like talk to her, she was just like really down to earth and she would like slip us a piece of candy. It was great. Loved her. She was, she was cool. Your kids are going to love you. Alrighty. Two thousand four hundred quibbles. What are you gonna what are you gonna spend them on? Uh well the only thing I can spend them, which I will probably be betting, yes, because I need to make some coin. <sighs> I need to make money. I I'm I am I am here. Have you bet yet? I have not. And don't tell me, oh, just wait and find out how the run is going. I don't know anything about this damn game. Chat will give you some sort of indicator. Chat will lie to my face. No, they won't. <laughs> vote, vote yes. Should we make sure that it's like the good candy? Like seriously, and don't have it like, maybe don't have it on the desk, but make it so, like, if if someone asks for a piece of candy, give it to them. That way, like, like word spreads. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, just go in there and just see how he's doing. Also, ask him for the candy. Like, you'll make so many friends. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, we need a bomb. And I need it now. Alright. Alright, let's do this. Focus. We're up to 13. We passed the cursed run 11. That is done. You can, you can tell me if I missed a, a marked rock for sure. Absolutely. Uh, if you see an X rock specifically, like a non-tinted marked rock, fucking shout that shit, because that's gonna be small rock. That would put me at 0 0.7 speed, which isn't great, but um, but we'll do our best. Third most watched streamer on your recap. Sad it wasn't number one. <laughs> I got listed the other day. Somebody somebody posted on Twitter. Well, yesterday. Somebody posted on Twitter. Um, God, it was it was I, I was one of the people included in their top five, and it was uh, like a really cool group to be a part of. I was I was surprised. So we got to get that luck stat high. Tarkov streamers. A few people have had me up there with Pestily, which is even more mind blowing. <laughs> must be must be the Australian connection. Is the tinted rock in Yeah, dude, I, I okay. I retract my previous statement. No, don't tell me unless I miss it. But we're, we're still in the same fucking room.
um, and there, there will most likely be a reason I don't immediately take something as well, so... Let's go slow here. I want you busting up, busting up my party. I don't even know if he can. It's not a risk I'm willing to take. Oh, fuck. Okay. <sighs> oh, man. Waste of time. Me, Cobalt, and Emrose. I mean, that's, that's what I'm talking about. That's wild, dude. <laughs> Cobalt's one of the people I look up to. He's like, he's like my, my Isaac dad. Although I, I think he's a little bit younger than me, but that's just a, a looper situation, that's all. Alright. Shot speed and speed. We got half a heart, one heart total. We got six cents. We should be able to make this happen. Should. Where do you get your recap? You'd have it already in your inbox. Uh, Twitch kind of dropped the ball on this one. If you have marketing emails turned off, you wouldn't have got it. And as a result, you can't get it. It's from Twitch and it has some emojis in the title if that helps you find it. But yeah, if you have marketing emails turned off, it could be just a fucking sick ploy to have people turn that shit on, which is, yeah, I wouldn't doubt that either. Perfect. Back to the item room. Perfect. Uh, maybe. Negative. Black Candle OP. Black Candle's amazing. Gives you a black heart, but more importantly, you don't get curses on every floor now. It's pretty fucking important. Hmm, I could go for the golden chest. Two bombs, bruh. Pretty pricey. And I don't have a key. <laughs> Oops. So super secret is in uh, against the large room there's no alternative and i'm not going to waste another bomb to find it one in three chances doesn't sound good to me all right let's hope this chest is good if not yeah whatever we're still ahead Now I kind of want to find it, but then I'm worried it's going to be red hearts. And if it's red hearts, I'll be compelled to, uh... Nah, we're good. Let's go. Jump.
He just has McQueeb at third. That's fair. Oh, look, it's, it's, I mean, technically it is a popularity contest, but I ain't about that. I'm, I'm just happy people are here at all. Like, it's fucking, it's an honor. I can't break rocks with this, can I? No, only the the void shit can do that. Do mods even get super fan stats? Oh, I have no idea. It's weird that they called it super fan. Well, okay, if it gives you a top five, then that must super fan must be something else. I don't, I don't know. Like maybe you showed up to a. A percentage of streams or something. I don't know. Twitch are weird, dude. Yes. Mm, yeah. No. However. Just said the magic words. One month constant stream. Yeah, I've actually been. I've been uh, at the uh, con streaming consistently for probably about two or three months now. Um, and only in the last month have I started treating it like, like my job, like my nine to five. Um, that's going to continue. Yep, 6 p.m. every night. Um, well, at least until I find another job. Cells. Not bad, not bad. Get enough viewers. This is better than another job. Uh, Teal, don't get me wrong. That would be... That would be sublime. <laughs> that is not... Uh, that is easier said than done, however. I can't just... Major wave a magic wand. Um, okay, my snake is drinking. Hang on. I've got to move it. So you, you can't bear, you can't hardly see. So Ms. Queeb replaced her heat lamp with a, what do you call it? It's a heat emitter. Um, so it's like a light bulb, but it, it just produces heat, no light. Oh, she's really thirsty. We, she does have fresh water, so maybe that's why she's like, this tastes different. And you did use the fancy water as well. Nothing but the best for our snakes. Hard to tell they're doing anything besides sticking their mouth in the water. Yes! Yes, yes! That is that is so freaking true. Um, it just... she, she'll have like a very... 
it, it depend. It definitely depends on how much water she's drinking. It sometimes she will gulp it, and you can see a tiny bit of movement, like tiny, tiniest bit. Um, but with Huxley and with Faye in particular, it just looks like they're shoving their face in the water, and you can't see anything. All right, interesting. Um, same when they're when they're asleep. I have to check them and I'll sit there for a good 30 to 30 to 60 seconds just watching, examining their body and looking for any signs of movement just to make sure they're breathing. Because um, if they're asleep, I obviously don't want to wake them up. But as soon as I see that tiny little... <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm like, okay, good. <laughs> Moving on. This reminds me that I need to... Um feed Faye tonight and attempt attempt to feed Huximus Maximus Decimus Meridius did you uh, speaking of did you find the videos uh I will do that while I'm sitting here all right like it's it's not about me finding them I have them I just I have to go through the process of like uh did you get the did you take the thing back sorry I don't know what you're asking Oh, the drive. You did take the drive back. Okay, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll come over there and get it. No, so I'll... It's not an easy process. I'm doing my best. Once we've caught up and I have um, uploaded the videos, I want to make sure that the four we've got are done because they're up to two months old right now. Um, once they're all uploaded and I've sent the emails, then I'll mark them as, as complete and then we'll open up the queue again. So if you are waiting for that, I apologize. Just give us a moment. We will get there. I'm sorry, you named your hognose Piglet? That it's a hognose. is adorable. That is fucking cute. It's like the only name that makes sense. Um, Boss Hog? Oh, somebody's in the chat last night. And they said they were thinking about getting a corn snake. They had no yeah. idea we had snakes. The, a visitor from Laffy Taffy stream. Apparently, Laffy Taffy didn't say that I have snakes. I gotta, I gotta hit him up about our marketing strategy. Um, didn't tell her that uh, we had snakes, and I told her to message you on Discord because we love introducing new people to the world of snakes and she was worried that she doesn't have enough room for a corn snake um, now granted we don't know a lot about corn snakes specifically other than the 10,000 hours of research that Ms. Queeb has already done corn corn snakes like like you know the the so the stuff about ball pythons that kind of make you want to like ram your head into a wall which is like keeping their temperature within a certain range and keeping their humidity within a certain range and up oh, the foods one degree too warm guess i'm not eating this month and oh no you didn't wiggle it enough i'm no i'm not going to eat food for for at least the rest of the year um you don't have to worry about that with corn snakes in fact like corn snakes move around as much as Huxley does whenever he is like whenever our snakes are, are moving around a lot because they're hungry that's what a corn snake does generally mm. they are like they are the number one easiest snake for people however they get teeny tiny 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 when they're babies like they they look I'm I'm not I'm not lying here they look like a tiny piece of linguine. Like they're they're that thin. <laughs> Seriously. And at uh, the pet stores, they have to keep them in those those tinier plastic now boxes. I've, now I'm Critter just picturing snake. a snake. <laughs> a tiny little snake with with hands drawn on you know the little there's a there's a cartoonist or an animator out there that draws on yeah. little little black yes. stick hands mm -hmm. on, on things that don't have hands. Um that but he's doing this. Linguini. I love it. I love it. <laughs> they're, uh, they're teeny tiny, and you can't use certain front opening 
enclosures with them because they're so tiny they can slip through the little dent yeah. holes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, corn snakes are amazing. They will get a good length, like five or six feet. And it's basically five or six feet of rope. Like, that's how thin they are. They're not... They're not as chonky and as thick with three C's as the ball python is. 14. The Italian snaster. Oh, there's the pig, piglets in the Discord. Okay, hold on. Please, please hold, please hold. I have to see piglet. I have to see piglet. Oh my god. Queeblet. It's perfect. What are we looking at? We're looking at the pet channel on Discord. <laughs> Little Scoop knows. Oh my god. Is that the one that's overly yeah, dramatic? That's the, dra that's the drama queen. Oh, I love them. Hug They're nose. So... That's awesome. Frostman is correct. They never stops moving. They corn snakes are just that that's their thing, man. They're just that's what they do. Have you seen the animation for icons in Pokemon Brilliant? diamond when you have it no that is a foreign language that i do not speak econ's backwards is snake they're, they're very inventive over at the pokemon company um oh, wow that that is inventive all right i haven't i don't know the animation that you're talking about but um yeah that would be uh i'm sure it's clever they are exceptionally high energy boys please Ignore my, so, my full mouth. I'm eating a Rice Krispie treat. The reason the reason hog noses do that, it's a defensive mechanism. It's like, oh, this thing doesn't want to eat me if I'm already dead. So it'll pretend to be dead, but it's like first year drama school dead. It's, it's, yeah, yeah. it's funny they're, as fuck. They're, they're exceptionally dramatic. They do this whole orchestration of turning over and wiggling around and their mouth is open like they're dying and then they'll finally stop moving right because you know they they've quote unquote died so if you start to kind of prod them and try to like turn them over they're like no 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 i'm dead see and then they do the whole thing all over again like no 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 i died see eh, i'm dead eh. i'm dead see i died and then waiting a second and then prodding them again and it's it will go on forever um now i'm picturing are... now i'm picturing a famous actor that hasn't had the training like <sighs> like imagine walter white right when he just watches hank get killed in the desert spoiler alert and and he's he's the the shock and terror and rage that's in him and it would come out like like a corn snake, uh, like a hognose snake. Did you just spoil Breaking Bad for me? Fuck off! You weren't gonna watch it. <laughs> Don't even. That that shit doesn't work on me. They do, yes. That, that's another thing. They will, um, they, and there's another breed, I forget, or another species that does it. What they'll do is they'll, they'll try to flatten like they're a, a hooded cobra. So they'll flatten like their neck area. And that, I think that's one of their first, uh, uh, defensive maneuvers. Because they're like, no, no, see, I'm a cobra. I'm a cobra. See, you don't want me. And then when that doesn't work, then they, um, then they, they flail dramatically. Like, ah, oh, no, see, I'm dead. Bleh. I died. See, Bleh. they are, uh, they are technically poisonous, but they're not poisonous to humans because we are, we are so big. But I'm sorry, we they're were... technically not poisoned to who? Uh, or, I'm sorry, they're venomous. Um, they're technically venomous, not to humans. Not but... to, not to who, sorry? <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it. Humans. <laughs> Humans. Um, but if we were the size of a frog, then they would be. Uh, they would be uh, ven venomous to uh, to little frogs. In fact, one of the reasons I've never 
been really into hog noses is that occasionally they will get picky about their food. Oh, um, well, we're not used to that. Oh, no, 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 no. Um, but sometimes you have to have a frog or a toad so you can... You're, if you're going to feed them like a rat or a mouse and they're not going to eat it, sometimes you have to rub the rat against the toad. I'm, I'm not lying. This is what snake discovery has to do. And you have to like basically scent the rat so it smells like toad for them to eat. The fuck? Yeah. I'm, it, it is complete. Hey, I'm quick question. Do you, do you know what happens to uh, a toad when it gets struck by lightning? Wow, I've never heard this one. Please, I, I don't know. The Tell same us. thing that happens to everything else. Bada bing. Very, Such very a nice. good line. It, it's it's the worst line in history. So here's the thing. It's not. It is it not is. the worst line in it history. Is. Not it by was, no 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 not by a long shot. It was. Yes. I I disagree. I don't think it's that bad. I really don't. I don't. Not not even close. <laughs> Okay, Mr. Toad, so I'm just going to rub this. I'm I'm telling you, like, what goes through the Toad's head? Like, ah, oh, god damn it, she's rubbing another rat on me. Jesus Christ. Like, it has to be the weirdest thing for them. Like, not only are, is someone rubbing a rat on them, they're usually rubbing a dead rat on them. Can you imagine just someone walking up to you and rubbing a dead rat on you just so it smells like you? I mean, on one hand, I'd be flattered. It's like, oh, of course he's not going to eat because it doesn't smell like me. Not that the line was good, but I'm sure there are a lot of worse lines. Pantheranos is correct. Gabe! Gabe has joined us in the dark side. Thank you, Gabe. Thank you, Gabe. Thank you. Gabe Rick, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Bing bong! So, to... So to me, and, and and this line does get a lot of hate, right? And and it's not well written. But coming from Storm, it's it's so it's so it it screams, I don't give a fuck about you. So like this is just a, this is a, this is another day for me. I'm I'm going to electrocute the fuck out of you. Let me let me stop you there. It's it's not a problem with the line itself. It's a problem with her delivery. It's a very Halle Berry-esque delivery. I didn't even think that was bad. It it was an awful delivery. The the line, it could have worked. It, it could have worked, but it didn't. It flapped. It flopped over like it was a very dramatic hog nose. That's what it did. It's the equivalent of, I don't want chicken, rubs the chicken on steak. Fuck yeah, steak! It's so stupid, but it's true. <laughs> Look, they just, they have a difficult time, okay? I do want to go back up, hold on. I have a boxer called Gomez and a Maine Coon called Morticia after- Oh! Uh... I went to see, uh, on Sunday, I went to go pick up Priestess. Baby Boy and Bonus Baby. And the breeder, he has, I forget what, I, I think it's a boa. Yeah, uh, his name is Gomez because he has a very tiny little mustache. <laughs> and it just, I'll, I'll post a picture from Discord right now. He's like, 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 the the best face the best face what is the caps on your stats the caps on my stats you I mean the maximum they can be i would assume so uh speed which is the first one is two tears which uh which is the second one is five damage unlimited range Think unlimited. Um, next one is shot speed. That's two. Luck can be, yeah, very, very high as well. Um, tears, it has a soft cap of five, which means once you hit that with items, um, you, you will stop. But it can be broken through a couple of different means. So.
I gotta be careful of this room. Damn it. Alright, fingers crossed for an angel room, I guess. We can't afford the keys. Yeah, let's get dad's key real quick. Um, I mean... Yeah, it's worth it for the keys alone. We out. Fucking hate this boss. Um, way too much damage there on this floor we lost most of our damage still didn't get the angel room okay that's fine got a golden chest in the challenge room hmm. go use the battery yeah okay okay Telepathy for dummies is dope. If we can get, it's a stretch, but if we can get uh, Book of Virtues by far and away one of the best combinations in the game. Cool. Would I say giant bean is worth a key? No, I, I wouldn't. I would never. So I need more health. That's a that's a fact. I need more health. Worse with rift because of yeah yeah, R rift ocular rift it can be dangerous. I didn't take it the other day when we had soy milk. Chat was up in arms. They were like, oh my god, like how it's one of the better best items in the game. I mean, it's very good. I'll give you that, but no, that's scary. Favorite character to play with Kane. Original Kane. Oh, you posted your animals in the Discord? Right on. Gomez has been posted. With his little... stash. And I found um, a very chonky boy hog nose that I'm going to post a screenshot of because um, that's that's a baby right there. That's that's a very spicy baby, I bet. But we have a we have we have a, a considerable amount of spicy babies in this household, including Queeb. Especially Queeb. Especially Queeb. He's the spiciest. Oh my god, look at all of the animals being posted. I'm so happy.
by Lynn and Frost. These are, these are some good looking animals. I'm very happy. You 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 have brought me cuteness. I appreciate it. This in the the month of birthmas. Thank you. Thank I you want for to my see gift. the baby. I want to see the baby. Alright, hog nose. Posted. It's just like it, it's a little fat little worm. Little wormy worm. It's pet therapy happiness. I, I absolutely agree. Yep. Yep. I would say I'm I'm being fairly conservative with this number. 90% of the shit that Queeb and I send back and forth to each other, it, it's it, it, it's animals. No question. Yep. And a lot of times it's the same animal because we know what each other likes and what they would have seen. And it's like, oh yeah, yeah, I've already seen that. Or no, I sent that to you like four months ago. But thank you, because so we, I needed to be reminded of this. We are fueled by meme culture in this house. I think that's a fair statement, yeah? Uh, we we are a meme family. We are a meme family, yes. A lot of little in-jokes, but it's like it, it comes from somewhere. Um, <laughs> and uh, it, it, between memes and animals, if you get a combination, meme, animal post, fuck. I'm set for hours. Mm-hmm. Um, you know how there's the five love languages? Oh, like, um, giving and receiving gifts, um... Like acts of service and, right, right, right. Uh, I, yeah. yeah. So, someone redid them to work for people with uh, ADHD or autism. Okay. And one of them is called pebbling. And it it takes after what you um, Why am I penguin so penguins will give each other a pebble if they if they like you like if, if they're like courting you they'll give you a pebble okay and that so that's what the name goes after and it means anything small and it may seem like like meaningless to to everybody else but to you it's a thing so it's like here's a meme oh I I, I found a picture of 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 a, a cat you would like this is for you. So we do a lot of pebbling in this house. It's actually six love languages, pets, and memes. <laughs> it's number six. <laughs> you were correct, Frostman. Isn't he chunky? He he's very thick. And it took me forever to realize that that is a hand he's on. So he he's probably as thick as a finger. But he just, he looks very, very fat from that perspective, and I love it. I just, I want to give him kisses, and I know he's going to get dramatic, but I don't care. For snakes, I have to stick with pythons because I was scared to get a bow. I had a cousin that had some, and I guess he forgot to feed it on time and woke up to it having escaped and trying to take out his arm. Uh, yeah, like, if, I mean, that goes for a lot of snakes. If you don't, um... If you don't feed them and they get hungry, they're not going to try to eat you, but they are going to bite you. Um, however, you have to keep in mind that we're talking about animals that don't have arms, don't have legs, and don't have vocal cords. So if you have not fed them, they, mm. they, they can't like pantomime, hey, like they don't have invisible arms where they open their mouth and they just point inside their mouth like, feed me, belly, mmm, good. Like they can't do that. So I totally believe that. Does anyone have a weird animal? Like a weird pet? But like some people would consider snakes weird. Well, I'm I'm talking like does anyone have like a dwarf crocodile? Does anyone have like I don't. I know nobody has this, but does anyone have like a pangolin? Like I want. I want weird. Like tell me. That weird. would be illegal, yeah. Uh, pangolins are highly illegal. They are so illegal that they are my favorite animal, and I will never get to be in the same room with one. And it, it's a little heartbreaking, but I completely understand. Did you know the skin is made of keratin, which is the same stuff that you find in well, human fingernails? I do. I do. Uh, their scales are used in Chinese medicine, and that's why they oh, are. Fuck. Right. Yeah, that's that's why there uh, there is such a, an embargo against them. I believe that there is a rescue in this state, 
but do it's... they accept visitors? No, asking they do not. asking for a wife, a uh, friend. <laughs> Uh, no, but there is an otter rescue out here that lets you swim with otters. So that, that oh, that's is on here. My, that's it's in this state. It's actually in this county somewhere. So I do plan on doing that. Oh, in the okay, let's do that. <laughs> um, I, I would absolutely love to hang out with an otter. And a friend of mine, she works with. A, is it called Animal Tracks? I think it's called Animal Tracks. It's like up in, um, it's like up and over. I'm, I think it's like high up in the valley. It's pretty expensive. It's $75 to get in. And it, they're like, I'm looking at the website right now. They have possums. They have Patagonia and Maras. What's that? Hedgehog. It looks like a cross between a little donkey and a squirrel. It's very cute. Um, so I'm they have having trouble uh, visualizing that. Hold, hold, please. Can you look over here? You can keep all the possums. Not that conversation again. Mm -mm. We had this the other day. Um, I don't know what's it, going on. It broke out in chat. Chat gets fucking passionate. Chat, stop. What is up with you? The only thing we can agree on and I don't care if you don't, is that No Man's Sky will never be redeemed. Never. Um, I'm going to post it in the pet channel. Patagonian Mara. Um, I think that would just be the easiest place to put it. Super cute. I'm not the Thanks. only one what, Bylum? I owned a hedgehog for a long time. I love hedgehogs. I, I would own a hedgehog. I think they're illegal in California, along with uh, ferrets, weasels. Um, I thought about a sable, just because that's an interesting kind of pet. Sables are illegal here. Um, I did find out that I could own a camel, a tiger, or a zebra if I were back in Texas. That's pretty cool. Really? I, I absolutely could. that can't oh i'm not the only one that can't picture the the oh it's yeah. i just posted it on the pet channel in discord like it's it looks nothing like you think it looks but super cute possums i uh, we have i think i've told you guys this we have possums that live in the yard behind us like not not um it, it's not a pet like it, it they 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 live there they have commandeered the the tree there um, so late at night, we have a, a fence that goes behind our property and it's like a, like a brick fence, a brick wall. And every night, like we have cats walking back there and the dogs freak out. So occasionally. Wait, our dogs are... freak out? I know it's hard to understand, but it does happen occasionally from time to time. Um, and they will, they have a, they have a weird bark when it comes to the possum. <laughs> and whenever I shine a flashlight on it, the possum always has this look on his face like, man, I'm just trying to go home. I'm just, that's it. I'm just trying to go home. That's it. Can, can I go? Can I leave? Um, I, did I tell you guys that one of them touched my hair a few weeks ago? It like, I was leaning against the wall with my head and I felt something touch my hair, kind of like a leaf touch my hair or something. And I turned around and it was a possum with its little hands, its little finger hands stretched out. And I freaked out and then it like ran down the wall and then the dogs freaked out. It's the hands like. I love the hands. They're so cute. I want to own a fox. I do, too. There's a fox rescue. There's a fox rescue and I followed them. Juniper the fox. Oh, <gasps> she's a baby. Zephyr 11 months. Dude, Steph. one day before break. I can't yeah. wait till you're off. Like I'm I'm excited about it. <laughs> Thank you, dude. Thanks for the resub. Phylum, I haven't seen the possum, but I've seen the raccoon with the cotton candy. Yeah, where he like starts to put it put it in the water and it dissolves and he's like, Where'd it go? Where is it? Where is it? It's the hands. Like it, it it's something about the hands. 
and I'm just like, oh my god, I love it. Like, like, oh, oh. I would absolutely if if I had unlimited funds, unlimited, I would absolutely be someone who who lived at a zoo. I would like I would have 14 billion different animals. They would all have like people to take care of them. Absolutely. Oh, oh, you you like you like beardies? Have you seen an albino beardy? I have one over here. Come here, I'll show you. Oh, oh, sugar gliders. I I have a, a purple sugar glider. Would you like to see it? Let's go. It's this way. Yeah, but by let's see, I know exactly what you're talking about. Weird minds think alike. Skunks absolutely make good pets. There was like this whole controversy with a uh, with a YouTuber who stole them from her her then ex boyfriend. And, oh, you told me about that. Yeah, yeah. And she she had them descented, which is like a huge no no. Because that's their only defense mechanism. They 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 can't bite hard. They don't have claws or anything like that. And so she had them descented. Just like stupid shit. But I have um, some some states. It's weird. Some states they can't be classified as a pet. They have to be classified like you have to classify as a, a rescue. Can I? And they're... Sorry. Yes? Sorry. Um. This must have happened yesterday or today. Um, we have passed 12,000 followers on the channel. That's good. That's good. That's good. 12,000 weirdos. 12,000 weirdos. 12,000 weirdos. Over 400 subs. All weird. All of us. Good job. Good job, Queef. I'm very proud of you. We're all proud of you. Uh, yeah, so some of them in some states, and it's the same with raccoons. Some of them can be pets. Some of them have to be classified. Like, you have to classify as a rescue before you get it, and then you have to have a permit, and it's a whole thing, and then they have to be descent in all of this shit. Um, it's like that that's probably the number one reason why I don't have an animal like that because it I can't imagine owning a pet and then like let's say that I have to move for a job and turns mm. out that hey, I can't I can't take my animal or I can take my animal but I have to register it with the fucking state like it's just that's that wouldn't be I'm, the worst thing. It it wouldn't be, but it it's like there is uh there was another thing I I read um this what was it? It was like um family registered, I believe it was a raccoon, registered the raccoon. Laws changed and they had to turn the raccoon over to the county and the raccoon stayed with the county for a very long time and it was like they they kept making these social media pleas like please give us our baby back give us our raccoon back right. um and it was like a huge deal i don't even know where it ended up and i don't want to google it because i the only option was right. like they had to release it or it's no longer living it's crazy that ferrets aren't allowed i know right like in texas i believe I, th I'm, I'm, I would assume that they were legal there because they had them at the, the big chain pet store. Same thing with Florida, but out here, even chinchillas aren't allowed here. Like, they, they are, but it's like a thing. Um, they had one at a pet co, and I think what the story is, is that someone dropped it off. And so with that one, at the time, the, the woman told me that you would have to get it registered with the state. And that they were allowed to keep it there as a quote unquote rescue because it was just dumped. Mm. In Pennsylvania, anyway, they have to be bought from a verified breeder. 
there's some states you can't bring certain dog breeds in. That is correct. Even counties, we thought about moving to Denver and in the county that Denver is in, they do not allow pit bulls. I don't know if they do now, but at the time they did not. Um, so we could not move with our children and that's okay. I love ferrets, super cute. Um, Sable, Sables look just like ferrets, that same family as weasels too, but they have like different coat colors and they're just, they're, they're cute. They're very cute. And Theranos, I would absolutely consider it a sugar glider weird, not because it's weird, but because it's not very common now because places are starting to crack down. And a Boston Terrier is absolutely weird. <laughs> it's absolutely weird. Norwegian Lund... Is a Norwegian Lundhound the... Hold, hold, please. Norwegian Lund... If you, yes! If you take on a pet, you should look after the animal, give it the best life you can. Ah, yes! People should do a lot of things. People are also fucked, so... You're being logical. Stop that. I have... I've heard about the Norwegian Lundhound. I know I'm not pronouncing it right. Um, the reason I remember it is because they were originally bred to be puffin hunters. And I was like, what? Puffin hunters? Like the, the puffin, little birds? Yeah, yeah, a puffin hunter. <laughs> That's the only reason why I know why this dog exists, because I was like, what? Wow, okay. And like the dog doesn't look like it would, I, I don't know, the, the dog looks like it might could potentially be an asshole, but it just looks like a dog. Like it looks like a dog. I'm sure nowadays if you took one and you showed it a puffin, you're like, here's a puffin. They'd be like, wait, what? This thing? You want me to get this thing? That's the, the larger beaked flightless bird or are they, are they flightless? They are flightless, I believe. I thought puffins were small. <laughs> Welcome to McLeod's stream where we regularly, every day, have a discussion about some random ass thing. Today, puffins. Oh, he's majestic. Oh, I love them. Mm. Tell me how big. 13 inches tall, well, 32 centimeters tall. Wingspan, 21 inches for the Atlantic Puffin. And then the largest is like 15 inches tall with a 25 inch wingspan. So, so they're tiny, but they're, they're very cute. Puffins can fly. Hmm. They're very adorable. I love the the cats that have the 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 thumbs. Mm -hmm, They're very. Mm -hmm. I love them. I don't like. Is that it, a deformity it, or that's that's their breed? Uh, well, it it is a deformity in that any cat can. Well, I think most cat breeds can. Sorry, let me let me rephrase. Is that a genetic trait? Oh, oh would you like a cat with thumbs? I would. I would. <laughs> cats with thumbs. He's the only one that's going to be able to defend himself against Loaf. That is true. It is hereditary, so we just have to find a cat who, who has kittens that has it. Some parts of the world have more thumb cats than others. I have heard of this, <laughs> yes. Um, ships often traveled with a cat on board to catch stowaway mice. That is correct. Um, and they would, I don't know if this is true or not, but I've, I've read this fact several times. So they would try to get a cat with a, th with thumbs so they could catch the mice and they were considered lucky and they would call them sailor cats. And so now like, I really want one. <laughs> oh, it's um, called polydactyl. Yeah. Polydactyl. Is there, 
there's not a certain breed that has them. It's just wait, wait until I ask, ask the question. You may, you may not know this one. Is there an item in Isaac called oh. <laughs> polydactyl? Oh my god. We had a cat at my rescue that had at least two extra toes on each paw. We called them Sammy Big Toes. What? No, you didn't. Did you? That's so cute. Phylum. There was an island where they used fake... I've heard this. They used fake puffins to try and get real ones to repopulate the puffin population. The fake ones were on a singular stick, and the real puffins, when they landed on the island, began imitating the fake, pink, fake, one, fake ones and only standing on one leg at a time. What? This is so cute. So what you're saying is they were uh, island boys. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, e Z Ba says, "Oh my God, there is." Does, w there, does that mean there is an item? Main coons have. Uh, coincidentally, I am on a list for a main coon. However, it is a several years long list. We're not getting another animal. Not not for years, like I just said. Yeah. Well, no, you said it's a long list. That list can get cut down real fucking fast. You know it. And I do. And I also know that I don't want a cat anytime soon, but I might one day. So my name's going to stay on a list. I am prepared. There's an item called polydactyly. Taffion, hi, oh. welcome. Oh, 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 okay, yeah, 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 all right, yep. I I love the Maine Coons because they are just so big. Like, I love cat, like, oh, let, me, let me rephrase. I am a dog person. Okay. I've had cats before. Um, uh, it, it allows Isaac to carry two cards or any, com uh, two cards, pills, or any other combination of item. Or any a combination of both. That makes sense. That's cool. Uh. Anyway, yeah. Uh, main coons on the list. With this one breeder. The list my mother. I didn't put myself on a list. My mother put me on the list. Um, I, which is, I think it was a, what's it called? Like a. Please love me. I'm your mother. Yeah, like an olive branch. Um, a desperation I, attempt is, is the word you, you're looking well, for. Well, I, I a little bit, yeah. Um, I'm sure if she would have figured out how to do it for uh, snakes, she would have done that. But she did know that I was interested in a Maine Coon, not anytime soon, but eventually. Um, I would absolutely like find either a rescue or see if I could find one in a rescue. Yes, but because of how big my dogs are, I need to make sure that if I do get a cat, I have a big cat. Like that's just the, that's how it is. Mm. Um, so I am on a list, a several years long list. Uh, yeah, and these cats are huge and they are some of the most beautiful cats I've ever seen. I love their hair. They just look so majestic, like little lions. I'm like, I'm gesturing about like long hair down their neck. Someone you can't in, see. Someone in our, in our Discord has that. That's yeah, right. like someone just posted it. Super, super cute. Cats there. Yep, 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 yep. And it, uh, it looks like a grumpy, but apparently not. That's just grump, yeah. that's grump face. <laughs> yes. Um, but yeah, like there, you can, uh, they do like water. You can train them to actually like water, like like actually like hang out in water. Uh, like there are there, there's that one and a um, Burmese. They are chocolate brown with chocolate brown eyes. Is fights in tight spaces on the Quee event calendar? It, I don't know if it's on the calendar. It was on the list. So it's a it's a possibility. I don't know. Today is the 16th, tomorrow is the 17th, and the list only goes up until uh, Christmas Eve, because we already have Christmas days. I can't tell you, because there's literally like less than a week, or like a week left. Um, 
and I don't want him to have any advantage over chat guessing, but I would I would say continue to tune in, please. Okay, so yeah, apparently it's on the Quevent calendar. <laughs> Expect it in the next week. <laughs> Fuck's sake. You're terrible at keeping secrets, Miss Queeb. Uh, someone... I forget who, but... At least five times since we have started, they keep asking if Enter the Gungeon is on the list. And I'm now at the point where I feel like I need to put it on the list. Because they keep asking. So we can always... I, I don't mind. If there's... Mm-hmm. Bylan, that cat is I'm not beautiful. gonna say anymore. <laughs> I I need to face facts that at this point we've we've got a week left. Queeb I want I want I want chat to guess the games before Queeb guesses them, but I can't give enough clues to chat to guess it without Queeb guessing it first. Um, and it's not your fault, Hobo. No, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Um, no, you're good. I do have a significant advantage when it comes to the list. I know what I own. I know the game. I like. I I remember the the list. I haven't I haven't referenced it since I gave it to you, but it was a solid 250 games long. This guy. There have been a few times where I've given hints in chat, and he's. I'm in the office talking to you guys, and he's... I'm in the office, he's across the hallway in the bathroom. So he can hear what I'm saying. So as I'm giving hints, he will call out, is it this game? Is it this? It's not that one, right? It's not... Okay. So... I've guessed three thus far, but again, I have a, such a huge advantage over everybody else. Because I, cause I know what's there. I think for next year, even for the, the birthday subathon, because I know it's coming. I know you. I know it's coming. Um, yes, we will I, be raising money for my birthday subathon again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I think that there needs to be um, some way that, that, that I can, even if it's something where maybe we announce the game the day before, but it's not a game that you have. Like, like you have no advantage. But but we're able to uh, to acquire it. I know that it would it would be something that would be too clunky to do on the fly. This is why I wasn't going to go into detail. But since you brought it up, um, you, you don't know Laffy Taffy like I know Laffy Taffy. Some people in the chat do. Laffy Taffy. Um, ever since meeting him, I felt like he's my brother. And um, I've spoken to him once now on the on the phone. No, we spoke on Discord, and I had a great conversation. And we kind of, you know, gassed each other up a little bit, told some stories about Twitch and the way Twitch works, and 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 that kind of thing. And um, one of the things he does in his channel is um, he has a spreadsheet called "Play the Game Taffy." And as far as how that how that works, he has a list of games that he is is has been suggested or, or somebody in the in the chat has recommended or it's something that he's looking at, whatever, right? And anyone that financially supports the channel in any way, including subs. Um or, or gift subs. I'm not I'm not sure of the specifics there. They can designate points towards a total on that spreadsheet. Um, never heard of that idea before. It's fucking awesome. I love it. And I'm thinking about bringing that in. I think that would be cool. I do. Um, I was talking to chat that I'm trying to figure out a game for us to play on Christmas Eve. Oh, a co-op game? No, no, no! Like oh. it's 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 not it's not a video game. It, it's a game game for chat to play. Um, oh, like a marble style thing. I think so. Oh, oh, oh my God! I for, I forgot about marbles. Holy shit! <laughs> remember, remember who who was it that was it Monkey who who was like obsessed? 
Do I still have the channel open? Some someone was so obsessed and like literally, he he played like sixteen hours or something in two Cyrosis days. Cyrosis or, or Cry for who was that? I don't remember. I totally forgot though. Um, and then like the skins. Marbles. Here we go. Krona. Yeah, Krona. Oh my God, Krona. I haven't seen Krona in forever. Krona. Because we don't play marbles anymore. <laughs> Yeah, he, he's moved on from us. Um, and you were like, I remember this one time. I want to say it was like day two. Day, yeah, it was like day two. And you're like, um, can I spend some money? I spent, I spent and I'm about like, 100, 100 bucks, about 150 bucks on that. Yeah. And I'm like, uh, um, just for like extra slots yeah. so people can use you know different skins right. and shit and i was like uh yeah and you're like no 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 it it's for marbles <laughs> like, um i mean yeah I, I guess i guess so sure yeah and you're like okay good because i already did you can get some weird <laughs> real weird shit suggested depending on your chat right deranged optician well so that's the thing we would keep it you know there wouldn't be any so, sort of I think, like anime dating games or you know anything well, like that. So like... I don't want to spoil it, but but it would it it, it would be a, a quiz style game, and it would it would be invite all, like I would to because chat is going to be like very populated. I would, I would have to do like by invite. So like we would say, you know, like people pay to like pay points to get in. What like I'm figuring out the logistics, but maybe I'm let's trying... save that for for next time yeah. when we when we have a little bit more time. The negative two days lead time I gave us was um less than ideal this this time around. What really? You mm. did something less than ideal. Mm. What? Um. Also, tap tap. Taffy, I'm hearing echo again. Taffy's the reason we have um, we set up that that throne page so that uh, you know people can. Well, before you hang out with him anymore, I would like to speak to his mother so I can make sure that they're an okay family. Um, I don't want you hanging out with boys who have negative intentions and and who you know, are running around doing, you know, boy stuff. He is the same age. He is a former okay. actor. He okay. is a Twitch partnered streamer who takes uh, his job very seriously. Um, he plays the Binding of Isaac. He's quite good at it. He's all right. Um, he only has 7,000 hours versus my 1.5, so... You know, he, he'll get there though. Um, no, it's it's like I was looking into a mirror. You know, you know, you meet someone, and there's an instant, an instant connection formed. It was, it was that, it was that. Dude, that's that's what I have with uh, with my best friend K2. I've known her for eleven years, twelve years. I've known her since she worked at Blizzard. That, that, that's my sister. Her kid is my niece. My my snake children are her nieces and nephews. I'm I'm glad that you have a, a friend like that. Truly. And funnily enough, I'm I I I'd heard his name thrown around for years, but it's one of those things on Twitch where if I was to check out every single streamer that I heard about even if it wasn't it was you know directly related to something i i probably won't go and check them out like that's the time investment more than anything else and and you know that's not the easiest thing in the world to do but saw him on tiktok once again tiktok it seems to be a central theme in this in this family um and I was like, this guy is cool. And then I watched how he died. And I learned a valuable lesson that day myself since I was doing Eden Streaks. And, uh, yeah, yeah, it was, it was. Kismet 
as the ki the as the kids would say. Well, I mean, just as long as you're, you know, not being little hoodlums running around town spraying up, you know, the the back walls of grocery stores. Later, and, Donkey Jim. You know, as long as you uh you're home at a reasonable time, then I guess me and your father we we don't have a problem with with your friendship yet. Can I force you to play an RTS game or a shmup? Can you rephrase Mop. that question? I'll give you another Mop. I'll give you another chance. Donkey Jim, I love you very much. I will talk to you later. I will probably see you tomorrow. Be good at work. Clads, hello. How are you, Clads? Have you behaved today? Um, uh, as far as the games I try, which which ones we select, like, that's that's the thing. I'll try anything once. I can't guarantee I'm gonna like it. Like tonight's game is a card game, a deck builder, um, which I'm which I'm generally not the biggest fan of, but I'm gonna give it a shot. Today's game is shit. What's it called, Miss Queeb? Hand of, fate hand, of fate. hand of fate. Hand of fate. Hand of fate two. Ah, uh, it's hand of fate two. Is it inscription? No, we've been playing inscription last couple of nights actually with the new Casey's mod, which is fucking difficult. Needs uh needs a bit of a rework. Very very difficult in fact. Balancing, not a not a rework. Anyway, I, I thought that was a really cool idea. Um, I want to be more transparent about where people's money goes. If, if you do support the channel financially, I want to be very upfront about that. Um, and that's one of the things I'm thinking of. It's, it's a brilliant idea. I don't know where Taffy got it from. If he thought of it himself, he's a better friend than I was just talking about. All right, let's get the hell out of here. I don't think I got... Do I want Skatol? Eh, fuck it, extra, not extra item. Can I tie you to a chair? Well, no, when I'm not even gonna entertain that question. No, I, I would play an RTS, um, but this is this is the fun thing, right? Uh, get get Queeb to play Noita. Get Queeb to play fucking Alien Isolation. Good, I mean, good luck on that one, but... Thank you, Zeph. Thanks for the gifted sub, dude. Queeb, when you get to a stopping point, please look at the last entry on the, um, the pet pictures tab on Discord. I'm about to lose my mind. Sammy Big Toes! Oh, oh wait, is this a cat with He has he has tums. He has the tums. Like look how big that paw is. Look at him. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow. There you go. He's beautiful. Zeth, thank you so much. You are you're, you're, you're a little honey baby, sweetie pie. Thank you. That's so nice of you. Trust me, that's one thing that's very important. And we've said it from the beginning. Do not spend money that you don't have. Taco not rent many, money. not rent Taco money. money. Um, eh? and, and all of this is completely optional. You, you don't have to no, we've do anything. During the the birthday subathon, you being here, even even lurking, you just being here, that is enough. If you want to uh, donate to the channel, that is amazing. If you want to share on social media, that is amazing. If you just want to sit there and just be super quiet and just lurk in the background, that is super amazing. We don't care. We love everyone here. Like I'm, I am absolutely a, a lurker. 
if I if I like a channel, I will lurk. Like I'm I'm not generally this talkative on other people's channels. So we we love you all. If you do choose to spend money with us, please do not spend rent money. Taco money only. If 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 you've got rent money to spare, you you took care of your rent, everything's good. Then yes, you are okay to do that. But otherwise, taco money only. I want. Hey. I can I can just leave. This guy's not gonna pay out. Being a jerk. This guy has all my taco money. Well, that's not shocking. Shoob, thanks for taking it as the joke I intended. <laughs> yeah, let's get the hell out of here. Don't care where the money goes here, have a taco. Exactly. Wonder. Asked him how much to play a game, he threw out a number and the person dropped it. That is insane. So, it's, we raided last night, actually. Similar story. Um, and he said, how was your stream? And I, I told him what we did, right? We played um, Isaac, and, and I got up to X number of, of streaks. And then we played Returnal. And he's like, oh, that's right, Returnal. Like, he, he, he's got a, you know, he's got a PlayStation 5, and he should do that. And I, I said, yes, you absolutely should, because it's one of my games of the year. And someone else drops a hundred bucks and says, here you go. I want to see return. Well, I mean, I, I, I do have to admit, if I had the money to make you play a game, I would pay. However, I could just ask. And I could just say pretty please and you would probably do what it. would what would be the game that you would get me? I to don't play? know. That's that's the thing. It'd mm. probably be like, I don't know, Barbie camping adventure or something. I have no idea. What's the Metacritic rating on Barbie Camping Adventure? <laughs> I don't even think it's a real game. Oh, okay. <laughs> There's like forty eight different Barbie games. Y'all are spamming the pet channel with pictures of your babies and God bless all of y'all. Thank you very much. <laughs> They're so cute. <laughs> They're so cute. I love them. Oh my god, Alex, please. Who is that baby you just posted with the ears? What? What? Hello Kitty at Island Adventure. Oh my Could we get him to play something like that? Well, that's that's the whole point. It would be it would be chat interaction, right? You could do it for the memes. You could do it for I don't know to see me sweat. You could do it for but, but because see, you like, genuinely want to see me play a game. Like that's the whole point of this this exercise. But 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 that's that's my my problem with it. I I don't like like I don't know. I just I like watching you play whatever game. Do I like this game? Nah, it's, uh, I it, don't understand it. You you have a strong background in marketing. Yes, I do. It invites chat to be be emotionally invested in in the channel, and that's that's what I want. I, like this isn't like I would be nothing without no, chat, I, right? I completely understand. However, I'm saying me personally, I could not think of a game to get you. To, to play like that. Well, then don't that, you don't have to select one. That's fine. I'm going to strangle you. Well, yeah, OK. Uh, no, I would I would want to see you play a game like, I don't know, like Stardew Valley or something. And just like a, a game that is completely opposite of the types of games that you play. Mm -hmm. You've just proved my point. Okay, but like I don't I don't have a problem with proving your point. My cat is roomy and my dog is Abby. You have an Abby dog? Oh, that's so cute. You have a, a cat named Rumi and you didn't name the dog Michelle? <laughs> I do love that movie. My favorite line is when she's like, I just get so happy when they let her shop.
Like there are s there is is that cat where there's a cat wearing a bow tie. Y'all. I still think we should get um loaf uh, a a tie, a business tie. Not loaf. Although that would be fucking funny as fuck. <laughs> no. The the snakes, the little hats. Hats for snakes. I do want to get You can you can put uh, Etsy links on throne, I think. I'll look. I'll see what's available. I've got, I, I've gotten burned a couple of times from sites like that lately, and I'm like, I, I know, I know that there are several million users. I only got burned a couple of times, but I'm still just un, like irked and annoyed and just. Eh. I am. Um, so I had to submit a dispute because like with an some... Etsy thing. Oh, this is our yeah, the yeah, another one you're talking about. Yeah. yeah. So uh, I don't know if any of you have seen the movie Labyrinth. There is a character in Labyrinth, and his name is Ludo. And there is a creator on Instagram. I'm not going to give the person's name because he hasn't provided product to anyone who ordered around the time that I placed my order um, and he created six like six inch tall Ludos yes by them the one with uh, Jennifer Connelly yeah and I bought two of them because I know so many people who like this movie and I, I have extremely popular especially with people our age it, it's people are just so into it and I know how fast like like I've known this guy for a while and he blew up and that item it had sold out it had been sold out forever and once his videos blew up he reopened uh he reopened it he said okay I've I've made this many I can sell them and I immediately grabbed two because my thinking was, I know at least one person will buy this from me, and if not, I will give it to someone for their birthday. It's like perfect. I got the order confirmation on, I believe it was September 1st, and then nothing else. And I kept checking his Instagram, and every day, it, he whenever he would make a post there would be at least a dozen people saying um i've reached out to you about my order can you please respond and i've sent you a dm and do you have a better email address you're not responding i sent him a total of three emails like hey um it's been about a month he's, uh, he's, you know what hmm. i hate Bye. i hate the term devil's advocate here yes but i've been in situations like that where i've i've agreed to do something like a project or you know student film or, or whatever and then either it comes time you know to, for it and then and then the person like i get overwhelmed and it's it's a shit show of a production and it's just like i so I, like I, I yeah but he, if his communication could be better like he he might be stressed the fuck out and guilty as fuck right now well no 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 here's here's my issue with it i I have been there. I've known people who have been there. Like, I get it. Mm. So that's why I reached out as much as I did. Like, I, I just gave him three emails. I'm like, hey, I haven't, you know, received anything. Can I, um, do you, do you have maybe a shipping estimate? Because I, I would, I would like to know. Didn't hear anything. Mm. And the whole time he is, he has upped his posting game from once or twice a week to once every day. Really? And oh, all of these weird. are supposedly new creations that he's making. And all of the comments, uh, the comments that were on right. the post because he has deleted right. them now. Okay. I'm glad I got screenshots. Um, were like, hey, I placed an order back in August. I haven't received anything. It's almost December. Can you at least respond to my email, please? And so, I, I've gone through this with several people and I've had to cancel orders like back during the beginning of the pandemic. I'd have, I didn't commission. Sorry. <laughs> didn't we get, so we, we filed a dispute. Did, 
I sent you the screenshot of, from the bank, right? And it said that oh. he's disputing the dispute or he's given his side of the story. They were, they were, they had analyzed everything and they were compiling an answer of some kind, but I oh, haven't. That's right. We're going to wait a week. So it'll be next couple of days. I'm sure we'll get that. Yeah. Um, but I have screenshots of, of the, the comments. And I even asked him for a refund. I'm like, hi, you're taking a little bit too long. Can I just get my money back, please? And even then I waited three weeks to file my dispute. Huh. I like, I gave this guy time. I reached out in comments on his post and I got no words. I'm like, okay, I'm not, I'm not doing this. Yeah, that's not I'm cool. not doing this. One, one of the things that I need to work on is people like giving people the benefit of the doubt and I end up kind of getting walked on because I'm like, no, 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 they're, they're fine. They're overwhelmed. And I need to be a little more forthright about it. I couldn't agree more. That happens uh, almost every day here in this channel. <laughs> right. So, um, so yeah, so we got our money back. It was like about a hundred bucks. Got it back. Oh, we did. I, well, what they did was they gave us the credit for it and they said, we're going to go ahead and give you the money for it. Um, and we're going to do our investigation and we will let you know when it's final. So they may take it away. I, I think we're fine though, because I do have proof. I let them know, hey, right. um, here's the links of every every time I've commented on his, that post asking right. for my money back. Um, yeah, there was that. And then I bought, um, I bought a record player earlier, but like a couple of months ago, I wanted to buy one for my birthday. So I did, I bought it, uh, bought one, I decided that I wanted to get into records. I ordered a bunch from, not a bunch, like, like six, from a, a person, not on Etsy, but on uh, a site called Discog. I guess it's an app where basically it's like record shop owners and stuff. And this guy, he had really great ratings. He had a fuck ton of records. And it, it literally took him like a week to respond. At first he, um, I didn't immediately pay him because I didn't know how the website works. Apparently you, you place your order and then you, um, once you place the order and then you pay, you have to like submit the order or whatever. Right. Through. And then he gets it. Well, I forgot to like submit it through. Um, and you know, I sent him like, I'm, I'm really sorry. This is my first time using the site. Right. Thank you so much for your patience. He got back to me after a week. He's like, oh, yeah, no problem. I'll pop them in the mail in the next couple of days. A week goes by and I'm like, hey, did you get a shipping confirmation? A week later. Oh, yeah, actually, I'm in the middle of moving and it's been really difficult and I'll get around to it. Just if you bear with me, I'd be right. really appreciative. Thanks. And this guy, supposedly, these are the excuses I was given. Uh, he moved. He lost the box of country music. I, I ordered three old country records and then three like like Bing Crosby's White Christmas because that's a classic and like, like a stuff like that. So he lost all of the country music. Then he couldn't find his box of vintage stuff. And it, it was just like, man, I'm, I'm so sorry. I didn't get around to doing it and I couldn't find it. And I need to send you your money back. And I'm so sorry, but you know, like I lost my job and I've got this other thing going on and I can't find, find my login for this one site. And it was just like excuse after excuse after excuse. And I'm like, okay, I need to practice grace here. Right. It's, I totally understand. You can send me the money when you need to, if you would like to go ahead and give me a full refund, that is fine. If you would like to just send me the records you have and refund the rest, that is fine too. I'll withhold my comment, my, my, um, my rating for you because the, the site sends you like, Hey, how was your purchase? And mm. it was like months ago, I can't say anything. And I'm like, I'll go ahead and I understand you're going through some shit. It's cool. Just work with me and just keep me apprised of what's going on. I haven't heard from him. It's been a month. Um, I, during that whole time, I sent back the, the record player I got because I decided to go ahead and upgrade to one that wasn't just a record player. It was record player, cassette player. And it was like kind of nice. It was like 150 bucks, I think. Mm -hmm. 
like I wanted, if I'm going to do this, I want to invest the money in it. Besides, that was going to be my birthday present, not the child sitting in the tank behind me. And he is really uh, cute, though. <laughs> he is really fucking cute. Um, so, of course, the record thing falls apart. I returned the, the, the record player that I got that I hadn't even used. I just took it out of the box. So I boxed it back up, sent it back. And when I went to go get the other record player, it sold out on Amazon because, of course, it is because it's Christmas. Um, and I haven't received any of the records from this guy. So it's like I can't win for fucking losing. But hey, I, I have my birthday present. What does that mean? Behind. I can't win for losing. I've heard that. It's not the first time I've heard it, but it's a fucking weird statement. Isn't it weird? Win for losing. What does can't win for losing mean? It's an expression that's been around since the 60s. It comes from the literal meaning, which is that losing over and over again prevents a person from winning. The main idea is that a string of bad luck or misfortune has beset someone, and this keeps him or her from succeeding. This person may try and try, but every time he or she dies, they get bested by someone else or manage to fail somehow. Despite their best attempts, so they still I, manage to Yeah, 100%, I, I get the meaning, the way it's said. I, well, if it comes from the 50s, 60s, or whatever. Yeah, that, okay. Um, what does spun do? Gives you, I think, damage and... Is it damage and tears? Um, that's why I would have thought that that was a damage down that we received but because of spun it was actually in the positive so we 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 lucked out there uh is that boss Do, am i saying your name right uh that is true absolutely could have uh could have given some kind of warning or or something the fact that he is still it's the posting that gets me. He, he's still posting and he's still accepting orders from other stuff. Like he's still posting. I was like, hey, I made this and this is for sale and I have 10 of these available and I have this. And, and deleting comments. What a fucking it's... coward. So I, I delete comments from time to time, but it's usually people being gross, being mm -hmm. internet shit. Right? Yeah. I'll remove that just because I don't want that content associated with my whatever platform. Right. Um... But when it comes to genuine criticism, like you either answer it, ignore mm -hmm. it, but you don't delete it. Like, yeah, it was just very. And he'll probably refer to those people as haters now too, which oh, is yeah, ab absolutely. That's the icing on the cake. Yeah. Um, and last year I went through something similar with a creator like that. If someone was creating, um. Uh, uh, I, I don't know what they're called, like, like monster bust, like, uh, like Frankenstein's monster. And mm -hmm, they were mm -hmm. making it out of ceramic and, uh, she made one for Frankenstein's bride. Right. And it was awesome. Like awesome stuff. I love monsters like that. It's one thing that I've always wanted to start collecting, but I just, I just I haven't because I know what kind of a rabbit hole it would be and I would just spend so much money and so I ordered this one thing um it was kind of a similar thing where she was she had a bunch of stuff that she was selling and these uh she's like I have a set amount I'll take orders until like Sunday or whenever and I already have them uh I've had the the made but i need to paint them and then they'll be ready to go and it was literally three four months and this person isn't responding to emails they're still posting every day they're coming up with new products to sell and i don't have a problem with all of that the problem is i have paid you for a physical item and you have told me i have it ready to go or or it will be ready to go by this certain date and then i will put it in the mail for you mm. and that doesn't happen and mm. i understand believe me as someone who was a graphic designer and a website developer for a long time i understand what it's like to miss deadlines i get it keep keep your customers apprised of the situation mm. because like for paypal there's there's i want to say it's like a 45 day window before they will not accept any kind of refund or chargeback. 
And so both of these people, the guy this year and the, with the with the Ludo and the girl last year with the Frankenstein's Bride bust, both of them uh, use similar websites. So you're putting a, you're using a credit card on a website. You're not using PayPal. Oh, OK. Uh, so I have to. Oh, go through that's the whole, real bad. Yeah. I have to go through the rigmarole of saying, hey, you know, FYI, I made this purchase and it, I have not received it. And thankfully with her, she I finally got a hold of her and she said, oh, yeah, my bad. I'm like, great, cool, fine, whatever. Um, earlier in the pandemic, I ordered masks for me and my mother and for Queeb because, you know, Queeb has a beard. Um, and she's someone who I'm, I, I guess I'm, I'm decent friends with on Facebook and she's still posting posts every day. And she still, there are still people asking, where's my order? And I'm just, I'm done. I'm just so tapped out. Zef, thank you so much for supporting the channel with your channel points. Looks thank like, you. uh, looks like Bylum is going to be our recipient today. Bylum, Bylum. Ba -lim, ba -lim, ba -lim. I, d I don't know what she's doing. <laughs> you are correct, Easy EZ. Um, artisans like that, they are extremely fickle. They are, uh, it's, and it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's annoying as fuck, but it's fine. Because I get it. And, and it, yeah. <sighs> Even even if it's on Etsy and it says, hey, we have two in stock. We have two right now. You are still left at the mercy of the human being who has to take that item and box it and put a label on it and drive it to the post office to mail. Like, I get it. It's still just fucking frustrating. And don't thank me, Bylam. Thank uh, thank Zeph. You should not have a bet against. I said that in the first room based on starting items and starting stats. That's what I told Miss Queeb. Hopefully she went that way. Um, no, I bet against. Oh, fuck. Okay, well. Look, I told you I'm here to make money, bitch. The fastest way I can make money is by going against the crowd. That is the fastest way I can it make It is the fastest money. way, but you're also... <laughs> it's okay. Okay. It's okay. Okay. It's okay. Look, I'm already up to 590 again, so it's fine. Right, you're a tier 3 sub though, so it yeah, <laughs> makes yeah. a bit of a difference. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't have passed that brimstone? Um, yeah, there's no way I'm going to lose. And I would have, because I don't want to charge my item. When I have a shot like this, are you kidding? That's... That's a nerf. Island, thank you so much. That's so super cool of you to pay it forward. Thank you. Oh, Bylum, dude. Thank you. Give the sub to Wreck. Your Wreck, your. Do you think he checks himself every day? I bet he does. Yeah. I would. Same. My name was Wreck. I'm going to go ahead and jump off. However, I do want to say one thing. Uh, everyone posting your babies, keep it up. I'm going to go through and like all of them and comment on them. Uh, later while I'm in the other room taking care of the pterodactyl known as Loaf because he's starting to get feisty. My son uh, feisty? No. He, he he was very sweet earlier. Uh, he I don't know if you were on the channel whenever I said this. So it's rained twice since February. But mm -hmm. he was born. He was born in March. So this is only the second day he's ever seen rain. So he's very befuddled by the water that comes out of the sky. <laughs> so what he does is he digs in the puddles in the backyard, mm -hmm. and he gets mud all over his face, and he wants to give kisses. Which that's my I'm boy. Not, I'm not gonna tell him no because he's just he's such a sweetie. Um, he doesn't mean to be like that. But he just is. Um, so he's he 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 doesn't understand. Like even giving him a bath, he wants to attack the towel. And if you try to clean his paws, he wants to attack the towel that you're using to clean the paws. And the face wipe that you're using to clean his face, he wants to attack that. He's just he's just he's a good baby. 
he, he's a weird baby, but he's a good baby, and he's, like, really riled up because of the rain. But I did want to tell everyone, I love you all very much. Thank you so much for being nice to me and being nice to Queeb, um, especially during this, which is Queebmas, Queebvent, Birthmas, whatever you want to call it. I appreciate it. It's super nice of you. Um, if I am not back on tonight to talk to you, I will see you tomorrow between 5.45 and 6, where we will have day 17 pre-game, and we will discuss uh, hints, and I will come up with some better hints. Maybe I'll find someone who can, like, help me come up with better hints, as opposed to just, like, reading tags, because I don't know. I will say your, your tags today gave it away. <laughs> yep. If if you give, by the way, if you give, uh, don't give devs at all. Publishers maybe, but don't give devs at all. Well, no, no, no. I don't. So here's what I do with the devs and the publishers. I never say who they are. But what I will do is say, oh, they've made a lot of games before, or nope, they haven't made any games. Like um, today's one, you said um, this 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 company hasn't made a lot of games don't that, that it 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 narrows down the crowd super fast i think i think keep them guessing be, well, be even no. more generic like today like say yeah like it looks like it's um it looks like it's um uh, some kind of like creepy you know fantasy style Combat game? Question mark. Keep guessing. It's a very precarious line that I'm that I'm treading here. Oh no <laughs> doubt. I, I I don't envy your situation. <laughs> it's really difficult. I wish we would have figured out something to do with uh, like if if chat can guess it before you guess it, then we like we have a giveaway or something. I wish we would have thought that far ahead because I, I think that would be fun. But that this would is, require this me. This is all learning. This is the same as the subathon in uh, in May. Like this is the first time we're doing anything like this. So far, it's been really popular. People love it. So I, I think we did a good job. Uh, by the way, Murder Hobo. I did see Tara Loftel. Um <laughs> I did. It was very. It's very cute. It's very adorable. Uh, <laughs> with your sad face, I promise I thought I was just, we were in the middle of talking. I'm sorry. Um, by the way, I have loads of codes for Steam games through Humble Bundle that I wouldn't necessarily redeem myself, but maybe you could use, like for sub giveaways or something. Uh, yeah, we can talk about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you want to privately message Queeb on, do you prefer Twitch or Discord. just Discord, yeah. If you want to message him on Discord, go ahead. Um, if you want to go ahead and give him a list of games, like go ahead and give him that the, list. I'm, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna proceed cautiously with that, not yeah. because it's the, not because of the person, but I've just got a few things to think about otherwise. But yes, not a problem. Uh, but yeah, if you go ahead and just message the list, that way he can. There's not a lot of back and forth, and you guys can get it taken care of sooner rather than later. But yes, I'm going to go take care of your children. I don't know, maybe make you chicken nuggies later on if you ask me nicely. And bring lots of sauce, because apparently I don't bring you enough sauce. Uh, but yes. A shallow sauce receptacle is more disappointing than zero sauce receptacle. Well, then now I know what not to bring you on the plate. Thank I won't you, bring Creed. you sauce. I'll talk to you guys later. Please behave. Um, as always, if you have a good idea for a game, please DM me here or on Discord, and I will talk to you later. I love you very much. Please behave. Mind your father. I will see you soon. All right. So going back to the previous comment, hasn't Brim and tech received an update in repentance yes it did uh it somehow combines damage do i still want to charge every single shot and not clear as quickly as possible especially with uh what's the light called the the, the we got we got so many synergies right now tear effects shooting slow is a really really bad idea i'll put that one on the board 14.
Has Twitch changed something? What did they change? What What's going on here? Why is this... Twitch has always changed something. Alright, starting a new prediction. Will McQueeb win the next run? Let's go. Let's see if we can do it. Battle Block Theater. What, what the hell is Battle Block Theater? I go down to 0.74. Mm, okay, one of my least favorite planetarium items. A co-op puzzle game by the Behemoth. Oh, what was that? What was their first game? The big one on Xbox Live Arcade. God, I love the shit out of that. It was so good. Alien Hominid? That is not the one I'm thinking of. Not sure what to think about this Eden. What do you mean? Castle Crash, that's the one. Yep, 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 yep. Castle Crashes. Mm -hmm. I played, I did play Alien Hominid, um, but that wasn't the one I was, I was thinking of clearly, but I did play it and the animation and graphics were, well, you know, the top tier, obviously, but just another platformer, um, in my opinion, it wasn't, there was nothing special about it. Um... But my god, Castle Crashes was good. I, the number of hours I put into that. One of the first Xbox games I owned, I think. Braid was obviously the first. The, the progenitor of uh, the modern indie game. an active item uh, active items great I don't necessarily like it I wouldn't buy it but since we start with it we can flip over every rock in the game and you know I'm a sucker for that passive yeah that's I mean well it can be effective we need um, a dramatic speed up though like it kills like nothing else it's very very strong I'm, I'm not disappointed with the start, it's just unusual, that's all. You need a friend to play? There's another one, another multiplayer game that come out um, recently where you control, it's it's done on the same screen, or at least the, I think you can do it online, but, but you see both players at the same time. 
Um, and you have to solve puzzles together in that as well. Highly, highly regarded, the one I'm thinking of. Ah, uh, shoot. What, what do you mean, sprite? Sorry, I don't understand. It takes two. Thank you, Gabe. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's the one. Hey, come on now. sprite in the hairdo you kidding me a fucking guile haircut it's fucking dope on game pass now i heard there's a, a sad part in it where you have to say goodbye to someone i think they're still an antagonist but the way they depart this earth is uh, a little a little bit sad He's like, he's woken up now and he's like, Mom's abandoned me. No, she hasn't. You'll be fine. wasn't good. Uh. Too many options for seeker rooms here. Alright. What you got, boss man? Shouldn't try to get clever, just fight him normal.
speed is crushingly low. I think I'm trying to get too clever with, uh, what's the item called? Is it Jupiter? Yeah. Trinky? Trinky time. No? Trinky time. Spudermans. Yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to get clever and kill too many things with Jupiter. Fuck. My damage output very much hampered by my tears at this moment. Damage is default. Minus point seven six luck. That's not unusual for a start. the shop you know I think I, I think I deserve a shop oh actually it's not even gonna help oh. no we we I'd, I'd say 90% of runs start with negative luck Fuck, I hate this dickhead. What's the matter, you poison? That's a shame. If your firepower can't keep up with the summons, especially with two of those in the room, it's fucked. It's a nightmare. Nightmare trying to deal with that. All in on yes, don't screw up. Uh, thank you for your words of encouragement. I will, I will do my best. Oh, we skipped ahead. All right. 
Mm. Can you throw the bomb rock at the wall? I don't think so. I think you can only drop them. Ah, actually, hang on. Let's not test here. Hang on, let me try with something else. Fuck, not the right room to test in. Yeah, you can kind of throw it. The distance doesn't look very good, though. Not too bad. That's nice. Thank you. About time. Yeah, I don't think speed has anything to do with it. Streaks alive? Sure is. It's possible that I was moving, so I guess if I was moving in the opposite direction, direction matters. I don't think speed does. Um, starting room maybe Okay, big room to clear. Yep, 
Yeah, so your speed starts... You get a, a point four, point five speed up. Um, but then you start moving and that speed drops dramatically. Um, and that causes the farts, which then... Yeah, the farts do a lot of damage, which is, which is good. But I've got to use it as a secondary, not a primary attack. I keep trying to get smart with it. One of these days, I've got to turn off the anti-birth music. Oh, for fuck's sake. like it I want to see what's in the boss challenge room which which we could go for risky one heart battery container does that even help no fight the boss no no choice here i could go into the curse room maybe luck out not take damage 50 50 on that one depending on the room uh, it is a full size room you feel bad for saying this but you all tabbed into the screen and the first thing you saw was guy fieri um Oh, with the character. Uh, we need... That's rough. We need uh, bleached tips, I think, not... Um... Alright, this is alright, I think. Tough one. He's a stronger boss. So, but we got it under control, I think. Yeah. Alright, we got a health up.
Zoe, what you doing? Do you want a bomb on my jam? Like them? I don't like this room at all. They go in different directions sometimes. Ugh, yeah. Curse of the maze is fucking me right now. Um, I'm gonna buy the card from the shop. We'll see. Kinda good, McQueeb. It's kinda good. Oh, so much better already. Lacking solis, but it's all right. Nice. We're done here. Is there anything I want to reroll? Can we reroll the boss? I have to try. I have to try. the room prior. Try to teleport you out. That's right. Okay. I, mem I remember. <laughs> I have one and a half hearts here. And there's a heart in the store, right? Two and a half. Let's do this carefully. Just in case the uh, spikes decide to relocate. They probably can't, but I don't want to test that theory. Yeah, no, no, there's a reason they do that, so you can't farm the boss. However, if we took this to the chest, we can replay the same room over and over again. If you have a 9 volt battery and you fight a larger room, so an L-shaped room or a 2x2, a two two, um, you can just continually farm the same room over and over again. Um, if by the chest, it might be worth fucking taking now that I think about it. Uh, 
That's a that's the long haul play though. That is um Yeah. Half a heart here, there's one at the boss. Or four and a half vault? No, that won't help us at all. Don't forget we still need to four and a half volts weird. I I would say it's a neutral or even negative item. Um, bracelets a safer play. I mean, we we do get to. Shit! What was there? An, was there a heart in the shot? I didn't even check. God damn! I mean, it does. It does. It'll give us a crawl space or two between then and now. That's fine. Yeah. Three cent. Got it. Thank you. Four and a half volt got you your tainted lost mother kill, so you'll hear no slander. Okay. It's still a, a neutral or negative item in my opinion. Do we go deep on this? I shouldn't. Yeah, yeah, no, we'll take the bracelet. It'll let us farm a little more. It's gonna take a longer time, but I'm cool with that. Stretch this out as much as we have to. Safe shops with greed rerolls. What do you mean by that? Give me, like, be very detailed, because that sounds interesting. You can play Greed twice, and it's done. Uh, Bylam, no sweat, dude. Thank you very much for stopping by, and thank you for the, the sub to Wreck. Reroll greed shops to a regular shops with D7. Be sure, folks. Give me a sec. I'm gonna go get another drink. Um. I have to, I have to look this up. Isaac D7. Upon use, it restarts the room and respawns all enemies. It has no effect in greed mode. Has no effect when used in rooms that have no enemies. Challenge rooms, boss challenge rooms. Will work in a mini boss room. When used in a boss room, devil room, or angel room teleported to another room on the floor and that room he was in does not reset. The room Isaac teleports to will respawn enemies. Um, then there's the beast. Ultra famine, dogma. When used in a secret room that previously contained, contained greed or super greed, that room becomes a regular secret room. Okay. When used in a shop that previously contained greed or super greed, the shop items will spawn. Rolling it again will cause new items to spawn on top of each other. Can be used to generate infinite rewards with both 9 volt and AA battery and or 4.5 volt 
depending on the enemies in the room, and that's a very important point. If Isaac has only either 9 volt or AA battery, uh, AAA battery, rewards can still be endlessly generated in a quadruple sized room or an L shaped room. I said that. Uh, enemies respawn exactly where they were first spawned, even if that's where Isaac is standing, in which case Isaac will take damage immediately upon using the D7. If used in the mirror world of Downpour or Dross, the rooms will not have their enemies respawn, but all of the normal non-mirrored content, such as pickups, are restored. Huh. Using it in the shop cause it to be stocked normally, and additional uses will restock the shop's content. Ah, it's tempting, huh? Book of Virtues spawns a six-sided gray die wisp in the middle ring. The wisps start gray. If the wisps get hit while they're gray, they invoke the effect of D7 in the current room and turn blue. Damage that turns the wisp from gray to blue is negated. Add roll while I acquire a drink. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we can do that. That's fine. Give me one sec, folks. Interesting. Very interesting. I'm tempted to change my mind now. Thank you for waiting. I got Pop Rocks. We're going to do an, an ASMR. What'd I call it? <laughs> I call it popping candy, apparently, because I'm not from here.
I can re-roll the contents of the store, can't I? Let's test that theory. Ordinary, how are you, dude? Great to see you, man. I guess not. Maybe that's only if, um, maybe that's only if uh, you fight greed in there. I wish I could test to see how many. Okay, well. Down we go. Don't you don't you just love popping candy? Uh, 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 what's it called? Pop rocks? XL floor. Ugh. It's not as good as some of the others I've had. That the the I guess the default American brand for me isn't as good, but whatever. What's my minimum speed now? 1.04. That's why I really wanted to play that machine out. Now I'm worried since this is an XL floor. Sure wish I had mapping. This is going to be a massive floor. It's in it's in the name, McQueeb. XL. Stands for extra large. Thanks. You were just not excited for clack crackling ASMR. Well, I was being facetious when I said that. Um What's what's wrong with uh, ASMR? Just not a fan of it? Weird weirds you out a bit? Hello, broom. I'm trying to maintain that angel deal chance at the same time. Very difficult. God damn it, come on. You get weird about hearing eat people eat? That I completely understand. I'm I'm the same. There's a name for it. I I can't remember what that name is. But it's it's like um, I get uncomfortable to the point of misophobia. Tried Star Renegades, it's really good. I wish I felt the same. I really do. I wish I felt the same. Um, the opening, great. The presentation, fucking A++. Um, but too many user interface issues and um, pretty crappy dialogue. It, it let the game down. But for me, the yeah, the UI, the UI problems are are not insignificant. Oh, no. Why'd you have to go and get hit? An irrational emotional response to a specific sound. Do you think it's irrational? Or, or... 
the level of response is irrational, maybe. Because I get, I get, if I have to listen to somebody eat, it's, it's anger that builds up. I have no other word for it. Yes, why am I do this? It is Hand of Fate 2. Um, exclamation mark, Queevent for the actual calendar. I update that um, pretty much as soon as we... Let me make sure I've actually done it. Yeah, the picture's in there. Irrational can be the type of emotion or the strength of it. Got it. Okay, yeah. Not getting back to sleep today? Dude. Oh, man. Well, try to take it easy, Zeph. Fucking red hearts either. Two bosses, though. Lover's card helps. Okay, dude. Well, yeah, like I said, go easy on yourself. Try to have a decent day. Is today the last day? You said that earlier, right? Got him. so glad we went for that wooden spoon earlier. We'd be in so much trouble if we didn't. Sure wish I could fly. Um, okay. Shop time then. I was actually hoping to find greed. Um, Crappy run so far. That's really clever. It's because I'm farting everywhere. I like it. I... Gotta fight the boss. Um. Gee, I really would have liked. Yeah, I gotta fight the bosses. Let's do it. What are we on? Caves? Nice. 
I think this guy's going to hit me. It's almost guaranteed. Fuck you, dickhead. Dumb as shit. I really want to take that. Let me check the curse room. I want to come back for the soul league. It's like the only soul heart we have seen. Maybe we just take that with. What was the other item? I know Bloody Gust is one. We can't get that until after the boss. I still don't want to waste Solis. Spider butt. Okay.
Fuck this boss so bad. Fucking dumb boss. Fucking dumb boss. Not angry, it's fine. Alright, well, that's that. Let's keep going. Let me go to item room. Hey, Chade, what's up, dude? Good to see you, man. Go for the tears up now. Yep. Yep. I could have waited. It's fine. It's a bit better. Another trinket, huh? Shame, I really didn't want to blow him up. That's about it, huh? Let's see now what the... There's guppies pouring there. See what this turns into. Was that a full soul? Of course it was. Why the fuck wouldn't it be? That doesn't make any sense at all unless it was a champion. Didn't look like a champion. Or, did, or had I lost a half already? Maybe. Ah, uh, okay. Pretty, pretty good item. Here's a question. Is, is item, are items like magic mushroom predetermined in their location? Or is it, uh, a chance to drop when you destroy something? That, I'd be curious to know that. 
think it's random like it like a chance to drop right Semi random and semi predetermined. <laughs> Explain to me how that works. Um, yeah, I think, I think we're going to be okay. That helped a lot. Fucking spider butt, are you kidding me? Won't change it. That I understand. I get the. I get the. Uh... SCC Herring, you are the third person to make comment about Isaac's appearance tonight. Yeah, I get the. I get the. Uh, the trinket situation. It's weird, but I get it. five percent chance per mushroom there you go so we got lucky correct me if i'm wrong but isaac doesn't usually have a bum crack Is it is it the beard today? Is the beard giving off weird vibes? I don't normally pay attention to Isaac. He's a fucking child. is an interesting combination. We can still lower down, but yeah, okay. It charges faster now too, right? And we don't drop straight away either. Batch. That's probably not a conversation you want to start, dude. The 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 trinkets are all they always drop in the same order, right? Because that was the one that was supposedly in the chest previously. Timeout incoming. Look, 
Yesterday, I got publicly accused of silencing a woman of color because they were admiring a video game character's form. In my channel, after I ask them not to. Let's not objectify anyone. How does that sound? <sighs> Murder hobo. So, we were doing a giveaway yesterday, right? I've still got I've still got the name right here. Give me a sec. I'm fucking bringing this up again. Uh, messages. Keep in mind, I can go back to see all of your messages since you are started here. I was playing Returnal. I was doing a giveaway. Um. You type something in chat. That's how you enter the giveaway, right? We've done it a hundred times before. They wrote, I like Celine's bum. That was their comment. I deleted the comment. They were still entered into the competition. I deleted the comment and I said, let's not be crass. Moving on. And I, I, was, I just continued on. Their response. I'm female? My response. I don't care how how you identify i don't want that in my channel your deletion stands right it was just a deleted comment i went off to get a drink probably the competition was still running came back they wrote okay i like her b space o o space m Um, and then I banned him for that. I was like, fine, you, you don't want to listen to me? No problem. That was it. I'd, I'd moved on. I go to Twitter. I've been tagged. I got permanently banned from It's McQueeb channel for saying, I like Celine's bum. Nice job silencing a woman of color for appreciating another woman. I don't give a fuck what gender you are, how you identify, who you love, the color of your skin. I do not care. If you're a nice person, you're welcome here, period. Let me get that out of the way. I blocked him. I, I was about to go in. I thought, you know what? No. All of our messages? Yeah. Yeah, but like, like Temandua said, it's, it's going back is a bit of a nightmare. It's like, you gotta load and load and load. She's another content creator. What I don't understand is that I asked a very simple request. She didn't like that. And she fought me on it in my channel. So of course I'm not going to stand for that. Bringing race and, and sexism into it. Like me, what the fuck? Anyway, that's what happened. Yes. Yeah. Um, so when I say, you know, when if I, if I delete your comment because it's inappropriate about the look of an Isaac skin based on the items we picked up, don't take it personally. Just don't fucking say that again. Common sense.
I've said this. I've said this as well. I do not hold a grudge. If she messaged me and said, hey, I don't have ban requests turned on. Like, I'm not going to allow someone that luxury. However, if they reach out to me personally and say, I'm sorry, I fucked up. Anything to that effect. Unbanned immediately. Um... Yeah, I, I didn't. I didn't get that yesterday. I didn't. I didn't get that response. And I was. I was gonna go in too because I've got screenshots. Shit, I would have made a TikTok out of it. Um, but yeah, she she's another creator herself. Um, and, and if she, if she enjoys that stuff in her channel, that's cool. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> um, I want people to feel comfortable here. Number one. That's, that's, it's like my only job. If I'm going to call this a job, that's my job description. Make people feel comfortable. Bring a little bit of joy to people's lives. It's not worth the drama if she's also a content creator. I'm going to say something that I hate right now. It would not have made a difference in my life, right? Either, either way. Um, It was just, it's just, it's fucked. It's, it's talk about putting a spin on thing and, and then like the victim complex. Ah, ah. Not worth to make it. No, there's a reason I didn't. There's a reason I didn't. I can only hope she doesn't have rabbit fans. Somebody responded and said, oh, well, they're, they're lost anyway. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm reeling in it. If I was a woman, wonder if her reaction would have been different. It's it's irrelevant. That's a her thing, not a me thing. This this may come as a shock to a lot of you, but I'm a feminist. I'm married to a feminist. This poop is very slippery. Oh my god, it actually happened. I 
I love it how the horns no longer stick out <laughs> to the top. It's like, oh, I put a habit on now. <laughs> horns are gone. Ah, everything's fine. Just, just fold it down, right? <laughs> uh, that sounds really painful, actually. <laughs> mm. I don't know what this little cat thing is, but I love it. Edmund, no. I'm gonna actually try to kill Florian last. Might not happen. Hey, all right then. First time, like, ever. Mm. Worst time ever. Uh... Okay, well. Does the item drop change depending on who you kill last? Yes. If you kill Florian last, the little, the little flying one, apparently you get an eternal D6. A chance to get an eternal D6. Um... If you kill Edmund last, you get the left hand. Interestingly, we already had the left hand drop earlier. So I wonder... It Nothing would have changed there probably. But still, it's fun to think about. for it what have we done here nothing so good left hands a fixed drop from him uh-huh you always got the left hand well that's the thing so Edmund is a lot tankier than Florian and like you, like I always take Florian out first, even though Edmund's the bigger, bigger threat there. Uh, it's just the way. That's just the way it happens, every single time. Yeah. Thank God we got magic mush. Has Magic Mush been nerfed in the recent patches? He, he wouldn't dare. Wouldn't dare. I say he, it's probably a designer at Nicholas making these decisions, not Edmund himself. percent chance to spawn a pedestal item when hit yeah sure 
two percent. Um, I want to be careful with Gilded Key. Replaces all chests with golden chests. Does that happen after the event? Guppies either. Facts. Shit, that's... Yeah, okay. Okay. We only open the ones we can. Damn it, I was hoping for... What's his face to be in here? From expert to completely clueless. Yeah, and, and a lot of stuff's changed. A lot of stuff has been heavily nerfed during the last patch as well. Two point two eight damage for free. Well, for seven cents. So whatever this dude is, who's fucking cute as fuck, um, all right, he keeps changing every floor, every floor you get a different buddy, that's, uh, it's called buddy in a box, right, the second item. It's, the, it's all based on the... The little babies that are the multiplayer babies that you can get and they all have different tier effects and all kinds of shit this guy happens to be shooting stuff that uh turns people touch a midas and then and then you kill them and you get coins sorry i'm just searching very specifically for uh the marked rock. See if we can find it. That would be kind of amazing. Um, that's like four damage ups right there. Two damage up. Small rock is what? Plus one? Shit, I can't remember. Oh, look at his shots, too. They're not even straight shots. They're, like, they're going all over the place. So it's just a, a crapshoot whether or not we hit anything. Uh, P.S. What's everyone's thoughts on if I bring Returnal back to the channel on a more regular basis? I know it might not be the most popular game, but fuck me, I love it. So good. You do you, boss. Edlock, it's important I get people's opinion. I know it's... I know, obviously, yes, we run the channel how we see fit. But I, I think it's valuable that you are included in that decision-making process. That's why I have the suggestion channel at all on Discord. Like, I've, I've found some uh, gems in there. Big time. You'd still watch the game, though. You here because of my personality? Okay. Even though I'm a cunt sometimes to some people.
Silver, yeah, yeah, I, I am. It, I feel it in my heart when I'm being that way. And that I don't like it, but I feel it. Um, I like, I like the way Frag handles situations like that. Very different style, but it's, it's, it's like, nope, not dealing with that. He doesn't even say a word. He'll just, he'll just moderate and be done with it. And then he has a channel where people can discuss that on Discord if they choose. What, <laughs> what I don't get about that is the way people discuss it. They're like, yeah, all I did was X, Y, and Z. And, um, they... They don't, they, there's, again, there's no social cues there. <laughs> it's so funny to watch. <laughs> um, but I, I prefer to have that sort of, I, I guess the size of my channel allows this, um, luxury. I prefer to have a one-on-one -on -one teaching moment with that person and well one on one on one yes it's public but you know i'm not a i'm usually not a dick about it first time i'm not a dick about it um and again bygones be bygones right like you just you didn't you move on and and you either like the content after that or maybe you're too embarrassed to stick around which some people have told me as well um Malfina Starwind. Isaac Extraordinaire. How are you, my friend? What's going on? Um, but I also allow, like, it's very difficult. Very difficult to get banned in this channel. Uh, you you kind of got to go out of your way. <laughs> Thank you so much for the raid, Malfina. <laughs> Hope you had a good stream. <laughs> You got chewed out for using Sci-Fly? Wait, the item or the, the emote? What did we come into? Uh, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Let's we're moving on. It's fine. The emote? Why? Dan? <laughs> Was he serious? It was a joke. Okay, it was fun. It was fine. It was it, no, no, no. That's fine. It's that's why I asked that last question because it doesn't sound like he says sci fly is bad. I'm gonna go right now he wants to start a war a war he will start uh community settings partner no channel no stream where the fuck is it Hang on, hang on. I'll fix it. I'll fix it. I got there yesterday real easy. It was, it was literally last night I was looking at this. Um, why did Twitch... I, I would organize it slightly differently, that's all. Here we go, here we go. I feel like I'm close. Featured content. Here we go. Sci-Fly Appreciation Society. Edit. Members. Twitch username. Dan Geesling. Let me make sure I spelled that right. Yep. Invite. Your move, Dan. Your move.
Um, that's that's cool. That's cool. All right. It's a cool emote. That's his problem. It's let's let's take the emote out of it, cause cause it's a fucking amazing item. <laughs> There's no bad about it. He told Eddie it was bad? What? What planet is he from? I haven't seen this room before. Gotta say, I don't like it. I could use a key, but I'm stubborn. It's gonna cost me health and a key. Fuck! Ah. <laughs> uh. The Serso Yeet Extended Universe. I think he's kidding. I think he's memeing it up. You, you can't. You you can't. You can't be serious about it. Mm -mm. No, that's. We don't joke about sci-fi around here. Uh, my health is still a little bit of a problem, despite everything else kind of going our way. Uh, everything's coming up Dan, they say. P.S. How many, uh, how many runs does he have left? Seven runs? All tainted lost. So he's done Tainted Jacob then. He's got nothing to worry about. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. He'll get there. I honestly didn't think Tainted Lost was all that hard. Hard, yes. Like, the most difficult? Not even close. Easier to get off the ground than Judas. Um, the thing, the thing with uh, like, it's it's kind of a no hit challenge, right? And I get it. The nerf to to um, to D one is rough. Kind of disagree with that a little bit. Uh, but even still, you know what you're getting with that character. Like it's it's in plain black and white, right? Well, this is quite profitable. Melfina, no sweat. Um, it's interesting, though. Uh, what somebody said, I think it was uh, Tamandua said earlier, people are weird about emotes in channels. Yep. Yep, I've seen it firsthand. And it's, it's weird that they're weird about it. Um, hell, I have people that come in and they say hello, and they use their own emotes as they're saying hello, even if it's a first time viewer, but I, I mean, I gas up other streamers, and I think that's where the problem comes in for some people. They don't like that. They don't like quote-unquote competition, um, or they see it that way, which is, you know. Yeah. Ah, oh, damn. Okay, well. Totally knew that was there. Have a good night, Malfina. You sleep good. Um. Bit of, bit of a letdown. Anything else we can spend money on? 
self-promotion you turn off the check mark in small streams you don't i used to do that i used to do that shade um because i felt exactly the same way i'm like uh i don't like i feel i feel like i'm showing off um i turned off that one because i don't have the energy to manage where i show it and where i don't and two I fucking earned that check mark, as did you. Um, so I'm gonna be proud of it. And that's that's one thing that Ms. Queeb brought up earlier, like Ms. Queeb is my wife. She's like, I'm I'm gonna look after me, number one. Um Ten years. What, ten years partnered or ten years streaming? Either way, that's fucking long time, dude. That's awesome. 10 years partnered. No shit. That's fucking dope. <laughs> that is awesome. Well, would you look at the placement of that secret room? I reckon... I reckon... We can do something really fucking cool here. Let me, let me see. Let me see. Twitch is a roller co coaster. Amen. Amen, dude. But I'm I'm loving it. Like this event and um Okay, so we're just not gonna get in greed at all here then. I mean that's fine too. Yeah, I'm 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 loving it. I'm having the best time. Um I was talking about this earlier with Miss Queeb on, on stream. She was here. Um you know, trying to make a trying to make a, a run of it, I guess. Because this is my only income at the moment and I have to take it seriously. Um cause, cause Twitch Twitch unfortunately gotta gotta pay rent. Yeah, no, that's good. Range up. Dope. Didn't even have to re-roll the room. Weird. Let's go. Oh, I did bring the golden key. Good. Ow. Stop it. Yeah, amen. Amen. Health is uh health is a big problem here. Um Yep. See if we can increase that damage. What kind of fucking room is this? Uh excuse me. Oh, this is just fucking awful. What the hell, dude? For real? I was lucky. Whew. Um, going back to what we were saying, if you've got your own emotes or or whatever, that's fine. The the only thing that I kind of I don't even call people out for it because it happens still, but I, I don't even acknowledge it is when people say um. You know, kind of like, oh, I'm all right. I'm I'm gonna go stream now or whatever. That's a bit weird. Uh, 
Um, but no, I I don't care. Use use your stuff. Promote promote your stuff. I I love that. That inspires me. Sci-Fly is one of the best items in the game. Like, like top five, okay? All right, I'm done. I, I get frustrated at things I don't understand. Hey, Silver, how are you? <laughs> oh, we have two Sil... Siv oh, Sivler. Never mind. Never mind. Elemental back down. It's okay. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> Hate why kids love cinnamon toast crunch. So I, I asked Miss Queeb to get me a different cereal. I normally eat um little corn round corn puffs? No. Corn pops. That's my like breakfast of choice. But I said to Miss Queeb, get me something different. Just a surprise. I like to not choose. I don't like, and I've, I've got to be cognizant of this because that's a trigger for her, right? Like I have to take some of that emotional responsibility on, even though it's very simple, important. Anyway. Um, and, uh, and I said, just, just get me something different. And she brought home cinnamon toast crunch but it's a slightly altered flavor it's like a limited edition or something um and it was all right but it had too much of something i don't know my my palate is not very refined that much i will admit to retro throwback flavor that might be the one yeah 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 oh crap shit Well, at least we got a 0.2% chance at, uh, at getting an angel room. That's cool. Just as long as we don't fucking die. That would be good, too. Oh, no. Oh, just for a final fuck you. Okay. Fucking useless. Oh my god. Greed? Where is greed? Oh man.
Champion belt might have been a mistake. Like, so far we've gotten pretty lucky with the champions that have appeared, but... If you get the wrong sort of room, that could be real bad. Need to do the oops all meme with Cyflay. What's the uh what's the oops all? There's that bug again. And why did that turn into an item now? So I think that bug comes from the coin mod that I have when you have Guppy's Eye, I think. I don't know why that happened. What was in there before? It was more coins and shit, right? Two flat pennies and a regular coin on the left chest. So Guppy's eyes always been weird. We know that. I've never seen contents turn into another item. Once you took flat penny off the ground, the contents changed. Aha, so if we see an undesirable trinket, we need to pick that shit up. So that whatever changes changes however that bug is still there see see down here and i think that's just the coin mod not working very well with with guppy's eye it doesn't do anything i don't think it gives me an advantage i certainly hope it doesn't but it's 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 yeah it's one of the coin graphics sometimes Not like a sticky nickel. No, no, no. They, they, we were walking under it, not over it. And it didn't make the clinking noise. Seen that happen to Melfina and Dan with Guppy's Eye. Okay. Must... Yeah. Do they use the coin mod too? Every time it's a penny and a nickel. Which mod... Oh, so I've got a list. I keep a spreadsheet. Um, there's three coin mods that I use. One of them is... I think it's called Better Coins, which updates the graphics. That's the larger um, nickel and, and, you know, smaller dime and they're different colors and stuff. Um, I use the Rising Pitch, which Dan uses and I asked Melfina about that one. And then the sound effects are from Wario Land, I think. But yeah, Guppy's Eyes just... Guppy's eyes just weird. That's fine. Scarred womb. Okay. Just what I need. Champion needles. Oh, I can spend money here. These guys are so fast. The speed at which they... If they see you... Cool. Yeah, we're going all out here. 
don't you dare pay out. I will be so mad. By the way, if you're just joining us, uh, we're doing an event all month long uh, called the Queeb Bent Calendar. Very clever, I know. Every game's a different game. I gave my wife 250-ish games on a list. Uh, she picks a new one for us to play every single day. And today's game was announced. It is Hand of Fate 2. The timing, Queebot. Perfect. Just hearts, my dude. Just hearts. Can you do that for me? Can you? Keys are good too. We're gonna we're gonna need them. We're actually gonna need a lot of keys. Don't don't do it. Good man. Might not be mod related, might just be an Isaac bug. Makes all the coins into cat head shapes. What? Maze, I've I've played Skull. We played that on stream. It was early access uh, back when I played it, but yeah, that's that's been featured on this channel before. Um Really tough game. Very tough game. 50 different cat related mods. No shit. You fucking jerk. You could drop Rotten Baby, right? don't really want that heart at all because unfortunately it's the last one to get chewed up I think with the uh, blood donation machine actually one more fly item and we're busy that shit away by the way I'm pretty sure this item was modeled after my dog come on what am I a joke to you Double bony, okay. I would still prefer Rotten Baby. They work. Um, surprising. Yes. No, no knockback anymore. So we've got to be a little bit careful. Um, but the damage would make up for that, hopefully. Poop hearts. Uh, the the rotten hearts. Um. So the mechanics a little bit 
confusing. They override your existing hearts straight away. That's why I'm trying to be careful not to take them. Um, they're worth half a heart, but they take up a whole heart. Which means if we get hit in the womb or later, we lose two hearts worth or one and a half if we only have one. Um, they go from right to left. And if we were to sacrifice health, they get used the last, which is the bad thing. Otherwise, I'd be picking them up already. I th think. Could be wrong about that. Um, they generate flies when you walk into a room. The more you have, the more flies you generate each room. Generally, it, it's a tough call. If you're using them, you're... you're you're in kind of, well, at least when I use them, I'm, I'm in a desperation state at that point. Red hearts first, then rotten hearts. Right, there, yeah, yep, yep, that's what I was worried about. Give me a sun card. Cratch, thank you very much for your sub. Welcome. I hope you're having a great day. Chariot. Cat template, you absolute legend. How you doing today? Um, I'm having a good day. Yeah, really good. Game of the day, by the way. Hand of Fate 2. We'll be starting that after this run. Win, lose, or draw. Give me Shielded Tears, too. I haven't seen Shielded Tears in a while. Oh, that'd be good. Did I enjoy playing as Tainted Blue Baby? Mm. Eh, not really. Like it was, it was all right, but yeah, no, not, not the most fun I've had. It's, it's not a bad. Um, it's not a bad, uh, character to use, but... Oh, man. Get off my back. Uh, it's managing, like, bombs and stuff. And, and poops and, and which order they're coming in. It's just a little bit frustrating. A, a lot of micro for that one, yeah. He's interesting. Yeah, a couple of tips, um... Your bomb poops are the most important, uh, is if that wasn't already obvious. Um, what else? Um, if you get rock bottom, uh, collect your fancy shiny angel poop, get the smear along the ground, and I think you have one other. But anyway, no, it's just the smear along the ground. The oil slick kind of thing and the thing and then you just put one on top of the other and stand in it you'll get both benefits i thought there was a third maybe not uh what else if you get Mm. 
Mm. There's the other. There's the other tip. Um, save the the poison cloud explosions and fire explosions as a secondary if you need. Um, sorry, poison clouds and and fire poops as to create explosions. That's a really good combo uh, in times of of need. Yeah, don't be afraid to use poops. You will get them back. Um, yeah, speaking of desperation. Shit. Let's go get those bonies. I'll fill up on rotten hearts, I guess. But... What are my thoughts on Jupiter? It's a pain in the ass. <laughs> um, uh, it's it's strong, but the slowdown is is extremely difficult to use. The great thing about bone hearts is that even though they're only worth half a heart, it empties the heart first as a primary method of dealing damage, which means each bone heart is worth two hits. Um, after that, though, the following two will go in a, in a single hit. You find it annoying? I mean, sound, sound effects wise? Yeah, 100% agree. Wait, where's... Where's my exit? Didn't we find the exit? Oh, I guess we haven't yet. Oh, shit. I thought I thought we'd found it. Oh, well. Yeah, early on, the poison damage is, is incredible. Um... And it's helped us a lot in that regard, but I would, I wouldn't have chosen it if you, if I had the option. Nope. I hate that trinket with a passion. I wish I could get um, Ring of Flies up and running. It's a really good defender if you can avoid if, if you can avoid damage. Jesus Christ. Okay. Well. Let's go. Super secret in the corner. Oh, I missed it. It's okay. This guy's one of my new most hated enemies, actually. He's, um, he's a difficult one to deal with. Between him and Triacnid, it's like... Like, even watching the shadows on the ground, it's not easy.
Wait, are you saying Jupiter's random damage? So I effectively have five hits here, which, yeah, that's a scary prospect. Hey. These are the other guys I hate the most. Super frustrating to deal with. The spider. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Hey, Jumera, how are you? Danger, danger. No revelations. I take another heart of damage to pick it up. I want to take. Well, I wanted. Fucking chaos card. Um, I wanted to take. Uh... They changed the way chaos card works, right? I might actually be able to use it properly this time. Get it back right away. Please hold. I'm not done yet. No, no. I, I, I know how the item works, bruh. Trouble. 
that helps. Ollie Queen, thank you very much for the uh, the host. Welcome. Hello. I hope your stream was absolutely wonderful. I brought D7 this entire way so I could use it in the chest. Mm. I need I need flight. I need something else. We're taking a hit and I can only take one book whilst taking a hit. If the Bible was in here, I'd probably reconsider, but it ain't. I could take how to jump, but that means even if we decide to run with Book of Rev, um, it'll be the last book we collect, and then I still have to take damage. I have two fly items. If the game was feeling real generous, which is highly unlikely given there's no item rooms or shops on this floor, we have to get stupid lucky. Oh, okay. Oh, you are a tanky son of a bitch. Can I kill Isaac with the um, chaos card? I don't even know how this one works. I'm going to have to look it up. Because Chaos Card has been changed, I think. Upon activation, Isaac throws the card in front of himself. The card is thrown in the direction of Isaac's body is facing. So it doesn't look like that's been changed at all. Hang on a sec. Using it on multi-phase bosses like Isaac, question mark, and the lamb will instantly end the boss fight. Okay. Do you take it from my experience? I mean, it's a planetarium item. It's an extra item. If you can ever get a chance to re-roll your build, you might want to take it. 
it's all right it slows you down a lot so if you're if your speed is one or you know anything around one or lower i would advise against it until you're a little bit faster that works all right More golden chests with nothing in them. Possibly should have dropped this trinket before coming in here, but that's alright. Does look like a lucky penny there. That helps a bit. Actually, one of the other... Hold up a second here. Which one was it? Where was that? It's the secret room. If if that's what the... Because it looked the same. It's changed. No, it was always like that. Never mind. Alright. Okay, let's do, do my best. Even telepathy for, for dummies would be so good. Oh, it's not how to jump at all. Hello, Impulse. What's going on today? go Bummer. Telepathy came back. Well, technically, yeah. That's actually true. Maybe, yeah, that's right. Because books, books you have to touch. Other items are, are off the list. Sorry, books and trinkets you have to touch. Others, you don't have to touch them anymore for them to go away. get a tears up every time we're hit but and a speed up actually oh knockback's supposed to be non-existent what the hell
Okay. Jello. Fucking jello. Please don't kill me. Please don't double kill me. Fuck you. Was champion belt a mistake, I wonder? I, th I think it was. I think it was. Oh, I have the habit to... Two hits from death. So that's, uh, that's the thing. Sky, thank you very much for the host. Welcome. Extra life. Could have been a lot worse. <laughs> that could have been a hell of a lot worse. Okay. Sparky Jewel. Oh, right on. This is your final form. Wow, <laughs> right on. <laughs> Why do you not see the host in chat? Mm. So when I had raids and hosts activated, it would show both. Um, it can't distinguish between the two. So I just chose raids. Um, if it's just a host, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't show up. I see it. something a little bit of defense maybe poor ragman <laughs> dormammu <laughs> i have come to bargain go fuck yourself 
Dormammu, I have come to bargain. Wish you had more viewers. Oh, don't sweat. Dude, don't don't sweat at all. So here's a question. Did you raid me or did you host? Let me let me check my settings real quick. That's in stream elements, I think. I might have it limited for specifically that reason. I don't I don't know. Overlays. Apparently, I have a lot of overlays. Um, Alerts pop up. That might be it. Yeah. Okay, here we go. So, hosts is turned on. Minimum amount zero. I can test that I think somehow emulate host custom two people thank you Sylvia no it seemed to work you raided with one let me check rates Minimum zero. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. It should have, it should have shown up. Thank you, uh, Pengel, for the bits. I hope the runs go well. We will see. We will see. Um... In terms of how many people you're visiting with, I don't give a fuck, dude. You chose me to raid, and that's an honor, so thank you. Freshly risen, like bread on a Sunday morning. How are you, my dude? Oh, look at that. We got some of the red stuff. like double the firepower pretty much in it uh, from a distance i guess hmm. although i think jello question jello or gello because the griff the gif crowd be crying right about now i'm just saying um no, but it stands for Drafix! McQueeb! 
Wouldn't be a bad item. Because I think the shots that come from that are homing. Not Maybe not homing, but targeted. Uh, let's keep let's keep playing with with this. Oh shit! Here we go. Yes. Feed, little one, feed. Ah, oh, fuck. I don't want to be here right now. God damn it. You're just fucked. Most fucked up enemy in the game. Thank God I don't have to fight two of- oh. Real hot. That's the hardest room in the chest right there. Offers <laughs> also managed to perfectly split the damage between them yeah yeah if only they didn't look the same four fat spinny lads spinny lads the the little pink uh jumpy guys the really tanky ones Fat guys who spin. Oh! Two brownie, yeah, or an L-shaped room, uh, with two, uh, with three brownies in it. Yep, that's tough. I I would say Sister's Viz is is nothing, because they're so easy to avoid damage. These are the ones I was thinking of. Thankfully, they're very, very lightweight. Two Gertie Juniors. Oh, this is a cool room. Nice. Yeah. Bucket o lard. There's actually a health down for us, ironically. Yes! Finally! The Hermit. Cool. It's good. It's a good card.
Just show me where the boss is. This one's pretty tough. From a not taking damage standpoint, not easy. They're very weak, but that's okay. Hello, Miss Queep. Four super envies. You always manage to split them somehow. Depends on depends on your uh Offensive capabilities, but that's very easy to do if you if you've got like wild shots here, yeah. and it's very time consuming if you want to be careful about it. Hey, <laughs> we got a decent item. Five luck. That's not bad. All right, let's let's finish this. Give me actually, you know what? You read my mind. Oh my god, that was a close one. Okay. Gato! You, only time you've seen Glass pan, Cannon be good is on the Lost. I've never actually used it. I don't think I've activated it once. I've certainly picked it up, but... D7, probably a good call. If I had a... If I had uh, a 9 volt... Or a 9 volt and AAA battery, we could have cycled the same room over and over again forever. Um, hey, shit happens. All right. Jesus so, manage. They fucked it up. Twitch has done something weird. Manage reward requests. Choose prediction outcome. There we go. Congratulations to the 83% of you. Alright, time for set up the next game. Hand of Fate. Alright. Hand of Fate. Let me set this up real quick. So the reason I capture individual games is so that my desktop remains not visible. I know some, it depends on the stream setup that you have. I'm on a single PC setup. This just works better for me. Yeah, 
it makes you take more damage. Zeph, no sweat, dude. Next week sometime you'll be able to catch a stream from the beginning. <laughs> yeah. It'd be good to have you here, man. Adventure RPG action indie card and board game. Yeah, the, I, I, from what I've heard, the card mechanics in this game aren't too deep. It's more to do with um, like the, the combat. I don't know. I, we will see. All right, folks, give me s two minutes. I'm going to go restroom, get a drink and uh, BRB. Won't be long. Choose your own adventure with Arkham style combat. That sounds pretty good to me. That sounds pretty good.
Alrighty. What's up, Urban Viking? What's going on? All right. I hope you've been enjoying the music. But it's time to switch my fader over to the other. Goodbye. Okay. And I have uh, Slim Jim. Slim Jim for dinner tonight. Rocking out. It's a freaking amazing soundtrack, dude. Uh, so is this a controller? Oh, apparently it is. Okay. Let's try controller first. Settings. Hit pause. All right. We'll see what that's about. Apprentice mode. Enemy health bars, yes. Language English. Voiceover language. Oh, voiceover. Nice. Subtitles, yes. Attack indicator color. Red, green. It's fine. It's fine. Twitch integration. Okay, well, I'm not going to be typing that here. Encounter voting. Allow viewers to vote on encounter choices. Chance voting. Allow viewers to vote during chance minigame. Gift voting. To vote on gifts. Adventure voting. Boss naming. Um. Do we want to do this? You going to give me... You want me to set this up? A couple of minutes? Boss naming sounds hella to toxic. Allow viewers... Viewer names to be used for endless bosses. Um, I might disable that. Just because if it was chatters, if it said allow chatters names to be used for for bosses, I would say yes. But if it's viewers, I don't I don't want lurkers to be called out. It should be my choice. Well let's let's do a few runs first then. That's fine. I'll I'll try it out and we'll see what happens. Alright, control of vibration, buttons auto. Confined curse at a window? No, thank you. Ah, uh, snared. Struggle UI. Defend. No idea what that means. Okay. Audio. Is it flickering? I see, I'm seeing something flicker in my left periphery. It is. Do you see that? Adaptive V-Sync. That was fucking with it. That's fine. Looks looks better now. If it's if it's still happening, just say flickering. Uh, quality. It's fine. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Max, max, big. Sixteen times big, bigger, better. Auto detect. No. Cool. 
I would say, uh, if I, was a, if I was a betting man, I'd say we're ready. What's well, pretty? Your memories are fading even now. Gone to form the soul of the game we play. These pieces are new, as are the stakes. Life, death, and vengeance. We must ride, for time is short, and you have much to learn. Make your first choice, and let us set these wheels in motion once more. I might drop it to 60 frames on my end. That might fix things. Um... Oh, okay. Dender presentation, sure. These cards represent your history and our game. We know where they end, for you are here. Therefore, these cards must guide you to my side. Let us see what the journey holds. The fool steps into nothingness because they know no better. In the same way, you must step into the void. You are a blank slate, and together we will write your history. stumbled many miles through this forest in search of the thieves who robbed you though exhausted and hungry you are determined to reclaim your father's amulet you finally catch sight of the thieves hacking at a large tree and arguing among themselves move closer or keep your distance Okay, okay, so it's kind of like, it, it feels kind of like Ring of Pain, what was the other game where, oh, Inscription, Ring of Pain, Inscription-ish, we're playing against a person, a, a DM, essentially, with a single player card game, well, or a board game. Okay, let's try to move in and eavesdrop. Every element of the game has been improved. Even those that seem at first glance familiar. Do not worry. You will soon understand the nuances. Mm, I'm worried. Alright, so we have a 25% chance of failure. We were successful. Creeping forward, you overhear their leader spouting orders. It's simple, he says. The idiots walk down the road. You push over a tree and jump out. They'll be too scared to pull up... Uh, pull up... Pull, Put up a fight and we'll get rich. Why don't we just jump out and stab him? One retorts. Another hooded figure chimes in. Yeah, corpses don't put up a fight either. Frustration rises in the leader's voice. The Empire doesn't care if a few farmers lose some sprouts. But drop a corpse on the royal road and the place will be filled with soldiers before you've even spent the coin. We don't need that trouble. Now quiet, here they come. Toil. You soon spot a group of farmers coming around the corner bringing their wares to market. How's the animations? Is it stuttering at all? Looks pretty smooth, at least from OBS. Let me know if it if it even hitches a little bit because I will drop the frames to sixty. Looks smooth to you. Good, good, good. 
The thieves fell the tree on into the path of the unsuspecting farmers and leap out, weapons brandished. Give us all your food. Leap to the farmer's defense. Offer to help the farmers, warning them it won't come for free. Help the thieves with their extortion. We're going to defend. We'll do this one for free. You draw your weapon with practiced skill. Well, you hear the leader's voice. You, you lads handle this. I'll meet you when you're done. When did a sequel come on this game? This is an old game, I think. Like, even the sequel's old. Thug. Violence for the sake of violence and theft for the sake of money. These attack frequently and can evade standard attacks, making heavy weapons less effective. Weapon ability. Attack. Evade. Bash. And camera move. Okay. Weapon ability. Gotta, gotta look for those flashing greens. The farmers fumble in their haversacks in gratitude. Thank you, adventurer. I'm sure that, that after they took our food, they would have taken our lives as well. Oh, we get a ton of food. Right on. And I guess we use food to heal, possibly. You fall on the food with a sigh, shoveling bread into your mouth to quell your hunger. No. Turns take food. Got it. Your satisfaction lasts only a moment before you realize your father's amulet is not among the takings. Their leader must still have it. You set to your feet, determined to find him. You just had a coyote try to get your chickens. Isn't real life fucking weird? Find the leader of the thieves. Retrieve your amulet. Okay. Wow, this game or the the board game, the the spin-off board game ruined the studio? Really? About 4 years old, huh? What am I selecting? Okay, I can only move one. Okay, I got it. And we are using food every single turn. Got it. While enjoying a moment beside the fire, you spy a strange figure approaching your camp. It's a goblin dressed in what must pass for goblin finery. From beneath a filthy fox pelt serving as an ill-fitting wig, the goblin winks at you with wild red eyes. A friend in need. Aha! I've been roaming for hours trying to find you. We must... Get this over with quickly if I have any hope of getting to all the people on my list before sunrise. It lowers a sack from its shoulder. Now from within my sack, I can conjure whatever your heart desires. Hmm. Is this 
Is this Belschmickel? The goblin's voice trails off as he examines his sack. Well, I could if there wasn't a blooming great big hole in it. His head disappears entirely into the bag until his bulbous nose protrudes from the breach. A new plan then. The goblin pulls out his last trinkets. Uh, warrior's ex axe, soldier's sword, and a shield. Uh, shield's reflect. One-handed weapon required. Use defend to reflect attacks from ranged enemies. Interesting. And defense. I think it was the board game that killed it for them. That's really sad, and you'd have to wonder why they didn't, like, completely outsource that kind of thing. Like, here's the here's the design. Instead of you know dumping all of your own resources into it, like, sure you won't make as much money at the end of the day, but the alternative is what we see anyway. I don't know. Critical strike. Perform a powerful strike that causes 250% damage. Requires 8 hits. So that's your special ability. I, I did that before. Repost. Against Northerners, Repost deals 150% damage. One-handed can repost between enemy combo attacks. Additional defense from a shield is useful. Making your board games expensive. Oh, no doubt. No doubt, but again, if you have an IP and a game that's like the framework and the artwork and every, like if, if it's all relatively complete, a lot would need to be changed and designed. I get that, but manufacture, you, you don't want to take that on yourself. Would have lost control over the details. Hmm. Pride cometh before the fall. Warrior's Axe. Five hits to perform a critical strike. Heavy Bash deals additional damage to armor. I'll take the shield. That seems fine. A simple defense. You can do better given time. Okay, so one-handed weapon required, use defend to block. So now we can block and, uh, well, I guess it says shield reflect. I'm assuming we can still block with it. We get an extra six defense and this one can be sold later if we want. The original one cannot be sold or exchanged. Um... I'm, I'm sure there's a story out there, right? Like, the devs would have um, put put out a, a some kind of blog post or something, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I got it. I got it, Hobo. I am right here, and we have things to do. A wise choice. Now I must go. There are many others I must visit before I can rest. The goblin runs off into the night, his fox wig flapping in the evening breeze. You can change equipment in the inventory. Let's make sure I have it equipped. I do. All right, so we have weapon, shields, gloves, shirt, helmet, ring, and something else. This card has a token. Can you find it? Your journey through a forest is interrupted by an inquisitive child. Are you searching for the forest folk? My uncle says that they used to walk these woods giving out gifts. I want to find one and ask for a lemon cake. 
I fucking love lemon. Oh, I, I'm with you, kid. So this one has a token. We already have a token. So I guess that's important for something. I, I'm assuming that's ours on the bottom. Well, right behind my head there. As they dash off, to appear under a nearby log, the child shouts back, Remember, if you meet the forest folk, get me a lemon cake. In the other direction, an eerie song hangs in the air. You attempt to find its origin. 25% chance of failure. All right. You follow the song through the thicket and stream until you find an open glade bathed in golden sunlight. You find an aged maiden, her posture bent like the bows of a forest. Bows? Bows or bows? Bows, I think. It has been 12 winters since I had a visitor. Her voice is a whisper, yet it thunders in your ears. You may visit me. Oh, she's a Bene Gesserit. You may visit me when you're in need, adventurer. This is yours now. Even yeah. if you lose the challenge, you have earned this token. Do we have meta progression? Is this, is this, does this have unlocks? Right, now I can make a selection. Okay, right on. Nothing could be more fitting now than meeting the mage who started this all. Or at least started it all for you. A trail of fallen trees and distraught farmers led you to the thieves who had your had stolen your amulet. It seems their infighting has only gotten worse. The bandits surround their former leader weapons drawn. So this is when you think about it, you take this skin away right that the whole card game aesthetic and the, the board and, and the table and all the rest like this is this is an ftl like game right except it's action instead of strategy that's it um if anyone hasn't played the game out there it's kind of like this except um There's no, like, real-time combat. It's all, like, events that take place. And it's more of a story, like a narrative that you have somewhat of control over. It's really cool stuff. I love I loved this style of game. Yeah, no, you weren't, you weren't far off. And it's not like the Skull game in Isaac. You can actually keep your eye on the cards. Interesting. Okay. A trail of fallen trees leads you to the thieves who have stolen the amulet. It seems they're infighting, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Everyone will get their fair share. There's no need for violence, the leader implores. Whoever's heard of a thief talk about fair share spits one. You turn up and boss us around. We've barely stabbed anyone. It's been days since I've stabbed someone. Days. The leader notices you approaching and waves you over. As much as I'd love to continue this discussion regarding stabbings, I'm afraid I have urgent business with my associate here. As he greets you, he whispers, keep me alive and there'll be plenty of gold for your trouble. Hmm. Tell him he will play, pay in blood for his thievery. It's like my main quest right now. Here's the thought. Does it have to be my blood specifically? Kill my associates and I will gladly return your amulet. Ever reliable, the thieves draw their blades to mug you. The leader hurries away to hide. Give us your stuff or we'll stab you up, growls one of them. You consider your options fight or give them... Well, we're not going to give them a food and gold. That's silly. 
you draw your weapon and prepare to deal with the miscreants. Perform a quick riposte by attacking immediately after defending an enemy attack. Shit, how do I block? That ain't it. Triangle. Stab him again. With the battle resolved, the thief leader nods in approval at the carnage before him. He holds out a hand. The name is Markalips, bard extraordinaire. His smile fades under your withering glare. Sensing your anger, he raises his hands in surrender. Wait, let's not be hasty. We're on the same side here. I am an upstanding citizen just like you. I've been working with the thieves, yes, but only for the greater good. No, really, they were killing people. Before I came along, I know it seems bad, but look, he pulls out an amulet from his pockets and pressed it into your hands. All is forgiven. Yes. You stare at the amulet. It does not look familiar. Oh. Macapolip. Mac. Malaclips. Malaclips says, scratching his head. He opens a small satchel. So which one is yours? Oh, okay, this is a this is an important choice. I feel we got a lion, pharaoh, a bull, and a crow. Lions are cool. That they are. The lion amulet, that suits you. Very similar facial structure. Say, you know what? I'm lonely, you're lonely, we should work together. You have befriended Mac Malaclips the trickster. We should probably get to know one another, seeing as we're going to be friends for life. <laughs> Might be very short friendship. Uh, tell me, where are you from? I'm sorry, is that my fucking arms? Jesus Christ. Oh, that changes my appearance. Right on. Okay. Haircut? Oh. I, I like the default. I like the default. I think that's cool. Color. Hell yeah.
Oh, that's the amulet. Cool. We can choose the bird one. I guess I wonder if this matters or if it's just visual. We'll keep the lion for now. And then color scheme. This is pretty cool. I like this. From the Eastern Belt. You don't say good sorts from the Eastern Belt. Very trusting. Oh, by the way, I mean we. I mean, I mean we, friend, owe money to Vignus of the Thieves Guild. He's quite angry at us. We should journey to Meyerbridge together to appease him. Some gold might help. Although, come to think of it, I'm rather busy. Eyes, eyes are pretty. A pretty trader hiking up the road, so it'd be best if you get the gold and I meet you there. Uh, Baus and Doros, thank you very much. Seven months subscribe, you legend. Did he just dump his debt on me and say, I'll meet you there? It, it, that's what it sounded like. Push up for every hit in Isaac. Hmm, okay. Sorry, one second. Shit. Ho, 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 you make a poor apprentice. Cultivate focus. You're telling me to hurry up. The Royal Road. Okay. Smaller pieces of our fates shattered into. You enter a competition of strength at a fair. A gold prize is available for the winner. Arm wrestling. In the first round of the competition, your opponent is the dim the diminutive Roland, a halfling from a traveling troop of acrobats. Oh, okay. These dice are another small game embedded in our game. You are learning. Literally luck. Roland is no match for your strength. He gives a, a disappointed backflip off the table and collects his meager winnings, then cartwheels out the door. It was a halfling. I mean, I'm a fucking unit. Gain fortune, 10 gold. When you return, you you will compete in the next round for a larger prize. When I return. So here I have a choice of two. Do I want to... Um, I guess it all depends on food usage, right? Like technically we could go... We could skip one and go to the exit. Or alternatively, we could come back. Maybe do another uh, arm wrestle. Maybe not. Um, well, let's find out. The roads have become even more deadly since the Empire has come to power. Despite their promises of the opposite. The road ahead is blocked by an overturned carriage and a woman calling for help. Please help, she cries. I've been robbed by a band of thugs. Is, is there anything you can do? That smells like a trap, man. Target 12? Oh, I've got three dice. I thought there was two there. I was like, Jesus.
Thank you, the woman says, as you help her from the carriage. Please accept this as a token of gratitude. Oh, that's good. 69 out of 100 health. No. So once a card is used, it is used. Water is a symbol for the many thoughts that churn beneath the surface. Or crossing a what is it you're thinking of? Crossing a stone what bridge, you suddenly find yourself worrying at your mind. confronted by a villainous band beneath. and the music they played. Stand and fight. Leap into the river. So four of blight. Does that explain who we're going up against? Can I get more information about that? Four units? It does. Okay. Okay. It's fine. Blight probably means that. Yeah, probably. Well, there you go. Look. Zombish. Inflicted. The first touches of corruption bring forth the darkest elements of their victims. Infected enemies are feeble, causing them to become knocked down when health is low. Use a finisher before they can recover. Ah, oh, fuck. See what you mean about Arkham combat. Having spilled your enemy's blood, you search the bodies for anything useful. Armory gain. Warrior's Axe. Armor Breaker. Against corrupted enemies, Bash causes additional damage to armored. It's a two-handed weapon, huh? I mean, it is a lot of damage, but... Say no to that. We'll sell it later. Why do they call it Arkham Combat? Surely it wasn't the first game to have that kind of combat. Celebrations in aid of what? Nearing the sleepy hamlet of Dulwich, of the Dulwich? Into tales you find the villagers in the midst of some kind of celebration. Much of the activity concerns a large paper and wood statue depicting a fearsome warrior looming triumphantly over a prone lizardman. Follow the parade. Ask local about what is going on. Carry on your way.
Sands of Time was fucking amazing. Let's follow the parade. The parade ends in the town square. You watch as the villagers take turns smashing the statue with a club and gathering the food and gold that spills out. A local notices your interest and asks if you would like a turn. Food and gold, you say? So there's no possible way you can you can tell. Yeah, it even though you might be able to watch the cards, there's no way to actually know what what they are because they overlap. Join in the club strikes the chest. You survey the spoils and try to scoop them up before anyone else can. Oh. Womp womp. Before you can gather anything, a young child shovels the bounty into a basket and scampers off with your turn over. You leave. Bummer. Here we come to the end of the beginning. Running errands for mavis. You arrived at Meyer Bridge as the sun begins say. to dip below the horizon. You find Mal pursuing a selection of cheeses by the market. Ah, if it isn't good, my friend, the adventurer, did you bring the gold? Meet at the graveyard. Oh, I still don't trust this dude. You wonder whether the spot was chosen for its seclusion or for easy body disposal. Bigness greets Mal with a sly grin. Looks like you turned up after all, and with a lackey in tow. We had our doubts, you know. Breed of Anarchist. Or Anarchist of Breed. You reveal your gold as Mal scrounges in his pockets for the sum too. The heavy satchel of riches lands in Vignus' feet with a thud that echoes through the silence of the cemetery. You lose 35 gold. That's our deal done, Mal says. Worry obvious in his voice. No need for any further troubles. I'm sorry, Mal. You should have known the guild was never going to let you pay with cash stolen from our members in the first place. Now you're gonna fucking die. Vignus the Crazed, Treacherous and Greedy, a dangerous combination. Anarchists throw flaming bombs that cause fire damage. Your armor is no use to you here. Where's my guy? I'm not being facetious. Where the fuck is he? The timing, it's a little bit, it's, it's a little bit more stilted than a, a classic Arkham game. Timing is um, somewhat delayed. Like turns play out in the order in which they're playing out, right? So if you're in the middle of attack, you can't, you can't cancel that attack and...
Hell yeah. I think that deserves some pop, pop rocks. Apple, I guess. No, you can't have them. Dangerous for dogs, I'm sure. Oh, but Dad, I've been really good. Look at her, she's got her nose in the bag. You can't have them. Party, I wouldn't do that. You probably you might even be able to hear it, actually. Uh, Mal scratches his chin thoughtfully. Sh you shut up, you. It seems you could do with some savvy to help navigate these tricky matters of diplomacy, like maybe killing everyone wasn't the best idea. Come, let's discuss our partnership over an ale or two. Well done. You have cleared the first challenge, and now we can move on to the next. For completing the Fool. Cardinal Blade, nice. Bastion of Purification. Market Thief. Tarts, Pies, and Exotic Lies. Fork in the Road. Was, was the farting necessary? Is that because I wouldn't give you any pop rocks? <laughs> Arm wrestling. So some of these have a... A little, a little symbol on them. Music's kind of weird for the theme. Am I unlocking cards to be used in the game as a whole in future runs? Got it. Including the weapons we just got? Or do we get them for this run specifically? For befriending Mal... We get Mal's problem and the trickster with like a little bit of uh, a little bit of flair on it. Future runs, you build your game deck. Okay. Shadow beasts of empt. Oh, they're coming from the tokens. Shadow beasts have entered the realm. A friend in need. The peasant's son. So we're unlocking more story and the game is getting harder. Kind of like progressing through Isaac a little bit. We're finding the forest folk. The old maiden. I understand. Welcome to my challenges. Together we will traverse 22 paths of wisdom and despair in the hope of awakening. Okay, so the fool we've done. The next is the magician. Hey, uh, Miss Queep. Pretty decent game you've unlocked here. Nothing here is coincidence. You might like it. It's got some cool card designs in it. If you but look. The magician rescue the missing empire soldiers from a town plagued with corruption. Companion one of one. So our story continues, right? Okay. Oh, we have to choose encounters and equipment. 
recommend. The goblin can recommend you a deck built from suggested cards. While good, he's no match for an experienced player. Got it. We've only got Mal at the moment. He has a magic shield, a respin wheel, and ranged magic. Sounds good to have. The Orphan, unlocked in Outlands and Outsiders DLC. Oh, I don't have a DLC, maybe? Now I have to check. One moment. Store page. DLC bundle. Fifth, there's three DLCs. Oh, shit. one of four items so i have one dlc already whatever that is i don't know it's 15 dollars all right well let's keep playing anyway i think the crow card was dlc why would it be if it let me select it fill your deck with encounter cards Should I, should I get the DLC now or we just keep going with the base game? Like, is it necessary? Will it enhance the game at all? Probably a rhetorical question, but... So these are, these are events. I got it. All right. Now why, pray tell, does this have flair on it? We're going to, we're going to take that one. I want arm wrestling again. Probably want Old Maiden as well. More characters and quests. Don't think it's needed yet. Right on. All right. Hell, I might not. I might not even play it after tonight. But I'm. I'm digging it so far. It's pretty fun. I think I'm wrestling. So when it comes to these cards, what is the? that little um the symbol at the bottom this is a token right what is that max platinum cards one max brimstone cards zero everything with a token so we unlock more stuff later okay that's a fair call actually friend in need market thief and you need five to make a token oh okay it's a it's a shard got it unknown unknown so we don't know what these are because we haven't used them i see the so deep water is equipment resources dice and combat i guess equipment and resource gain are dependent on the outcome or any other modifier or random right thieves ambush dice gain food gain gold that's that one again. Okay. It's fine. One, two, three, four, five. That's it. Done. Continue. So now we add weapons and shields. All right. Fill your deck with equipment cards. These are the items you can acquire, can acquire on your journey. Wouldn't I be best doing that or I have to add them all? I have to add them all. Yeah, okay. Growing Scourge. Prepare to fight Corrupted. Avoid Empire. Lose gold for every Empire killed. Okay. Uh, start. People keep adding fucking pet pictures to Discord. It's driving me nuts. I love them. I love them all.
one hundred years, I have thought about nothing but the game. I was defeated. It is true. I became complacent long before then. What pictures? I thought On I Discord. knew everything about the game and what the it pet be. Page in Discord. Now you see before you the extent of my research. I have crafted this game anew. Your conversation with Fur Trader is interrupted as Mac. Mal. Mac or Mal? I can't I can't say his name properly. Arrives in a flurry. The whispers seek of trouble at the edge of the Empire. The town of Westwind is suffering against the blight. Let's go. You return to the markets and ask if any traders headed to Westwind might need an escort. There are three options. A stonemason, a food wagon, and a weaponsmith. Mal is good. Mal I can remember. A food wagon headed to a nearby wedding offers you a ride. They give you some of the food in exchange for not taking you the whole way. Cool. You arrive at the town of Westwind. To defend the town, you'll need to locate as many Empire soldiers as you can before the Blight invades. At what point does honor bend to pragmatism? 14 target now. We can try twice, I think. This is so Tharsis, I love it. Hobo, you've you've played Tharsis, right? Oh you haven't? Yeah, check it out. You I think you'd like it. thrives in even the most unusual of locations. Eight blades. Fire magical blades in eight directions when activated. Blades cause 20 damage over... or 40 damage to corrupted. Hmm. We'll save for that. We'll buy that later. Uh, yeah. Hobo. It is... it's really good. Um, Dolphin Chemist was playing it recently. I haven't played it on Steam myself, I don't think. But I have played it. It's it's very difficult, um, but it's it's super fun. Yeah, we really want to get that. It's a shame we can't afford it. Can I sell stuff? I've got nothing to sell. I'll buy the shield. <clears throat> a shield in more ways than one. Well, that may help you on the road ahead. Sell equipment. What can we sell? No. For one third the price, please. Eight food. One food. It's an expensive food. 
t'inquiète. Choose the card to buy. That was a weird interface bug, right? I don't know, food seems really important, so keep going. The Empire reaches too far. The North has gone from a loose collection of tribes to something to truly fear. Northerners. Three of Frost. Let us see if the mage can help you here. He fucking better. Has he got... Has he got a flying V? Or whatever the fuck it's called. Wooden loot? <laughs> Companion ability. Okay. Nothing else. I'll get a song out of this. Shield bash, motherfucker! Yeah. Alright, we got the axe. Did I equip that? I did equip that shit. You gained two recruits. Also took a pretty big battering. Life itself in exchange for life. Uh, as you hike through the mountains one fine day, you come across an injured traveler, a friend in need. Though he is clearly deeply wounded and barely moving, you sense something disturbing about the cloaked figure and approach with caution. You, mortal, come here, the creature commands, his voice rasping. I need sustenance to heal myself, and you will provide it. Do you know how much I paid for this food? You draw your weapon and the beast weakly raises its arm to defend itself. Spare me and I will make it worth your while. Ask how. Three days ago, I happened to feast upon one of your kind, a holy man of some nature, I believe, who could no doubt cure you of your wounds. Grant me a pittance of your blood to restore my strength. And I swear I shall bring him to you. The creature dies with a shudder. You search him for anything useful. We gain 15 bucks. Here we begin to see one of the small ways I've changed the game. Each challenge differs both in their rules and their objectives. Even those cards which were once the stairs now vary per challenge, as you will see. The West Wind Tower bell chimes feverishly the tower crier bellows there's corrupted inside this town they broke through the sewers and into the L louse lane hmm our brave soldiers have gone down there to sort it out join the soldiers go to the next level oh we're creating a mini dungeon here keep exploring
We cannot let the, the corruption spread for the good of the town we must dispose of anyone who's been tainted even a little. Hobo, can I have a quick primer on how this works? In the meantime, I'm going to have another uh, sachet. Sachet. And when you say progressing, you mean keep exploring, right? Join in the fight against the corrupted. Nial was wildly inventive craftsman and also quite quite mad. By sea and song, fate and fame. You get the token and future cards associated with it by progressing that story. Understood. With the corrupted threat removed, you ensured that these soldiers survive to aid the town's defense. You gain three recruits. The soldiers help you scavenge what they can from the remains of the poor souls taken by the corruption. There it is. Would I like to equip it? It indicates the truth of all directions. Is a bard a mage? Oh, we're going to have to make some decisions here. We could backtrack, but that will cost food, so gotta be careful. Let us learn what sort. Yes, of I'm wrestling. Let's go. Strong, clever. Wise, the circumstances under which you come here put the lie to that. You sit opposite the aged frame of Huntley Toothless. He boasts about once being a silencer for the Thieves Guild. Twelve. Oh, fuck. Gonna need a five or six here. Oh, I can reroll two. Fucking fuck. The dice are fair, and thus you have lost this round. 
The haggard ex-hitman appears to know some type of hand grip that thumb that numbs your muscles. You are defeated. After being knocked out in the second round, you receive only a small prize. You take the lesser reward for losing in the competition of strength. When you return, a new contest will begin. They place themselves in these dire positions and then expect a hero to come rescue them when things become too much. While patrolling the outskirts of Westwind, you hear, you hear the clash of steel and the unmistakable groan of corrupted. <laughs> Your investigation leads you to a distressed nobleman perched on the roof of his carriage. Thank the gods I was heading to tea with the Duke Gilbert when we were ambushed. My footmen left me here to fight them off, but the brawl has now dispersed into the forest. The noble peers fearfully at the tree line. If you stay here and protect me, I can pay. Ah, uh, okay. So we go off for a fight, or, um, or we take cash. Hobo, no sweat. You have a good night, dude. Catch you later. Let's go after the soldiers. <clears throat> so I wonder if that's now two fights, or we're fighting seven of them. That sword looks fucking cool. I'm I'm pretty kitted out, to be fair. Nope, seven. Okay, so that's a bit of a bummer because we haven't unlocked any like extra armor and stuff yet. Um, we 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 picked up pretty much all of the items we've taken with us. Now here's the question: we can go to the next one, and then I say we backtrack and do a full loop because I don't think it's gonna let me general store buy equipment, buy food, sell equipment. Here we go. Warrior's axe. Sell. Shield. Sell. Not sell neither of those. By healing. By food. Give me ten. Okay, so I'm actually going to go back now. Oh, th it doesn't cost you anything to backtrack. Oh, that's dope. Your companion has his own story to tell. 
We must wonder if this is a tale of a hero or a villain. Do I need this much food? Yeah, food's really important. It's not just me I'm feeding, it's it's Mal as well. You arrive at the city markets to meet with Mal's associate. You find him sitting on a blanket by the sewer gates. You can't tell whether he's a goblin, a human, or an animate pile of greasy rags. A few whittle, wilted daisies and duckweed tied with rope are flopped on the ground around him. Merc! Mal calls out the creature's arms outstretched. I have a favor to ask of you, my handsome friend. The greasy goblin raises a hand to stop the bard's prattle. Ten gold first, you know that. We don't have enough gold. The goblin man looks affronted. Mal places a consoling hand on, and hand on him. Don't be mad. He doesn't know about our how our kind work. Merc crosses his arms and turns his back. Mal makes soothing noises. Look here, Merc. We'll be back before you know it with the gold, okay? In my day, Market thieves, thieves kept their distance. None would pickpocket a mage for fear of failure. Or worse, success. The Market Bazaar is a hive of activity. Traders from across the lands call out passers-by to sell their wares. As the sun beats down on the crowded street, you pause briefly to draw water from a fountain. You feel something tug on the inside of your tunic. Turning quickly, you discover a pickpocket making off with some of your belongings. Bad fortune. Pain. Stole, stole my cash. You jump to your feet and catch a glimpse of the thief as they weave through the crowd. Okay. They got themselves into this mess. I don't see why you should get them out. Fight to free them. Let's go. So I'm getting the block button. Not the block button, the circle button, shield bash or kick, whatever. Raider! Northerners can perform combo attacks. Use repost with your single-handed weapons to deal extra damage immediately after you defend. By sea and sock, fate and pain. Oh, unblockable attacks, okay. Yeah, I thought backtracking was going to cost me food. That's why I bought so much, but it's okay. All right, you live and learn. Green, you block. Red, you dodge. Uh, dodging works for both, then, in that case. Now your chance presents itself. At last, stand in the defense of the peasantry. What noble traits you display already. Oh, we still have no cash. It's it's interesting that there's still a card on the field, the one that the guy, his buddy won't, uh, we can't, we can't afford it now, but that's fine. It's cool. Let's ring the bell. Top westward, West End's uh, town hall is a large bell tower. It used to be signal the day's end for workers in the mines and surrounding fields, but now it will summon... Westwind's defenders, do you wish to summon the soldiers you have recruited? Seven of them, yes. As night cloaks Westwind, you can sense the corruption rising from the shadows all around you. You survey any soldiers you've managed to recruit. Speaking of daytime, nighttime cycles, what was the game strategy game? It was isometric. It took place in like a, a little town in the center. And you had to build and unlock like different units and then approaching from each of the the four cardinal directions was your like an attacking force fairly recent early access not enough content to keep me playing back in the day what was that called 
we I played quite a lot of it. They are billions, no. Last stand, no. War tales, no. Fairly recent. I mean, like, maybe six months ago. Shit, what was that called? Had an amazing soundtrack. The, the, the opening song at the main menu was this fucking rocking. Like, it was, it, it was, it, blo it's, it's in my iTunes. I know it. Hang on a sec. Hang on a sec. Turn-based tower defense with fantasy elements? Not tower defense. It was turn-based for sure, yes. But not tower defense. The last spell. Yep. Hey, hello. What's up, man? The table yep. has changed, yet the stakes remain the same. Life or death. Why is... Did they remove the last spell soundtrack from... Show in Apple Music. Item not available. The item you've requested is not currently available in Apple Music in the United States. That's fucked, because it was a really good soundtrack gotten some pretty cool updates we'll check that one again you must survive till morning when imperial reinforcements will arise give a rousing speech or remain silent we'll give a rousing speech inspired failure 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 oh good the soldiers appear unmoved by your words and remain tense and fearful oh good Seriously, look up the last spell main title sound uh, theme on um, on YouTube. So good. It's like heavy, heavy rock. Uh, terror of Westwind. As the final vestiges of humanity are e erased, the terror wakes. Use Bash to break the Terror's corrupted armor and defeat it with a finisher before it regenerates. With all these soldiers, you don't think you could have laid me at home? Oh, fuck you. Got him. Big man. A mighty creature of chaos felled by your power. Does it satisfy you? This Once the corrupted behemoth falls, the rest of the minions flee, their spirits broken. Over one simple peasant. 
going about their day. <clears throat> the soldiers erupt in cheers, praising your valor. You can rest until morning, ready to greet the reinforcements with a town already saved. The magician returns to the... I did it! But now we only begin our stories of fate, folly, and magic. Do not think I am satisfied with this, but at least we have a place to begin. Alright, so we've got a new sword, um, a ring, and it looks like a new shield. Man-eating tree, gnomish exchange, lost boy, pauper plague, west wind tavern. Hey, Hollow, if you're still here, dude, are there any games you're looking at playing soon? I know Darkest Dungeon got a new update recently, but I think it was... Open to you. It looks like just balancing you and stuff. yourself blocked or over-challenged, <clears throat> take the time to explore the board. Unlocking cards will give you options you have not yet considered. Unlocked in Outlands and Outsiders DLC. Alright, tell you what. Can I... If I exit here... Does it save my game? Let's have a look. It absolutely should. Oh, just dumped me straight out. Interesting. End of A2 store page. It looks like I don't even have the first game either. Oh. Oh, Steam wants to update now. Okay, fine. Go ahead and update, Steam. We'll wait for you, bud. No sweat. Um, speaking of tunes, let's, uh, let's get a little bit going while I deal with this real quick. I'm going to, I'm going to buy the DLC. Streaming. FTL soundtrack. FTL? No, we're going to go Risk of Rain 1. Includes eight free content updates. DLC for what? This? Hand of Fate? I don't want to miss anything. I like it. Wow, I don't have to sign in with PayPal again. I'm, it's a Christmas fucking miracle. Yeah, install content. It should download automatically, actually. Newly DLC has been acquired. Automatically installed. Manage your DLC here. View DLC in store. In library, in library. Nope, oh, that's it. I'm pretty sure. Play the game. That's me. Looks like it's saved uh, progress. Look, there's a little guy down the bottom that says new, additional content. A cold hearth. Faces of war. Available after completing the magician challenge. Alright, no sweat. Cool. 
available after completing the world challenge. I'll be back. I'll be back. I, I love it already. That, that presentation that where you have a game, a base game, whatever, and you add something to it and it makes it known. It, it's, it's a very clear indicator as to this is working. You now have access to that. That's a big deal. Because otherwise I'll sit there and I'll say, hey, I know I have it downloaded. Steam says it's downloaded. I'm not exactly sure what's going on though, right? Risk of Rain Run was the first game that you could never beat, still wanted to play, and when you beat it... So I I watched a lot of uh, Bisnap play uh, play Risk of Rain. He was my... He was my Risk of Rain guinea pig. I never actually watched any other creators other than Bisnap play it. I have clawed my way back beyond the 13 gates to this mortal realm. So now we have more options available to us. Yes, yes. Miss Queep. I'm asking you a question. What's your favorite card out of... Oh, where'd it go? The Fool, the Magician, the High Priestess, the Empress, and the Emperor. The Empress? And what's that mean? A motherly figure being of service to others. Right on. Thank you. Hierophant. I thought it was Hierophant. Okay. Alright. Oh, I have no idea. It, they, these are all in Isaac as well. Uh, the Empress does um, additional damage. No. Yes. Yeah, it's additional damage. You can break rocks. You can break rocks. The High Priestess is um, a giant foot comes down from the sky and crushes you. You can't do that on television? <laughs> Miss Queeb and I have very unusual conversations. Um, okay. Well, we'll do we'll do High Priestess first. It's the next in the list. There is so. the small game, there. the game we play, and there is the great game, the game of life and death. The game I was once master of. Okay. Encounters. So again, we want to get as many of these as possible, huh? We need six. Five and six. Weapons. Yes. That looks fucking cool. Winter's Bane. Yes, yes, yes. You can't do that on television? You remember that show? I hope you do. Because if you said, I don't know, problems happen. Uh, collect blessings in order to enter the ritual house at the summit of Mount Freitas and negotiate a treaty with the northerners there. Tribute. Gain blessings to increase your chance of success. 
Northern honor do not expect to be welcomed by Northerners whilst treading in their lands. Campfire survive Mount Freitas by restoring life at camp. Let's go. You find yourself once again in the company of prayer and religion. <laughs> How unfortunate. Now it begins. Negotiations on behalf of the Empire. We will see how that story ends. Mal has somehow roped you into traveling deep into the far north on a diplomatic mission. While I usually refrain from working for the Empire since this one takes me further away from it, I've made an exception. It'll square my debt with General Brandstrom and help open many doors for you. What do you say? Ask how we can help. As you know, I have a great many skills, but my swordsmanship is unlikely to hold up against northern raiders. I know no one else who is more up to the task. Ask about the leader of the raiders. There are many clans dotted around, but the supposed leader of them all is the high priestess who lives up there. Mal points to the top of the soaring mountain before you. General Brandstrom instructed me not to come back until I talk to the High Priestess of the North and offer the terms of the treaty. Well, I don't have a choice. Let's go. Excellent. Bring your sword and let me do the talking, says Mal. I brought plenty supplies so we can set up camp when we get hungry. We have a new type of card as well. Interesting. So I'm, I'm guessing each of the... Um, tarot cards are their own game rules and correct me if I'm wrong here but this is what I'm picking up the token is different so I'm guessing the tokens that we earn specific to the high priestess will be unique it's, pro it's possible that this is a DLC that we just jumped into Mal shares a tidbit as you commence your journey. The High Priestess is quite partial to blessings. Aha. If you can prove yourself worthy, we'd have a better chance at swaying her in our favor. Access the campfire at any time between encounters. The camp can be used to consume food to restore life or trade equipment. Collect at least six blessings before meeting the High Priestess. You grit your teeth and begin the ascent. You got the gist of it? Yeah, okay, cool. Thank you. Invisit Turtle. I love your name. Oh, we're going we're going towards this time. Ever since I've returned to this world, I've been disappointed. The filth, the shame, the horrors dwell in the minds of men, not in the monsters in the darkness. Westwind's only tavern, the Rusty Razor, is safe harbor among the many da dangers of the outer reaches of the Empire. Its barkeep sits outside his establishment with a look of resigned defeat. Upon your arrival, he jolts straight up, and a smile almost breaks out across his face. At last, someone from the guild is here. These Empire soldiers have almost ruined me. Before you can disagree, the owner swings open the saloon doors and pushes you inside. Inside, you discover a handful of Empire soldiers enjoying ale rather than doing their duty. The freshly invigorated barkeep hops onto a table and shouts above the noise, You lazy, drunken deserters are done, dicks. The Steward's Guild has sent an enforcer here, and now you're all going to have to get back to your posts. This town needs defending. One of the soldiers rises with a slight sway. We've got three days until our shift ends and we'll return to civilization, so we're not doing any fighting unless they threaten the supply of ale. Right, lads? A raucous cheer erupts and beer tankards smash together all around. So why don't you take your shiny lion badge and shove off? Uh, the barkeep turns to you. What are you going to do? Uh, we will threaten them. You suggest with a menace that the soldiers should report to duty or they'll report to the healer. 
<laughs> Pretty fucking good. <laughs> now you wager for more than mere success and failure. You choose the very stakes. The High battles. success. One soldier spits at your feet but turns and leaves. The rest files slowly out behind him. Nicely done. Winner, winner, chicken fucking dinner. Call an ambulance, but not from me, right? It's like the ultimate fucking threat. It's cool. So we don't know, we don't know where the exit is, right? Like we could go one, two, three, and then back. Hopefully it lets us backtrack, maybe. Not every temple has crumbled into the dust. More's the pity. The Temple of Divine Providence bless, uh, provides blessings in exchange for simple gold donation. Make a donation, six bucks. We need six blessings, so sure. Oh, shit. Is that a gold-plated games I see raiding before me? Hello, my friend. Welcome, everybody. Bacon Copter, hello. Hope you're having a great day. Hope your stream was wonderful. What did you get up to this evening? Was it fabulous? Um, um, gold Zealot Gambler's Banquet. You got an analog pocket, so you were playing with that. What the fuck's an analog pocket? Oh! An FPG, FPGA based handheld game console designed and manufactured by Analog Inc. Designed to play games designed for handhelds of the 4th, 5th, and 6th generation of video game consoles. It's a sexy looking machine. It's like... It's like, uh... It's like a GBASP, but not bendable. A digital audio workstation with a built-in synth... Synth synthesizer and sequences are a tribute to portable gaming. Out of the box pocket is compatible with the 2780 Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Welcome Advance game cartridges. The game of life pocket works death. with cartridge adapters for other handheld systems too, like the Game Gear, Neo Geo Pocket Color, Atari Lynx. Fuck. No emulation. How much? How much? I probably want the adapters too. Where's the price? <laughs> you fucks. Pre oh, it's pre-order. You got yours though? 220 bucks. USB-C cable. No emulation, it says, though, right? Game Gear. TurboGrafx-16, Atari Lynx, Neo Geo Pocket. If you want a Switch-style dock, which I assume you need to broadcast the output from. That's fucking cool. That is really dope. What a machine. I'm going to look at that later. All right. Back... Back to it, huh? Um, well, we need we need six blessings, and I guess these are these blessings. Monk's vitality looks like possibly attacks or something gives us food or or gold zealot get money get health. Uh, gambler's banquet. Uh, get health, get food, more food. Long shot, beggar's charm. Shit, I don't know. I'm gonna take monk's fight. Oh, it even, idiot. See how it says down the bottom right? Well, you can't because it's right. 
says X to select on the other one we had when we were previewing them. Um, it would say it would say um, inspect, not select. So this is this is good. All right. Gambler's banquet, blessing, food. Receive plus two food after every dice gambit. Permanent blessing. Any number of blessings can be equipped at one time. Okay. Gold zealot, healing. Receive fifteen life for every gold gain card you receive. These are pretty fucking good. Long life. If your max life is less than 150, you may discard food gain or equipment gain cards to receive plus five max life. Ooh. And, and does this stuff last for the entire campaign? Beggar's Charm. Pocket money. Gain up to 20 gold at the beginning of a new map. Well, I, I, there's, there's your answer. If you have less than 20 gold. Long shot. Precise dice. Score the exact di target value in a dice gambit to draw three equipment cards, then discard this card. Transient Blessing. Any number of blessings can be equipped at one time. Transient blessings are discarded when certain conditions are met. Yeah, we're taking that. Max health, the sooner the sooner the better. One of six received. You lose six gold. Best six bucks I've ever spent, if I'm being fair. Be careful where one takes refuge. Even in the worst of storms. Bit rough. Minus 20 health for, for a simple car, uh, card. With little warning, a snowstorm sweeps in from the north. The snow whips against you like shards of glass and obscures your vision. You struggle to find cover. Ah, oh, fuck. Huge failure. That's not good. You are alerted to the sound of shuffling footsteps. You can barely make out the silhouettes of the menacing figures who have invaded your shelter. Let's do it. Let's fuck them up. I have to ask Ms. Quiva a question. All right. Don't let them hit me. I'm too handsome for violence. Oh, I kind of got I kind of got beat up pretty bad by the snowstorm and then I did take a hit there as well. Oh, we did get some food though. Discard for five max life. Go on. Mal forages for firewood saying this log is dry enough. We can set up camp for the night. Access campfire at any time between encounters. The campfire can be used to consume food, trade, or review your mission. Can we use that anytime? Or is it once per round, I wonder? I'll camp. Campfires will always offer warmth and heat, but they also change with each challenge. Be prepared. A figure appears from out of a swirl of frost and snow. It is a northerner. I come in peace, he says. I make pilgrimage to the high priestess. I mean you no harm. Without waiting for approval, he slumps down beside you and warms his hands by the fire. In my youth, 
I once fancied a northerner warrior. She almost cut off my head when I ser serenaded her. Mal plucks a mournful note on his lute. Young love, hey? Cook food. One food restores five life. Ah, uh, yes. Do that. Uh, do that a lot. Okay, back up to 80. That'll do. Trade. Buy food, buy equipment. Is that Cardinal Blade? 51 bucks? Okay, we won't be doing that. Finish trading. Change appearance. Review mission. Break camp. Okay. In the cold, Another blizzard. Fuck. Women hold these mountains together. Even through you struggle to find cover. Fuck! <laughs> you seek shelter in a cave and desperately fight off the onset of frostbite. The wretched smell of fish meat and stale sweat alerts you to the presence of a bear rousing from hibernation. The ferocious beast bears its teeth and swipes at you with the giant paws. Oh my god. You flee the cave, having barely survived the savage attack. Luckily, the blizzard has passed. Mal forages for firewood. Yep, okay. Do we camp again? I mean... As though you're being stalked, the gentle northerner pilgrim emerges from the darkness, slumping down beside you. Mount Freitas does ever bite, he says with a grin. I love her harsh kiss and bitter cold embrace. Another day's good climb. Back up to 80, man. Fuck. Down to 18 foods. Arm wrestling. <laughs> yeah, here we go. In the first round of the competition, your opponent is the diminutive Roland, a halfling from traveling troop. Wait, I got to fight Roland again? Oh. Dice are a constant reminder. The singular is die, you gain. as I'm sure you know, and they are often called bones for the material from which they were crafted. Here, however, they may also bring a touch of life. You gain to fame. Oh, so fame is a consumable now. Interesting. Oh, I wonder if... So I wonder if the, the arm wrestling gets reset every time you lose and then you have to kind of climb your way back up again. Maybe. Maybe. The mountain itself pushes you back. A sudden blizzard slows your progress through the Mount Freitas. The bitter winds pierce your skin like shards of glass. Ascend! Witches I will tolerate. They have at least stepped into the streams of power that magicians call home. As you ascend the snowy Mount Freitas, you happen upon a cottage with pungent smoke wafting out of the chimney. A frail old lady sweeping snow off the path beckons you to come in. We've come in search of the great high priestess to deliver an important message, says Mal. You'd better go bearing blessings if you want to get on the high priestess's good side. I'm fixing a batch right now if you'd like a taste. If I've got it right this time, you can take it to her, she says, stirring the cauldron. Mal politely declines. I've been watching what I eat, but my companion here has an insatiable appetite, nudging you forward. Awesome, we get another shit. This one's random. Okay. Raider's Penance. First strike. The first hit in combat against Northerners deals 50 bonus damage. Okay, I'll take that. I didn't even see what the other ones were. Thank you, Invis Turtle. Yeah, no, I appreciate you, you uh, showing restraint, let me just say. 
You thank the old lady and continue up Mount Freitas, paying no heed to the brewing blizzard. Speaking of... Oh good, 20 life, gone. Can I get a success this time? No! No, I can't! <laughs> oh good. Berserker of Frost, Trapper of Frost. Happy days. No wonder they gave us so much food at the start. Oh, that ain't good. Fueled with rage and determined to destroy, Berserker weapons are imbued with ice that slows their enemies' movement and attacks. Oh, he hit me with, uh, Bolas. He's a trapper, McQueeve. That's what trappers do. They trap. Camera's pretty much fixed, huh? Yeah. The blizzard eases, the intruders make their escape. Mal forages a firewood, saying this log is dry. Yeah, 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 I get it. Got 15 food left, man. A grand opportunity for you to take make a donation. Let's do it. You and go about so, your day. this time, what's heroic sacrifice? Prior to combat with two or more monster card. Optionally discard a basic monster card, but lose your companion for three turns? Pocket money. Gain up to 20 at the beginning of a new map. Receive 15 life for every gold gained. Yeah, that's probably the best way. Two food after every dice gambit. <clears throat> We have three blessings right now. I am Gnomish exchange. My loathing for gnomes and my despair that the world is becoming less strange and arcane as the empire spreads. You trespass on gnomish ground, humans. A voice calls out as a dozen small creatures leap from the trees around you. The penalty for this transgression is death. Make peace with your gods. Let's fight. It did say six, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Did I misread? Trespass in gnomish lands and face the consequences. Pesky, persistent, and impossible to hit. Gnomes cause snare. Evade to avoid or struggle to break free. <clears throat>
Okay, so we couldn't attack them. We just, we just boot them. The battered gnomes pick themselves up from the battlefield and they approach you cautiously. All right, the penalty for this transaction is no longer death. We'd like to parlay. We seek arms to defend ourselves. Hand over some of your equipment and we'll release you. We can even pay you. I'll give you some food for a helmet. One of the small folk exclaims. I'll share the secrets of this land for a ring. We have nothing of worth. The gnomes crowd in to inspect you but can only confirm your claim. They mutter among themselves as they fade back into the forest. Dang. Missed, a, missed an opportunity. A lesson in caution awaits us all. Oh, man. Nature. Truly wild nature will not tolerate fury in its domain unless it is its own. High up on the mountain, you will see the silhouette of a man approaching through the heavy snow. He bellows through the roaring wind. Who dares trespass in the sacred grounds of our priestess? Trapper and frosts again. Okay. Three of them this time, huh? Who dares venture? Not less than the amazing power clips. And assistant. Took a little bit too much damage there. The thing I like about this game already is that a person who's very familiar with the, the combat is a blade. of the Templars and their religious righteousness. Um, the person who's familiar with the combat can um, uh, get far, I guess even with little upgrades if they're good at the, the fighting a win here sets the tone for your challenge a bit like Isaac mm. yeah I don't know I don't know can every Isaac run be won though I mean if you're a good enough player but I feel like the difference here is a little bit more forgiving. You seek shelter against the bluff, passing close to the rock face as the avalanche roars overhead. When the trembling stops, you are miraculously unscathed. Your assail assailant's weapon juts out from the snow. As you near, you realize it's still clenched in his hand, his body buried to the wrist by the avalanche. Dig him out. Gain two fame. You brave the cold and free the raider from his icy grave. He takes a moment to catch his breath and says, You saved me. Though we are enemies by blood, take my blessing and leave me to my thoughts. Second wind. Healing. In combat, boost life to 75 when life drops below 25. Then discard this card. It's a transient blessing, so once that's done, it's gone. But still, it's fucking dope. You think not every run one run can be won? What was the 
Remember when Cobalt, this is when Repentance was, not Repentance, um, when Rebirth was reasonably new and Cobalt did a, a massive stream, or maybe it was one of the DLCs for it, I can't remember. Afterbirth, maybe, I don't know. Um, he, he, he got to the point where he was doing, um, Eden streaks, and it, there was one run he lost on. I'm going to have to do my Cobalt research, because it's obviously not strong enough. Frogler! Piccolo, as I'm doing a quick in and out. I'll check the VOD later, as it looks nice. Dude, great to have you here. Thank you very much for the resub, Frog. See you soon. Market Thief. For you, if you can earn it. The Market Bazaar is a hive of activity. Traders from across the land call out to passage by, sell their wares. Oh, it's this one again. You feel something tug inside of your tunic, turning your pickpocket, making off with some of your belongings. Stole five gold. The run with Isaac's heart and no consumables. Got it. Yeah, I mean, that. if you've got a link for that, I would love to watch that again. Um, that stream he did with Richard over the course of like a week, that was so good. I was I was glued to Twitch for that. Uh, you jump to your feet and, feet and catch a glimpse of the thief. All right. Okay. Huge success. Nah. Lose five golds. Much sad. Will you push on despite nature itself? Fuck but yes, we will. Thwart you. Old witches. I have a fondness for them, but I would not trust them. Isaac's heart's pretty powerful with the right skill set. I like Isaac's heart. Teal. You're not. You're not wrong. It's very strong. However, enemies can still surround you. Um, and even though you do contact damage, but with the right couple of items associated with, um, you know, toady touch or touch of Midas or the virus or etc. 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 Like there's there's a bunch of stuff that makes you like a weapon. Anyway. Um, and you can blast them away now. I mean, it, it's gotten a buff even as well. Further up the mountain, the blizzard becomes so intense you can barely see the tiny cottage engulfed in snow. An old lady beckons you in. I've received word from my sister's hawk. They've been expecting you. I may not be as skilled as her, but this blessing potion I've whipped up is my best yet. Do you think it's good enough to take the high priestess? I really couldn't, patting his belly. Oh, a couple of failures here. Hmm... Oh, I can't rap, meaning it doesn't really matter. Damn it. You take a sip of the putrid potion and feel your stomach churn. I knew I shouldn't have substituted the cloud berries for, or for bog berries. Comforting you. Choose the righteous path and you'll find blessings on your way, I'm sure. You step outside into the blistering cold and continue up. Ah, big sad. Another blizzard. Think that's the one? Eden Street. Rip 71 0. It was only 71? Okay. Okay. I thought it was in the hundreds. Oh, I can't wait to watch that though. What's he drinking? Madrinus Coffee. Supporting Twitch streamers since, I don't know, years. Malfarge is firewood, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, okay. Mal's problem. You arrive at the city markets to meet with Mal's associate. Madrina's is just rebranded. Till they baked on paying out. Can't recall the new name. Are those two things related? Find him sitting with a blanket by the sewer gates. You can't tell whether he's a goblin or human. Oh, it's this thing. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ten gold. Yep. 
There you go. There's 10, 10 gold. I'm going to need more money, though. Uh, Merc considers Mal for a while. That kind of information costs more than a few coins. I will require at least a test of skill. He turns and points at me. Pick a flower and eat it. The greasy florist displays his meager wares. Mal nods. Eat a daisy. Eat a forget-me-not. Eat the luminous purple flower. Taffy had some issues with them and then dropped them. Uh, uh, Bear Taffy or, or Laffy Taffy? Because I remember Bear Taffy being sponsored by them. There's a, there's a few taffies, yes. There are yeah. a few taffies. Um, luminous purple. Crispy burnt texture. We need a target of 15 from 3 die, man. That's pretty high. Fail. You die. Hmm. I'm somewhat surprised you lost that one. So I wonder if I still have to pay the 10 gold the next time that comes up. Probably do. With the least of notice, Another avalanche. The very no lands sweat. beneath your feet can slide away. Life is filled with surprises. Why am I using that shield? Who dares venture? None less than the amazing Malachlis. health is going down rather fast. <laughs> oh, we get to choose new equipment though. Discard card for five max life. No. Winter's Bane, there's Bastion. Knockdown Northerner requires 9 hits, repost charge, 18 damage, and a shard. I gotta, I gotta take the shield, unfortunately. Discard card for 5 max? No, I'm gonna have to use it. avalanche engulfs you, tossing you weightlessly down the mountain. <gasps> Retrieve the weapon, dig him out. Let's dig him out again. Allies return. Revive companion. Revive your companion at the beginning of each new map. Permanent blessing. Apply. Any number of blessings can be equipped at one time. I don't know if I want to know the answer to this, because I have a feeling the answer is yes, but can you have more than one companion? A friend in need. As you hike through the mountains, fun find day, you come across an injured traveler. Though he's clearly deeply wounded and barely moving. Disturbing. Ah, it's this guy again. A 
A pittance of your blood. Accept his offer. Lunges at you. 30% life. Joke's on you, I've got fuck all already. Throw the creature off or wait? We'll wait. We'll wait. And we'll wait. And again. the creature off you will not regret this I would have recovered my full strength in time I've no doubt but I'll admit you've been a boon to me this night he gestures at the darkness saying the humans who dared to think they could best me in combat lie fallen in a clearing to the south their ambition was a foolish as if their deaths were quick but perhaps they had something that would be of use to you the dealer adds an encounter card to the deck a debt repaid. You set with a flaming torch as soon as you arrive at the scene of the slaughter. A dozen armed men have been recently butchered here. Among the remains you find no decent equipment, just the tools of farmers and provincial sol soldiers. As you leave the carnage, you step on a blade hidden in the shadows of the grass. You cut your foot and you die since you only have one health. To the victor go the spoils. A knight sword. A weapon you do not wish to see turned against you one day. Damage aura creates a powerful blast that causes eighty percent damage. Activate your weapon ability ten times to unlock this shard. Oh, cool. Repost 40 shadow attacks to unlock that token. Would I like to equip it? No. Still got that though. Let's camp. Can't I... Um... Where's my inventory? Allies return. Oh, wait. You can only have one equipped? Second wind. They are all equipped, I think. All the blessings are active, right? So when does um Let's have a look at this. 
Uh, can I see it? Inspect. In combat, boost life to 75 when life drops below 25, then discard. Let's use two food, so I'm up to 11. I mean, shit, we could... A fucking avalanche could take me out. There you go. Well... That's all I got. Let's go. Break camp. Ah. Five life. Five life. If I get a shit roll here, I might be dead. That's combat. <laughs> I should pop straight to 75, hopefully. Hopefully. No, I did not. Oh no, my guy's dead. Oh, it, it happened. Spill damage overflowed into 75 plus. Okay, that's fine. That was lucky. Um, I sure am glad that I healed, though. Yeah, I gotta be more methodical about it. It's not just, like, it's not a hack and slash kind of game. Although I am hacking and slashing. Oh, I got another 25? Red and green strikes. Red are special attacks, I guess. They do a, they do, they attack twice. This particular enemy attacks twice. Um, and I believe it's unblockable. You have to roll. It's time for more pop, pop, pop rocks, obviously. Are you ready to face the priestess of her people and drive the deal the Empire has requested? Or will you turn and flee?
I um I don't have the blessings. His left arm has a problem. Nah, it's fine. So they send me a silver t silver tongued devil and his mercenary. She smirks. I hope for your sake you have a decent offering. Shit. You failed to win the gold token. Fuck. You still have a chance to defeat this mission. Even if imperfectly. The giantess claps. The sound ringing in the silent cold hall. Ha! Huh. This small thing survived it. Impressive. But if you wish to speak to me of a treaty, you must prove yourself against my champion. Ah, oh, shit. Berserker. Oh, him a big boy. Why do we always end up enraging the Probably shouldn't stand toe to toe with this guy. Shit. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Well, I kind of won. Not bad for a first attempt, I guess. I guess we need more... more stuffs to unlock. Even though you failed to bring me your offering, I'm impressed with how you wield your sword. Now hear my terms. She draws herself up, a towering figure draped in fur and wrath. The North will never bend to the Empire. Blood for blood for blood. Those are my terms. Small one, let your leaders hear it and quake. With Mac, with that, you make a quick descent to relay the message back to General Brandstrom. You really didn't need to go and talk to her for that, I guess. Humble Hammer, Berserker's Creed, and an Extinguisher Ring. Warrior's Axe, Soldier's Sword. We're clearing out the Rusty Razor. Friendly Innkeeper. Knight Sword, that's the one we unlocked earlier, yep. Yeah. Rana's Remarkable Fishing Unrest in Iron Peak. New challenge available on the challenge map. The map maker. I want to see what that is. Can I replay? I reckon I can. Camp. Change appearance. Endless adventure. The map maker. The servant. Ah, Outlands. This is a story yet to be told. And out Let us take outsiders. To the future, and with it, learn of lands beyond death. 
There are places where the boundaries between life and death grow thin. None but a foolish or desperate would approach these gateways. But if you would change what has been gone, what has gone before, venture forth in the steps of thousands of mortals of or and gods who have failed before you. Yeah, it looks like you can only collect. You can only take one companion, huh? Maybe, maybe not. Encounters ten. So here's the deal. You might not want to take... All of the ones with the with the symbols. Like, yes, they're potentially good, but... They might be more difficult, right? I mean, we need arm wrestling. That's just a given. Friendly innkeeper? We don't know what it does. Fork in the road. Oh my god, we got so many to choose from. Let's um let's let him decide. Recommend. Clear and fill. You may okay. take their recommendations if you wish. They will be sufficient for now. Equipment nine out of ten, that's all we got. Okay. Every story we tell is ultimately a story of power. <clears throat> This one is a story of broken power, long dead gods, and the rotten tides that lap at their fallen bodies. Okay. Once a great civilization dwelled here, a utopia, now it is an empty and devastated place known only as the mournful waste, torn apart by gods and mortals, each searching for the lost getaway. Gateway. A gateway that leads beyond death itself. A gateway that can undo your guilt. Make animals... Um, animals? Amends for your mistakes. She died long ago, but you have not forgotten. With the Emperor dead and Empire in discord, you have no choice but to select a new leader. Ever willing, your companion took the mantle of Empress. She would have made a great ruler if you had but managed to stop her killer. You enter the lonely inn that guards the bridge into the Badlands, somber in the knowledge that none succeeded in their first journey into the waste, yet few survived to make a second. Talk to the elders. Beware! They say a demon stalks the land, handsome and terrible. Once a pirate, his lust for gold drove him from the sea to the desert. One by one, his loyal crew died. Now only he remains, kept alive by the terrible fire inside. And beware! Another elder clenches a cake in her hand with great intensity. A god lies imprisoned beneath the stone. They say that even now her struggles crack the earth and fill the world with flames. Uh, presses a smooth pebble into the palm of your hand, a crude map etched upon it. He looks up at you with faraway eyes. Buy riddles from the statue of a priest encounter. Review collected riddles at the campfire. Although the map may change, the riddles will always be true. Statue of a priest. The words drip out of the old man like a terrible secret. With that, he sighs and grips your hands. Heavy gold bracelets line his arm. I once sought a portal like you. It costs me everything. As you gently brush him off and step out of the inn, a dust, uh, the dusty inhabitants shake their heads at your folly. Okay. A god is nothing but a source of endless power. Eager's wrath. Lies trapped beneath the earth. Oh. Railing in fury, Found it. Nothing. The ground here is cracked and blasted. Magma boils from great fissures, and the air shimmers from the dreadful, stifling heat. A rumble comes from deep within the earth, like something huge and terrible waking from a slumber. A voice from below trembles with rage. You think I cannot crush you to dust from my prison? Heresy, fool, snake. 
advance and let your blood bless my grave. Searing, blinding liquid fire boils out of the earth. Hellfire. Oh. Activate hellfire encounters to reveal the encounter underneath. Oh. The ancient statue holds the keys to this challenge. A few sparse tufts of grass grow at the base of the statue, a rare sign of life in the mournful waste. Pray for a riddle. With a cascade of dust, the statue's face begins to animate. Beware the intersect of tree and tower. Okay. Uh, review collected riddles at the campfire. Although the map may change, the riddles will always be true. Tree and tower, bad. So that would be that one right there. Okay. Got it. So we have to solve the map. We have to un uncover everything uh, without fucking dying. With knowledge, the perils here may easily be bypassed. The statue wow. begins to return With to lifeless stone. I do not remember how I came to be here, whether I was imprisoned by mortals or my kin. Time has worn my rage, my greed, my memories to nothing stone face grimaces you can't tell if it's laughing or weeping do it again with a cascade of dust uh walk the bloodied hill three times in order to reach the gateway the bloodied hill walk it three times okay Shit. These cards are not brimstone. He gets wrath. If you cannot learn to avoid them, you will surely perish. There's no way you can track them. I'm sorry. I know somebody said you can do it later on. Except the backs of the cards are worn. Like, check that one out. Oh, no, maybe they're all the same. It's just the lighting. Never mind. A friend in need. As you hike through the mountains one fine day, you come across an injured, injured traveler. Oh, not this fucker again. Finish him. Equipment yet? Yes. These cards are not brimstone. Biggest sorrow. Reason. If you cannot learn to avoid them, you will surely perish. I once commanded a sea of warriors. Now their bones gather dust around me. Fight! Hypothetically, you can track them. So here's the deal. If they didn't exactly align one on top of the other, sure. But you would have to watch that frame by frame to determine in pixels how wide the cards are based on their height in the stack. Forget about it. And that's, that's if the third dimension is taken into consideration and they're literally not just shuffled two two dimensionally over the top of each other so no i don't think you can track them at all not yet i'll have you know my friend here is doing far better than you This is a really tough fight, and I have an axe now. Oh, 
Oh, I'm nearly dead. Combat solved so little. It has ended this, however. So I wonder now if that's separate and I return. Looks like it. So it's completely separate, I think. Let's see if we can do this one again. It will let me do it. Okay. Encounters. Lost Boy, Winter Solstice. Sol Solstice. Friendly Innkeeper. Pauper Plague. Burning Building. Yeah, so that we didn't get previously we didn't get the um uh what do you call it? The gold token. So we didn't fully complete it, but we could go back, I guess, to a lower level and I, I I'm going to try this one again and we'll see how we go. tokens with you you will lose the opportunity to open new cards even so too many tokens can weigh you down and make your challenges harder yep that's what i was saying just a second ago so if you take all These token cards i present you um each one will hone your skills and prepare you for our final conflict this empire will fall yeah you got you got to choose carefully you can't just load them down but it's it's kind of addictive because you want to unlock as much as possible earlier so you have greater choice later uh, but you you maybe 50 50 you no know. token cards forever you say okay i don't know if you can farm tokens that that much i'm not sure about Um, two food, other every dice, gambit, gold zealot. Yeah, let's get that one first this time. I don't think I'll take the other one. The maximum health? That seemed like... I mean, we only it only paid off once. Friend in need. Oh, this... No. Okay, so we've already got the token from that, so I'm just going to go click this button right here and see what happens. Oh, he died. Okay, cool. 20 gold. Love it. Blizzard. I... I don't know. I don't think it's possible. At first, I thought the backs here looked very different. Second card? No, you, you can't tell. That is fine. The mountain is unforgiving. It you may... Be the first to die upon its peak. I'm, I'm actually going to look that up, because... We'll see what happens. What's it called? Hand of Fate. Hand of Fate 2. Can you follow cards? Any tips on tracking cards during shuffle? This is from th uh, four years ago. I just know that after an hour of playing a card heavy challenge, my skills have improved significantly. You already seem to know the whole follow your card in the stack thing. You can do it wherever it is. One additional aspect might be that the cards obviously spread with different speed. 
if you see your card on the bottom of the pile move very fast, it is moving to the edge, basically. This can help sometimes. Honestly, for three shuffle fast games, it'll remain random guessing without the right equipment to, to make slower and... Okay. Callous lacked. So we lack, we lack the delicacy. skill. No way. Huge failure. Good. Let's fight. Here must have a heroic sword by the side. This, however, is utterly ordinary. I'm no happier to be here than you lot. I'm still getting greedy with my with my attacks. Well, cartographer well, with a little little we have many lands to bronze badge. I, if you cannot make use of this, I will question your skills. A traveling cartographer cartographer in the process of making the first full map of the empire wishes to pay you gold for information on areas you've seen in your recent travels except 12 gold as payment we have uncovered six tiles so it's two each return later i can't return later so i'm going to accept that and we heal because i picked up that perk earlier nice 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 Show me more about that map, though, or that token. Why was it still locked? Oh, because he wants a full map. Right. So that's going to be a long-term unlock, I think. Two hours late for bed. No sweat, Sparty. Get some good sleep. I'll see you tomorrow, most likely. I only got one blessing that round. Not a good Jeff sign, man. One deals with old <clears throat> magic. This one will be random, I think. Long shot. Score the exact target value in a dice gambit to draw three equipment cards, then discard. It's temporary, and the likelihood of Rolling a perfect score is, is low. I'm really enjoying this. I'm like that $15 purchase for the DLCs. Finally. Um, I don't feel bad about that. It's good. Goodbye. Even if I don't play it again. Success exists, yeah. No, we gotta guess them though. I'm telling you, we we I don't think you can track them right now, even if it was slowed down a little bit. Who dares venture? Not less than the amazing Balaclips. Command assistant. Ow.
Yeah, as soon as I see that, I gotta dodge roll more. It's got an achievement called Northern Scourge. Parries are OP. So, explain to me what a parry is. Is that my shields at the point when they attack with the red? Here's my cardinal blade. Do you use this for its holy virtues or its cutting edge? Yes. <clears throat> Fucking big roll. Divine Providence. Score bonus adds plus two to each of your dice during the dice gambit. Blessing. Permanent? I've got three already now. Arm wrestling! Fuck yeah, let's go. Okay, got there with uh, with my thing. Look at that. Two health cards gained. Back up to 90 health. That's really good. Parrying is right after a block. Only green attacks can be blocked. Parrying... Attacking right after a block. I don't... I don't block. I roll. So that would be circle instead of X. Okay. Oops. So this is, I guess, to hide a loading screen? Yeah, it looks like it. Who dares venture? Not less than the amazing power clips! And assistance! Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. He's not the smartest mage in the in the tool shed. Should have activated my special there. Got a shard, nice. Retrieve the weapon, dig him out, dig him out again. Heroic sacrifice. Prior to combat with two or more monster cards. Optionally discard a basic monster card, but lose your companion. Ah, yeah, that's the one I didn't actually want. Hey, a blessing's a blessing, right? The Empire has no exchange. So oh, this is the fantastic creatures from these lands. Hunter Gnome game. And yet, they leave the gnomes.
God, they remind me of the little blow dart dudes from fucking Diablo. Oh, I could have finished it right there. Fuck! Hand over some of your equipment. Do I have anything? Give them something. Soldier sword. Offer payment in return. More healing. Alright, I'm, I'm at max health now. Alright, fellas, calm down. Jesus Christ, almost got a hundred bucks. Still remains locked. I need to I need to find out the unlock uh The Empire has done its best to purge magic there. from within its borders, but there are many who practice it beyond them. Second wind, guardian angel. Please find second wind. Or or get nothing, it's fine too. Intervention. Reroll your lowest dice. After all your rerolls, reroll your lowest dice. That's just an extra reroll. It's pretty fucking good. Now, again, question: Do we trade away all of these blessings once we reach? Don't, don't tell me. Don't tell me, Adam. That's fine. Gambler's banquet re received two food after every dice. Max life. I'll take a bonus roll. Bless summit. Turn back. I ain't ready. So we have now three market These thief. tokens represent the expansion of the game. More options, more cards, more opportunities. No, so Teal, it gives you a, a third re-roll or a second re-roll after you've used all of your previous re-rolls. I guess it's optional. Fuck. This is good. This is good. Give him 10 bucks, which we have plenty. Then we're gonna, I guess, the purple flower again. I don't know what to eat here, so I'm just gonna try the purple flower one more time. It's gonna require 15. We get plus two automatically, and we have two rerolls. Divine intervention. Score of 10. Wait, what? Three plus four plus three. Where are you pulling those numbers from? Oh, it's two per. Okay. 
Merc watches eagerly as you've been getting into choke. Macalips, for his part, shows some sign of concern. Your eyes bulge and water. Suddenly, someone begins slapping you hard in the back. You cough, and a hard lump falls from your mouth. It's a solid gold statue of Merc. He beckons closer. Of those of us left, you should seek Ira of the Veil. She may know something of the cure. Last I heard, she's hiding out in the underneath. Let us discover what the next chapter in our dear Bard's tale will be. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I don't have any other options here. Five of six. Had we have gotten that one right at the second visit to the lady at the mountaintop, we would we would have had six. Sag. Select your sack companion. No. Continue. So now that we've unlocked that sword, we may want to switch it up and choose a different sword next time. Why do we always end up enraging the locals? We Him up good. So I have a feeling even if we die, maybe the campaign doesn't end. We just get a chance to start over. Maybe. I don't know. token unlocked, I guess. Con convincing Merc to help them Malakalypse. Alright, next. This game is merely the lesser game. It is not the true game of life. Gain enough Death fame to wield the mighty Breathless Ire. I must prepare you for the challenges you will face when we meet Callus in Earn truth. fame in order to wield the legendary weapon. Breath is ire. It's a weapon. Okay. Yeah, so what we're going to do, we're going to recommend clear and fill. Supplies. Soldier sword. That's what they want us to run with. These are our other options for now. This one here, you have to do reposts with. So I still got to learn that, but... Alright, go for it. In this case, the Empress is a symbol. I think it'll give us a good balance. Northern clans, but not their only one. Now we come to one of the new nuances of our game. The hunt for fame and esteem would not work for all players. 
but it works for you. I can sense it in you. Your pride. Your skill. In time, we will learn all of you. is a powerful force. You require 20 fame, it's too heavy. You must find the courage to wield this weapon and defeat the shaman before the fifth village falls. The village is neither hero, the town of Braden is surely in danger and must be warned. Sorry, give me a sec. Uh, thank you, folks. Thank you. Uh, sorry, just talking to Miss Queeb about um, Huxley. Huxley is not eating. No, no, no. You're not. You're not having audio issues. I'm uh, uh, talking with Miss Queeb. Snake. 
snake business, official snake business. Go about go about your own. Um, if you're curious, there's our there's our snakes right there. Um, the the problem is that. With Huxley not eating, he's our biggest snake and our and our hungriest hungriest eater, right? The problem is that these these rats that he's being fed are about three bucks each. Um, we've now gone through five in the last couple of weeks trying to get him fed. And sure, it's only fifteen bucks, <laughs> but it's a consumable item. It goes bad. And that means we have to re-up um, sooner rather than later, so we gotta we gotta budget more. Anyway, anyway, so we're gonna try giving that one to Faye. Maybe maybe Feora will eat it. Maybe she'll just look at it funny and do nothing. All right, so we need twenty fame. Thank you. I trust the sacrifice of Talos. Not go in vain, he bows his head. May the gods bring you good fortune. Is he not okay not eating though? Oh, look, snakes cannot eat for months. Months and months and months and months. They, these, this, brand, this breed, like obviously we don't want that for them, but there's a reason he's not eating. I don't know. what that is, but there's something he's not happy with. Whoop, Miss Queeb heard me, she's here. She's gonna explain it. Why Huxley? Because he hates me right now. That's why. No. Um, oh, that dude's creepy, You'll fuck that. that my um, does not stop so, distressed obviously my intel is just for ball pythons, not for any other snakes, but pythons, colubrids in general, which that, that's the, genus that all pythons or anything i don't know I've, I've already taken my sleepy time medicine i'm a little wonky um so ball pythons number one this time of year any reptile is gonna whenever it starts getting colder they will have this urge to brumate which is the reptile version of hibernating um and I, don't, I don't know if you know this but bears for instance when they hibernate they don't um they don't sleep the whole time their body temperature lowers. Um, they will eat very little, if at all. And they're they're generally just kind of in a in a state of, you know, just being. <coughs> Reptiles are the same way. So if Huxley were in the wild, his natural body they defense would be to brumate and just uh, his body temperature would lower. Like brumate. right now, it's already starting to get a little lower. Um, he would eat less if, like, not at all, and just generally not want to do anything. So that's for starters. Number two, ball pythons. They're great snakes. I, I love them. I love all of ours. I want to give them big fat kisses, even the ones that want to just not have anything to do with me. However, they are extremely picky animals. Um... There's there's a lot of memes going around about ball pythons like oh my food is one degree too warm nope not gonna eat for this month or um, nope you know what you didn't wiggle that rat enough to make me want to eat it so mm, I don't think I'm gonna eat this season I'm sorry they're just assholes um, so it could be bad um, he could have had a bad experience we do feed frozen thawed we don't expose our our animals to live food and he could have had a bad experience with his food he could have accidentally you know the the rat went down the wrong way or he thought he was going to regurgitate it which that's a huge deal if if snakes regurgitate their food they're out of commission for at least a couple of weeks because they start to form scabs and if they eat before the scabs have completely healed it reopens the scabs and they're not gonna fucking want to eat so you know maybe food went down the wrong way and he's just scared i don't know but he's acting hungry so that's good that means he's not feeling the pull of brumation but he 
was genuinely acting like he wanted to get the F out of his tank while that food was in there. So I took it out. I'm, hold, like, I'm holding back from the urge of just flinging open the tank doors and just giving him all the kisses in the world and being like, oh, okay, I'm going to save you. Um, I'm giving him a space. I'm not going to hold him because that's also another thing. If they get too riled up, they won't eat. If they don't get, you know, if they don't calm down enough, if they're too calm, it, I, I hate ball pythons. I hate them so much, but I love them. Uh, so what our game plan right now is, uh, he's due for a tank change. So I'm gonna redo his tank. All of the, every snake needs a new tank change with their substrate and clean everything. I'll do that. Maybe move him to a different, you know, maybe switch places with Faye, switch their tanks or something. And um, we'll give him some time without handling him and, uh, you know, give him a couple of weeks without food and, you know, we'll, we'll see where we are. But I'm hoping that uh, it doesn't last long. He... We didn't get Huxley when we were supposed to because he was such a slow eater to start. Um, a lot of all python babies, they don't get the urge to eat and then they will starve because they, they don't have that instinctual pull. And he was like that and, and he was able to develop it with the help of our breeder. Who, he's so amazing. I love him to death. Um, and since then, Huxley has been a garbage disposal knock on everything wood that this is just you know a blip and he's not reverting back so so yeah that is an extremely long-winded way of saying it's a crapshoot with ball pythons it really is this is my first time hearing miss Queeb's voice ah i hope it's not too grating on your on your ears while well, just kicking little gremlins in the background of miss Queeb's great talk Good luck with him in any case. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Have fun with your game. I'm uh, taking Zoe. We're going night night. I'm sure I will see you at nine o'clock in the morning when you stroll in again. Yeah, I figure. Love you guys. Oh, um, if, if you can be here for... Um... Miss Queeb usually, so during this event, Miss Queeb is leading the stream. So she, she starts at 6 p.m. PST. And um, if you're interested in having a chat further, I'm sure she'd love to talk more about snakes. It's, um, it's pretty much the only conversation we have. Zoe, listen to your mama. I don't want to go outside. I'm not going to give you pop rocks, no. Get your, get your baby. I turn my errors around in my mind, time on time. I know where I failed and where you must not. All right. Uh, what do we want? Four equipment to buy. I've got 44 bucks. Buy some food, maybe? Not too much, though. Berserker's Creed. Stun Bash. Charge Bash causes stun to a single target when activated. Damage buff. Deal more damage the more life you lose. Extra gold. Gain plus three gold whenever you draw a gold. Take 50 hits in combat to unlock this shard. <clears throat> is often misunderstood. I am broke. I should not have done that. Two general stores back to back. Always treat those Tarts, pies, and exotic lies. 
Even I stand by this rule, and I have respect for few. You chance upon a wooden cart overflowing with pears, pies, and many other many items otherwise. A wonderful smell wafts from the cart. Mal shakes his head. Poor old Chester, this is why you should never be seduced by the wiles of a woman, coin slave. They'll break your heart and leave you selling your lemon tarts with little business sense. Tarts, pies, and exotic fruits. Oh, I've got 10 bucks. Okay. What did he want? The kid. What did he want? He wanted a lemon lemon pie? Cinnamon butterscotch. Bad pain. Bad fortune. Pain. Ten gold. Are you happy with paying this price? Wait, I take... It's a red card. That's a confusing one. Age turns us all. She has done rather better than I in the time that has passed. If 50 hits feel like it will kill you four times over? Oh, no, 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 not like that. It's total. Like, ongoing, by the way. We don't have to do it all in one sitting. Walking through a shady forest, you encounter a frail old maiden. Ask for supplies, ask for gold, ask for longer life. I'll take longer life. That sounds fun. When the hero runs Raiders in, ambush the takes their time to bait their trap. Be careful lest they put you in your place. Okay, so we took two hits, 48 to go. Three hits? Search for spoils. Oh. 20 bucks. Which, funnily enough, will heal me as well. And an extra three because of because of my clothing. Cartographer. Yep. Take it, dude. The AI seems kind of passive in groups. Oh yeah, it's it yeah. If they were all coming at you at the same time, it'd be impossible. The way this has been described to me is it's kind of like uh choose your own adventure with Batman Arkham Asylum fights in between. It's not as fluid. Obviously, I'm not, you know, jumping around like Yoda, but still, I'm, I'm thoroughly enjoying it. I think that the combat is secondary. It's more about the, the journey and the narrative as we progress and the choices we make. <clears throat> Actions, of course, have consequences. You cannot think that the steps you have taken will bring a simple peace. No. 
So the other day, I heard the word peace, probably in a, in a game. We've been playing a lot of new games and, and a lot of them, very, some of them very dialogue heavy. And the word peace came up and I thought in my head, a, a saying or, or, a, or a line, right? It was, it was whispered. It was like, peace, no peace. And I could not for the life of me remember where I heard that. It was more huskier than that, and it came from a scientist in Independence Day that was being mind-controlled by an alien. Independence Day came out when I was 14? It's 94, right? And then they made a sequel, which I, I want to say a couple of years ago, but it's probably like, I don't know, six or seven years ago now. It was pretty fucking bad. It had the, um, it had the other Hemsworth brother in it. It's just very unlikable in that movie. Brent Spiner, yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, yep. Line goes, peace, no peace. That's... Isn't that exactly what I said? We have 14 fame. I can almost wear my hammer. Let's do a dice roll here. Back to the bones. I hope you have learned. It's not a bad roll, dude. Fuck. Missed it by one. You can always try again. If you survive, of course. Oh! This summons a fight if we fail that roll. I think that's the first time I failed that roll. doesn't count the dice didn't roll I guess that's depending on your rules cut your throat to cut your purse it makes no mind to them you have to stop helping people it always ends up like this Oh man, at this rate, I'm never going to unlock my armor special ability. I wonder if that counts as a hit or not. Let's see if we can get, it, get another roll. Nine now. Fucking hell. <laughs> Fuck. You gain four fame. Okay, we're at 18. We're almost there. <laughs> if you fall in a trap once, you may blame <clears throat> error. To fall in the same trap again smacks of foolishness. I wonder if Tharsis got some ideas from this, because it, it feels very familiar. I hope this works. Oh, this is a tough fight. Oh, 
Ah, get up, get up, get up, get up. Uh, what do I have to do to unlock this weapon's rune, I wonder? Description reminded you. Yeah. Yeah, same actually. Same. <clears throat> now the power is yours to use. Repost 25 northerners by attacking immediately after defending. Okay, so I haven't done any of that. That's fine. Yeah, let's let's equip the hammer. Remind you a fable? Mm -hmm. To wield the weapon of champions, the raiders will hide from you no longer. The rune on its face begins emitting a golden light. It is unclear if it now weighs less or you have a newfound strength, but either way, you can now wield the mighty hammer. I've already got it equipped, dude. Wow, that would earn a pretty penny at the markets but uh first let's use it to break the barrier on the northern raid the raiders camp slay the shaman and stop the raids the sanctum oh i have a ring Firing inflicts less damage. Oh, okay. Fame is now a requirement for some of this as well. Hmm. Okay. Mages are the underneath. To eradicate the best of times. We have our ways of hiding from the light. We must seek out the Ira of the Veil in the underneath, the bard had explained, as you follow a frightened cow around the previous night. What? The respectable ogre manning the door to the underneath doesn't look up from his book as you approach. Fifteen food items per entry. Shit. Robbery, if you're trying to hustle us, sir, I'll have you know that I can shoot lightning from my fingertips. Try to help again here. Fuck you. Fail. Another fight? Yep, let's see if this hammer does anything. Two-hander. That would weigh an absolute fucking ton. You have to stop helping people. It always ends up like this. Okay.
Fuck yeah. That's a pretty good fucking weapon. <laughs> Rolls. Anything but a one. Food? Or fame. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> Twenty pieces of food. Okay. Welcome to the underneath coin slave. Since that bothersome empire edict, we've had to hide away in places like this. This used to be quite the hub of activity, but now he surveys the silent streets grimly. I guess the empire is increasing its forces. peruse the stores so this is actually I'm, I'm drawing a lot of parallels to the game we played the other night what was that called um the boat one sunless sea it's kind of like that it is kind of like that and i i dig it Um, peruse the stores. Among the abandoned stores, you find an ancient looking shop front. Through red lantern light, you read Lee Lots Oddments, used stones, directions. There are also signs pointing out a path to curses and blessings. Oddments. I'm not allowed in there after I stole all the stupid pebbles. Used stones. Wait, what are stones for? Directions. He waves his wrinkled hand at his wares. You see a basket of giant boulders, smooth pebbles, and tucked away in the corner, a basket of rings. Buy a stone for a l that Lelot recommends for 20 gold. Nearest trader, nearest fight. This is like a mini, a mini dungeon all to itself. No blood will be shed around these parts today. A terrible shame. Nearest trader. Spot on the map. Oh, general store. Right on. It's nice. And, and a lot of this, I also draw similarities to um, Legend of the Red Dragon. I don't know if anyone was around back when BBSs were all the rage. But um, very, very similar, or at least that's the where, you know, games like this come from. And a town center. The Devil's Ear Tavern. Ah, the Devil's Ear is my home away from home. He pulls out his loot and leaves to serenade the pretty bartender. She tries her best to ignore him. A decrepit hag nurses a smoldering pint glass at one end of the bar, alone in a corner. A hooded figure lurks, unmoving. Approach the hag. The warty crone sips her drink. It smells strongly of citrus and burning coal. While sizing you up, you wish to buy something, do you not? Let her teleport you. I can send you somewhere, no cost, but I cannot assure you that you will end up where you want. Do that after, I guess? 
I seek an artifact of great power, something that will twist my, my minds of my enemies and force them to fight me. I will pay handsomely. You have nothing to trade. Approach the hooded figure. You cannot discern any facial features. Nods at you. Grave voice. Whisper quiet and hoarse. Ah, that was him. Okay. Leads you through the dim, lonely streets to Ira's house. You can hear screaming coming from within. A woman in robes adorned with silver ornaments greets you at the door. Merc said you would come begging for help. Regardless, you are late. cool way to leave the underneath oh no there's got to be more to it than that i have an illness i'm hoping to purchase a cure ira of the veil frowns a bit before nodding and letting you into her house a man is locked in a cage crying in fevered agony sores of corruption fester on his body without warning she opens the cage and the man rushes at you but with surprising strength ira sub subdues the mad writhing creature this is the mage Cohen. He thought he could fight off the corruption, but he could not. Ira watches M Mal carefully as Cohen's cries get more and more guttural. What should I do with him? The bard looks away, disgust and fear in his face. He approaches close. He sorry, he appears close to passing out. She nods before turning to you. What will you do? Kill the mage? Keep him locked up. Kill him. You end the mage's life. With that dealt with, Ira begins tinkering at a table strewn with dead and shiny things. I do have a cure, but as you know, nothing comes free with our kind. She taps silver dust from a bottle. Save the stolen mage children for me, and I will give you the cure. A reward well earned. This is like an ongoing saga. The first was finding the, the guy who we gave, like, I don't know. Crap ton of money to or whatever. Uh, that's interesting. Uh, those Empire Bastards have taken them to some walled fort in the docks of the city. Ask what the illness is. He hasn't told you, then it's not my place to say. But know this, friend of Mal. If he doesn't find a cure soon, you're in grave danger. Nonsense. Mal stands unstopping, unstoppering a wine bottle nervously. Ask how Iron knows Mal. He was my lover when I was young and stupid. Why, I'm alluring at all ages. You'd be glad to have me still. Ira gives Mal a severe look. And he balks, cowering in his seat. Um, the stores. I'll buy a rock for 20 bucks. Lot hands you a rough cream colored stone flecked with purple crystals. That's edible, you know. The purple part tastes like pies and sunshine. The rock part taste doesn't taste quite as good. Twenty bucks. Twenty-five percent chance at success. Six food. I need your blood if you wish to take a ring. I don't need it. You did buy a literal rock. Ten town center, Devil's Tavern. Approach the hag. Teleport! Oh, what are you drinking? Oh, shit. Never mind. Huge success or failure times three. Vote chat. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna eat some pop rocks while you make up your mind. I will possibly sync up with Twitch. You can do that. I'll have to figure that out real quick.
I've been hit 11 times so far. You have prepared yourself for this battle. Now you must face it, but not alone, perhaps. Best you try the hammer. Use it. Bring it down against the magical wall with all your might. The hammer finds its mark, and you're immediately engulfed in a blizzard of snow and ice. The howling winds spin you this way and that, then vanish as quickly as they had appeared. Disoriented, you look around for Mal, but he's nowhere to be found. You find your bearings and realize you are standing in a forest clearing covered in newly fallen snow. You step back and bump into something. Turning, you see a towering northern clansman, bold and brutal. He has brute strength, if nothing else. Is this a new dude? He does not flinch, nor seems even the slightest bit interested in you. He stands with weapons drawn, brow lowered. You turn to follow his gaze... Then you see her, sitting on a throne of wicker and thorns, small straw-plated charms and oddities hanging from the trees behind her. Before her kneel countless raiders, worshipping their leader in eerie stillness. I know why you have come. Let's end. Let this end. Uh, I hope you know how to fight, hero, says the bold northern northerner. There are more warriors here than we can kill. To defeat a snake, you must cut off its head. Cool. New, uh, new companion. <clears throat> I wonder if I can use that hammer ongoing now. Or if, it, if I still need the 20, uh... Raid leader Gerda. Shaman cast spells that heal her allies. Aha. Uh -huh. Stand clear of my legs. I stand clear of you. Keeps coming back. Shit. The shaman's body writhes as a dark spirit leaves her chest and vanishes into the air. The remaining raiders flee into the forest. As the skies clear, the sun beams down on the colossal warrior that had fought alongside you. I am Kolbjorn. I was born into the northern clans, but I am clanless now. You do not know us, but we were not all always like this. Perhaps one day the clans will return to the tradition that they have lost. You and I have cleared a small part of the stain from my honor this day. If you call, I will answer. He reaches out a massive hand and clasps your forearm. Let us head back and find your friend. And with that, you and Kolbjorn make your way back through the forest in search of Mal. Another card returns to my deck. Do not <clears throat> worry. I have more challenges before you will be ready to face my foe. For defeating the Shaman of the North. Armor of Gluttony, Ring of Food, Pious Robes, Frontier Barbet, Fame and Shame, Watchtower, Raiders Ambush, Bridge Skirmish. For befriending Kolbjorn, Clan Eyebright, The Wanderer. So, again, these cards are marked, right? 
I have a feeling that that's a DLC. He's a DLC character, I think. For defending all of the villages. Elder's Gift. This music's so weird. It's like... Um, I've heard it maybe in a movie before or something very similar. Um, we, we will see. For convincing Ira to help Mal. The stolen ones. Right. Okay. So that's the new. That's the, that's the continuation of the story. The stolen ones. most confused aesthetic it it sounds like you ever see the movie um 21 i i forget the name of the the lead characters in it um the kid i can't remember his name but it seems like the type of music that you would hear at the very end after they've overcome the final hurdle sort of thing is very very weird end of national treasure yeah similar yep Yep. Where we go from here? Who knows? Your new companion, Cruel Katura, awaits you at the Hound. Oh. And another new companion? Wasn't expecting that. Got a red one? New challenge awaits on the challenge map. The Servant. well you understand the basic rules of the game now thank you yes from here they will change oh fuck off why don't you just leave them the same it's fine so what i'm going to do is actually go back to adventure servant the map maker Map maker seems fun. I don't think we're ready for it yet. Um, endless run. Campfire. Complete five challenges to unlock endless. Ooh. All right. So what we're going to do. Give me one second here. Uh, settings. General. Configure Twitch. Uh, give me a sec. I need my fucking OAuth string. I don't even know where to find that. I'm not a developer. Just give me the code. There we go. Okay. Here, watch my... Watch my snake for a bit. She's sleeping, but...
This is so weird. Is it connecting? Do I ever worry she's not living her best snake life with a larger habitat in the wild? No. She's living a wonderful life right here. Do I need the other bit? Maybe it's just that last part. Is it, is it connected? I don't know. Yo, Mistwalker, what's up, dude? How are you, my guy? Oh, look at that. I got it working. I got it working. You are just in time, Mist Walker. Dude, your raid messages are so impressive. Hello. Mist Raid. Oh, I like that. How's your raid? How was your how was your raid? How was your stream, dude? Everyone's kind. Oh, it's good to have you here, my dude. Um, we are playing a game called Hand of Fate 2. Pretty old game, about four years old now. Finished Dark Souls Remastered? Oh, you're a braver man than I am. Turn that off. All right. Let's hope this works. I haven't tested this, but we'll give it a shot. Beard is glorious. So we're going to do a run now. Go back to the campaign. I still want to do this one. And what I'm going to do is recommend clear and fill. Let's go. If you fail to take tokens with you, you will lose the opportunity to open new cards. Even so... So they should have Twitch integration. I don't know yet, though, so we'll see. Your challenges harder. My mind has been honed. Sitting upon the throne of life and death shapes the world in one's image. And Callus has always... Dude, of course, go get, go get fed. I know that feeling. But chaos. I know that feeling big time. We can begin the ascent. Here we go. Oh! You strike me as the type who would put themselves in harm's way for the benefit of others. Yet, perhaps you'd rather have someone else sacrifice themselves for you. You hear shouting up ahead as you make your way down the cobbled street. You see lights flickering on the road in front of you. You may need... Um... Yeah. As... As... The... Pound sign. What are what are our votes? Minus fifteen life, minus one blessing, minus twenty gold. Good choice. I would go with life too. Okay, so people can vote. There's no timer, which is kind of weird. I usually there's a timer for this kind of thing. All right, we'll, well, we'll play it. As you approach, you see a building, flames and smoke billowing out of its upper room windows. A crowd has formed outside, passing buckets 
of water between one another to temper the blaze. As you push your way through the crowd, you see a woman frantically pleading to the villagers, please help, my family is in there, anyone please help. Is this the same? Or is this different? Or no, you're affecting gameplay stuff. Gift voting. Okay, so you just straight up... It's going to take 15 life from me sometime. Okay, okay. So we're going to brave the fire ourselves. <clears throat> Wheel is one of my favorite innovations. Oh, look at that. It combines many different elements of our game into one. What do I want? What do I want to land on? Uh, that one. Nope. Nope, that was bad. Confu confirm or choose again. Well, we'll redraw, of course. Failure. Oh shit, I'm without my, I'm without my buddy for three turns. This is weird. The smoke is too thick and you find yourself disoriented. Eyes burning, you fumbled your way back out of the building to catch your breath. This one's pure skill? Okay. Return to the building. <laughs> Fuck it, we'll keep going. I don't care. Through a haze of smoke, you find the woman's youngest daughter crying under a bed. You coax her out, scoop her up, and carry her out of the blaze. You've gained two fame. It will collapse soon. We're going in again. We're going in again. Ten life. The room erupts in flames, scorching your skin. Injured, you make your way back to safety. I'm going in again. Huge failure. Fuck yeah. What do we got? You hear a shrike, a shrill cry as a beam in the next room collapses. The fire claims a victim. One more time. Let's go. Don't laugh, McQueen. This is no laughing Perhaps matter. You should have taken your time. As you exit the building, it collapses behind you. While you were unable to save everyone, the villagers are grateful for your valiant effort. Wow, that's a tough one, huh? Blizzard. Uh, you guys can't vote on this. That's interesting. Oh, here we go. Chance voting. That's, that's all you. Number one, number two, number three, number four. It looks like I can override at any time. Three seems to be the most popular, huh? Two and three. The climb becomes unbearable. You seek shelter in a cave and desperately fight off the onset of frostbite. When the howling winds ease, you clear the snow from the cave entrance to discover the dark clouds have passed. High up in the mountain, you see a silhouette. Ah, oh, yes, this one again. No sweat. We fight. 
Am I still solo? I think I'm solo temporarily. Yeah, just me, man. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Armor gain. A humble hammer. Slam. Perform a strike that causes damage to an area when activated. Deals 120% damage for every enemy hit up to 200. Humble hero. Less damage than the hi higher the wielder's fame. Oh, that's interesting. Down to a minimum of 16. Alright, what else? Shield? I'll take that. Oh, wait, the shield's still got something on it. Defend 30 attacks from enemies to unlock this token. I can do that. Continue to impress. Now, digging him out will earn us fame. Fame doesn't seem to do shit here, except possibility of allowing us uh, to wear uh, higher tiered stuff. But we don't have a weapon either. Defeat 30 northerners with a finisher to unlock this shard. That's going to take a while. But I'll do it. You pry the weapon from the frozen hand and continue up the mountain before the raider has a chance to free himself. Rana's remarkable fishing. While strolling the docks of Iron Peak, a tattooed woman calls you from a small fishing shop. Sloop. Sloop. As she shakes your hand, she introduces herself as Rana Ishmael, captain of the SS Remarkable. You look strong of the of arm and sure of aim. Have you considered a career in fast-paced world of deep sea harpoon fishing? You know what? It's a popular pastime among the kinds of folks who need to prove their physical prowess, she says, brandishing a rust-covered harpoon. I can get you out of the water right now, or for a little extra gold, I know where I can acquire a premium harpoon. It'll help steady your aim. Ten golds? Fuck yeah. Let's do it. Ask for instructions. She puts one arm on your shoulder and points down into the water. We call that the ocean. It's got fish in it. If you throw your harpoon down there and it hits one, it'll pull it up for you. You want to be careful of the reef wall. If your harpoon ends up there, you might as well kiss it goodbye. The deeper you go, the bigger the fish, though you can never be too certain what you'll catch. Finally, there's a shipwreck way down there, an old merchant vessel. See that golden glimmer? If you need a target, fair and true, I'd aim for that. The pendulum swings like a scythe. Bearing hope or failure. <laughs> Nicely timed. Your harpoon descends further into the reef. Oh, okay. Lowest depth of the ocean, the treasure glitters on the ocean floor. Fucking bada bing. You have done well. Buries itself into something solid. Rana holds your catch up to the deck. Tool of life 
and of Dead Man's Hand. An artifact. Last shot. Aim a spell that deals 50 damage to the first enemy it hits. Causes more damage when your life is low, max 500. Powerful combat item with a limited number of uses. Okay. Okay. Among the coins and confused sea urchins, you spy a curious gauntlet. It hums with the arcane power as you slide it over your hand. The sun hangs low on the horizon. Rana raises the anchor and says, Time to return to the docks and to distribute the sea's bounty. Armed northerners await you on the docks. A burly warrior reeking of fish and salt water points at Rana accusatorily. What have I got to do? Block? No. Finishers. Got it. Is finisher L2 or R2? I can't remember. It's a cool looking sword. L2. Ah. Oh. You look hardly worth our time. One. How many times do I have to do that? Thirty times. Okay, cool. When does this bonus business happen with the extra health or less health? I don't know. Nice work protecting the cargo as she rolls off one of the north rolls one of the northerners off the pier. Scoops a pile of gold coin out of the waterlogged treasure chest. Now, not what I was expecting to haul up, but good enough. Casual salute, a bucket of chum. If you ever want to go out to the waters again, you know where to find me. It's time by your movements. Four more moves and it will hit. Uh, sorry, what, what, what is timed by movements? A step counter on it for the bonus we voted on. Okay, okay, okay. Got it. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. Well, we're max life now. Okay. What are we trading? Sell? Uh, 
highest robes. Perform 25 charge bash abilities against any enemy to unlock this token. Hmm. Yeah, it's minus one blessing. That's like the last thing we want to do. Health is, is fine. I think. Buy food. No, no blessings yet. We didn't actually get any of this floor, which really fucking sucks. We've still got two tiles to unlock, though. Blizzard. Uh, yep, there you go. Looks like it's automatic. Spend all the gold and we can't take the gold. I don't think they're all negative. There's got to be some nice ones in there, I think. When did I get the shield? like what four or five finishers nice hello forgetful how you doing intruders make their escape ascension Yep, up we go. Zero blessings. Fuck. A bit rough. Oh yeah, that one. I don't know. Grateful that it's Friday. Shit, it is Friday. Happy Friday. Yeah, I don't know when chat integration was uh, introduced, but 
pretty cool so far it's nice in that uh, not total control is given to chat so i can still make some decisions if need be combo breaker there we go deft eye slower spin reduces the speed of a wheel gambit okay oh well, sure the fuck is that card oh that was the pain that you guys gave me cool spy versus spy good day sir <laughs> no idea and you've got another boat as well I said good day Nicely done. Avalanche. I, I, I do like Twitch integration a lot. When it when it's done well, it's very good. Who dares venture? None less than the amazing Malaclips and assistant. Malaclips, that's his name, huh? Damn it! Made a mistake there. Through the neck. He fell down. Think about what has been lost simply to grant you comfort. Oh, I can't wear it. I don't have enough fame at the moment. Makes sense. intervention nice nice good 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 temple prayers yep gold zealot what's guardian angel pick again optionally retry any chance card gambit Pretty fucking good. Three of six. Here we begin to see the potential of cards based around fame. If you can force them from your deck and into your hands, you can begin to exploit their power. Never begin a quest without first stacking the deck in your favor.
Would you like to equip the pious robes? Yeah, sure. Your memory seemed filled with conflict and chaos, yet occasionally something merely pleasant slips through. Wait, was that the... Was that the thing? Was that card the... Do we still want a lemon pie? Is this from here? Hearts pies exotic. Let's buy an exotic lie. Passes a bag of luminous blue apples. Have you ever felt like the feeling of your heart being torn from your chest? I have. Chester stares forlornly at you that you are forced to com comfort him before transaction can proceed. Decides a price. So weird. You think the event will proc after this? It said that, that we had no... What was? What did it say? We had no something. No platinum equipment in the deck. Right. And I guess the platinum... The only platinum equipment we've seen so far has been that hammer. But I guess that's what that was. Guardian Angel. So bad fortune, pain. Does that mean I suffer pain and I get 30? Or it's going to cost me 30 to buy 6 apples? The worst outcome. Pain is losing 30 gold. I mean, fair. Um, but, we draw. Oh, it's a reshuffle. You guys get to re-vote, or is this me? Yeah, you do. Okay. That's pretty clever. Well, shit. I mean, it's better, better that way, right? Pain is a keyword for losing resources. Got it. Okay. Same. Pay Chester or decline. Well, if I can decline that. Chester seems strangely affronted. I wonder if I would have gotten another blessing there. I don't think there's any way we can get three blessings in one. Uh, fuck it. Maybe we can. I don't know. A blessed brew. This one's important. Tell me, the people that are making selections, are you watching it and trying to work out where it went? I'm almost convinced that it's just a guess anyway. Just guessing? Okay. Yeah, I think that it, it, the, the website we went to before alluded to a piece of equipment later that we'll find that may help. Uh, we will redraw that. So the shuffling is random, but I think the cards actually... They're physically simulated. Right, right, right. Following them is often not possible. So the reason I agree with that is because when they stack up together, it, it, there's no way to tell what's going where, except for maybe the speed at which they enter and or exit. The direction from which they're entering from and then maybe the height maybe 
You can follow the top card, sure, but the top card probably won't stay the top card, right? Sag. Uh, this is another run reset, I think. Six, no, another two. I don't know, man. I don't know. We need, uh, we need, the, we need an avalanche and something else. Maybe, maybe we get lucky. What is A? 10 gold. Oh, it's max life. Ah, uh, okay. I was gonna say, if, if A is a fucking blessing, <laughs> go that way. <laughs> Do all that. <laughs> Try again. It'd be nice if it did have a small timer on there. Not not counting down to a, a deadline, but more to the point, just seeing how long has elapsed since voting started. That way the streamer can go, you know what? Um, I think it's time. Failure. Supplies, longer life, gold. So that's it, I think. There's not much else I can do. We're going to fail this one again. Huge bummer. Good luck taking this token from me. I'm going to get that token. How do we get that token from the cartographer, though? I think that's an ongoing quest. We'll eventually map everything out. Four of six. You have to get just luckiest runs, dude.
Right, I definitely shouldn't have attacked the main guy. Get up, get up! Oh. Fine, still get it. Move two. Did he fall down that he did? He fell down the cliff. I'm so slow. That counts. The token from the cartographer, sure. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Could we run it down till we cast a vote? Can we vote for a blessing? Well, the problem is, I'd, I don't even know if that's possible, but it's based on footsteps. The number of tiles cleared. So no, no, you can't. You've got to, you've got to do it. Catch of the day. Dead man's hand. All right, let's go to the next one. The Emperor. It is not one game now, but a score. Who do we Each want? Let's take, um... And delicate approach. We've still got a quest for him. So we'll do the, the ongoing my quest children. for him. This one, however, I would rather disown. Encounters. Clan Eyebright. No, we want the stolen ones. Yep. Accumulate at least 20 gold reward from him. You get two gold for each card. And one gold. If you choose return later. So you have to... So basically you have to luck into him into the second or third areas, right? Like you, you couldn't do it in, in the first one. Or wait for a bigger map. That should just, um, that should resolve itself then. Um, all right, what do we got here? What is this? Um, excuse me. Inspect, here we go. Complete this encounter to unlock new cards. Cruel Katura. It's a new companion card. Uh, cartographer, sure. Maybe we'll get lucky again. Arm wrestling, yes. Fucking 100%. May gain platinum equipment. Gain fame. I really need it. Unless... That has no unlocks, so don't really care. I want that. I want that. Uh, yep. Yep. Armor of Gluttony. Draw this... Oh, so you still have to... You have to draw them to find out what their requirements are as well. That's fascinating. Interesting. 
in that as well. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Oh, missing one. Supplies. Repost. 25 northerners. My food to start. Encounters. All right, so we need more more encounters. I don't know what to get though. What gives us the? I guess shard. We don't know. We don't know any of these. Quest. A friend in need. Trade life. Gain life. Oh, that's that fucking vampire dude. Deep water. Gain. Resources. Dice. Combat. Equipment. Dice. Themes. Thieves. Ambush. Chance cards. Raiders. Ambush. So I wonder if any of these. Precision. Precision. That was pretty easy, I think. Shop. Spend. Gold. Chance cards. Blessed temple prayers may gain a blessing. Yep. The only one I think that does it that we know of. Your friendly bartender. Reveal map. Fame, wheel, lose life, companion, KO. Oh. All right, I'll take, uh, friendly innkeeper. I'll take upper plague. Fame and shame. Winter solstice. Watchtower. Give me bridge skirmish. Man eating tree. Sounds fun. Fishing was easy. Right, but there's no point in doing it. One, we already earned the token from it. Um, and I don't think we can earn uh where was fishing? I don't think we can earn equipment, gain food, fight with the precision skill test. We are after specifically, we need six um, blessings. The most I've had, I think, is five. They're quite hard to come by. There's about... I think there's about four? Um, events that you come across that can, that can pay out with that. Alright, we'll go for something else. Uh, no mish exchange. Yeah, no, for this one we need six. To unlock the golden token, which is on the let's like the the main quest has that market thief. I always fucking lose. We can fix our dice rolls though. Unrest in Iron Peak. Let's do that. All right, done. Let's go. These and he's gonna add some boring. shit to it as well. I do not know truly if they will train you for the challenges that Callus will place. Market Thieves world. Random? Well, it's a it's another card select one, right? If it was dice, that would be better. Of course, better. you know how this part of the story ends. 
The Emperor is merely the face on the throne. Behind him, the usurper pulls the strings. We're not redoing the, the last one. I'm an idiot. Of life and death has a great influence upon the world. Their very soul permeates the lands. We're doing the next the hearts one. Of the, people. the shrill voice of the town crier rings out across the market square. The Emperor himself seeks adventurers, guild members, urgent expedition vital to the safety of the Empire. You spot a crowd of travelers weighed down with weapons and tools lingering nearby. The Empire is offering a reward just to set off on the expedition. Even more if we make it back. That's how desperate they are for help. The dealer adds a gold counter to the map. Night, soldier. Okay, so we get some gold on the next one. The Empire does not ask for much. On arriving at the gates they take everything. At, of the Royal Palace, an armed escort leads you directly to the Emperor's chamber. The Emperor remains still and silent as his chief counsel lays out the expedition. Who stole the artifact? The evidence suggests a thief they seized on a weak spot in our guard schedule. There are many treasures in the palace. It is curious that this is all they stole. We need relics. We need four relics. An ornate pillow sits atop a stone pillar. In the dust, you make out the shape of a jagged blade. It was a ceremonial sword. It sat for decades under our protection. We're not protecting it. You understand, we're protecting those who would try to possess it. The blade is cursed. Its venom strikes both wielder and foe in equal measure. A keen eye will notice that themes repeat themselves. Events too. The wheel ever turns. Thieves are cowards at heart. They will dodge your heaviest attacks just as they dodge their civic duty. A swift blade is best to defeat them. Here, try these out. Dual wield weapons are effective against fast enemies like thieves, but are weak against armored like Empire. I never understood the duel. If you are at war, use every tool at your disposal. If not, let things lie. Still, you find yourself hunting relics. Do you not wonder why or what they may do? Your quest takes you far away from the city. Vast wildlands stretch out before you. Your companion reminds you of the Emperor's mission. One relic was stolen by brazen thieves. Another is in the clutches of a shady merchant. One is enshrined in a small village to the east. As for the last, who knows? Find four relics, del deliver them to the Empire. Who the fuck is that? Let's fuck him up. Your supplies are running low. Make your choices carefully. Hell yes. Um, what is heroic sacrifice? Prior to combat with two or more monster cards, optionally discard. No, 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 no. Gain up to twenty gold at the beginning of a new map. If you have less than twenty. Now nah, let's go with. This one. It's a nice bonus. An opportunity Watch to better understand these lands, perhaps. On the edge of the Empire, far from the capital, sits a lonely watchtower. You approach with caution, knowing that few travelers are allowed near. Offer them gold, try to sneak past the tower. I don't know this one. Let's go for a vote. It's The voting system's not bad. I wish it wasn't in Twitch chat, though. Prefer, like, an overlay or something. There's, there's a couple of really cool Twitch plugins or apps or whatever you call them that are really, really well done.
Try to sneak past. That's fair. Oh, I like this. We're going to get 20 coins straight up. Uh, Crawbird, you need the uh, pound sign. Go the long way, try to sneak past. I don't mind doing a fight. Go the long way. Alright. You consume three food. Fuck! You are starving now. Yeah, no Every shit. Fresh encounter will cause you damage. Tread carefully. Thank Time God passes, the gold heals. The Unrest of the Empire march on, and mystery and magic falls further into darkness. In Iron Peak. I said good day, sir. A pall of smog cast the city in a dull gray light as you navigate the narrow streets and back alleys of Iron Peak. Beware the Prince of Poisons calls a young boy in a short-brimmed cap as he hands out leaflets to the passing crowds. You stop to read a discarded, discarded parchment sodden by the damp that clings to the cobblestones. Prince of Poisons strikes again. Another mass poisoning in the back streets of Lowtown. Mayor raises reward to 500 bucks. The boy approaches as you finish reading. If you really hope to be safe, you'd best protect yourself. I have just the thing and at a bargain price. Not yet explored. Hmm. I'm just going to go for this one. Shovel children. Most of them lost their parents to poison and live on the streets now. Offer them food. Ignore them. Uh, protection from the Prince of Poisons. The boy looks around to make sure nobody is watching too closely, then discreetly takes a small vial of colorless liquid from his pocket. This tonic was brewed from the fruit of a rare plant that only grows high in the northern hills. It will boost your strength, give you the edge you need to survive the poison. Ten gold for ten max life? Fuck yeah. Fight time. One of the men points menacingly at the woman, declaring, You sent my brother Mad-Eye back to break knuckle prism bounty hunter yes the woman states matter of factly i did perhaps he should learn to accept rejection nobody crosses my family the warriors rush forward to attack we will fight to defend the woman looks like a new New cast member joins. Katura. Uh. You'll find no charity here. When activated, Katura fires her back holstered weapon and cause high damage to enemies in range. Stay close to charge her ability faster. Nothing like the smell of gunpowder to get double armor Fucking hell. That was good. Can we keep her? Silver haired woman puts her guns away, saying, I didn't ask your intervention. You check the fallen for anything of use as she turns to leave. 
equipment, ring so of food. Much magic comes down to simple needs in the end, don't you find? Gain, reveal three encounters. Discard this card to gain two food. Oh, that's what the ring of food does. Are we going to do a full clear? we be dead if, if by the time... I'll discard it. Give me the food. Katura causing trouble again? It's by doing your job that I make enemies like this, Katura responds sharply. The captain bristles at this remark, but keeps his voice under control as he retor retorts. We have more important work to do than chasing street thugs and petty criminals. And how goes the search for the Prince of Poisons? I hear another 12 died at the smelter yesterday. The captain's face fills with anger, but Katura simply turns and walks away, adding, I have work to do. You know where to find me. The garrison captain screams orders for everyone to disperse, then rides off down the street. His soldiers run to keep up with him, and you slip away before more trouble starts. You leave the troubled town of Iron Peak with the impression that you've n yet not seen all that it has to offer. No kidding. The longest night, and a symbol of the deepest matters. On the longest night, well to attend to the things that happen here, the townsfolk of Sh Stiegel set up around a huge bonfire to celebrate the victory of light over darkness the one w w one night the empire turns a blind eye to the outlawed use of magic you join a group of peasants close to the fire taking a sip the woman beside you offers you a goblet you politely accept the pungent potion and take a quick sip sip sweet warmth rushes through your body and you fall into a deep hypnotic trance as you stare into the dancing flames the townsfolk chant calling on the mountain spirits in a flurry of snow spirits descend and join the festivity a curious white owl perches next to you and speaks i sense a magical air about you if you feel particularly inclined will you share your blessings in exchange for longevity no fuck off You wake to find yourself in a stable nestled among a herd of cows. On your way home, uh, on your way out, you spot a few unconscious Empire guards huddled together outside the stable. I probably should have said yes to that, even though it would have co cost us. Every inch of the wilderness is peaceful. Um, uh, a blessing. It might have completed the the component. It's fine. Do it another time. The wilds are sometimes treacherous and harmful. While traversing a dangerous cliff face, you slip and lose your footing. Though relatively unharmed, the same cannot be said for the pack of traveler's rations that broke your fall. Your supplies are exhausted. Unless you find some food, you will surely perish. This guy looks like food. Wits or weapons. Bridge skirmish. Both will fulfill you here. As you approach a bridge high in the mountains, you see that it is already occupied. With luck, you may be able to knock out one of the supports with a thrown object, causing the bridge to collapse. Throw a piece of equipment. Throw my wooden shield. You take a moment to gauge the wind and then launch the projectile at the bridge. The bridge breaks, sending some of your enemies to their doom. The rest prepare for battle. Uh, what am I getting rid of here? Am I choosing what to fight or to kill? Um, let's get rid of the musket dudes. Maybe? Maybe this is the fight. Yeah. Mm. 
Cutthroat's blades. A lovely pair of fine blades. I hate it up here. The fingers are too cold for music. Definitely weaker against these guys. They're a bit tougher. Pretty straightforward though. Fame. Seven food. I'm coming to get you. How do I, how do I get you though? Even peace hides steel within. The wilds are home to many a rebel, criminal, and beast. Okay, just fight. You should run while you have the chance. <laughs> Got another achievement. I kind of like two handers, I kind of like them. More fame. Equipment. Um, no. Winter's Bane, which we kind of want to still use. I need, shit, I need 23 more uh, finishers with that. Can I skip a turn? Probably can't. And he's gonna constantly run away. Uh, I also want to change back to this, please. Thank you. There we go. One more relic is within your grasp. Who hired these thieves? That is the true question. Uh, though their movements are erratic, you eventually track the thieves back to their camp. You catch them frantically loading the relic onto a horse and cart. Just hold them, hold him off for a couple of minutes while we ready the horses. And no, no, no. fucking around okay I wonder if I've I've reduced their numbers hmm 
Oh, and I've got the wrong weapon equipped. Yeah, this is problem. Watchman. Can block, greatly reducing incoming damage. Shit. Damn, that would have been nice. That was good, good time. I didn't re like. I I noticed the flavor text said like just hold them off, and I'm thinking, oh, whatever. It's just a regular, regular old thing. Um, no, take it again. What is armor of gluttony? Food defense. Gain 30% defense if you have 20 or more food. Gain an extra 30% defense for each additional 3 food up to 30. Food. Gain plus 2 or plus 1 food in endless after every encounter. Reduces movement speed. Stun bash. Charge bash causes stun. Health potion. Uh, nope, I'll take that too. Treacherous wilds. Yo ho ho? What the fuck is that? I don't even know what happened before. You pluck some juicy wild berries from a thorn covered thicket. Minus five max health. Cool. Yep. Cartographer. Accept 20 gold. Yeah. Nope. That didn't work. A moment of peace on your travels. Savor it. The wilds are welcoming. They're bounty plentiful. You harvest succulent berries. Gotcha this time, you fucker. Yep. Eight of them. Let's go ham this time. Speaking of ham, Ms. Quee bought one for Christmas. Very excited. I hope this works. Did I get it that time? Okay, got it. Phew. Torin's Plate. Cursed. The new wielder of this item will gain a curse. Bound. This card cannot be discarded. Redeemer's Tax. But did I put it on? Lose a random equipment card whenever you lose a curse. Did I fucking wear it? 
Who would want to steal such a thing? No, I didn't. I didn't get a curse, did I? Fucking, um, fucking. Oh. We did get one. So just by holding it. Okay. That's, that's nice and fair. It's cool. Owner, not wearer. Well, I disagree. Was he wearing a pirate hat before? No, not my sword. There is little I can say that will stop an adventurer pilfering ancient artifacts. I see you're interested in our relic. Local legends tell of a time when a great hero will come to reclaim it. Until then, it remains here under our watch. Let's vote on this one. Fuck knows. I don't know. You require 15 fame. Take it by force then. A rabble. See, told you I was a hero. Not this time. If you give away everything that is critical, you cannot hope to win. You are your own worst enemy here. Or are you merely testing me? As the last villager falls at your feet, you realize their plan was never to defeat you, merely to distract you while the old woman burnt the shrine to the ground. For breaking the relic, you have failed to win the gold token. I mean, hey, learn, live and live and learn some, yep. Children are always the ones to suffer most. They have an excess of capacity for Uh... I'm not fond of children, as you well know. You recall a time when Mal was asked to relinquish his last sweet roll to a crying child. He refused. But Ira won't give me the cure if we don't rescue them. Defeat two steel monster cards within 60 seconds. Six, one minute to defeat. Okay, well... Right, yep, lots of, uh, lots of trial and error, I think.
All right, what do we got? Nice. Hidden beneath a pile of refuse, you find a grate that leads presumably under the fort. Without considering your wishes, Mal wedges the grate open and descends into the gloom. You follow suit, as you don't quite trust him on your own. The rough stone walls of the narrow passageway grate against your skin as you feel your way through the sewers. You stumble blindly into Mal and clumsily plunge into the water. Blight of Terror. Or Terror of Blight, I still don't know how to read that. The commotion rouses a group of corrupted creatures. By sea and sun, fate and bane. <laughs> It's Terror of Bright, capital T. The final monstrosity falls gurgling. Mal gazes at the bodies with troubled look at bodies. With troubled look on his face. This one is wearing a necklace. Looks like a family heirloom. The bard, usually fond of looting and stealing, doesn't allow you to touch the necklace. Bard should shut the hell up. Huge success. That's what we want, folks. Reckon number number two. Final call. That was a huge failure. <clears throat> number three, was it? Oh no, I didn't see it. Three steel monster cards within sixty seconds. Shit. Oh. Oh, that's not an epic, epic win. With a click, the lock pops open and clatters to the floor. Mal awkwardly pats one on the head. Your mother and I are going to kill the bad men. You stay here unless we die, in which case you're on your own. Children nod. You sneak up the stairs and survey the scene before you. The soldiers mill about the fort courtyard. Mal draws his spell book. I have an incantation that will covertly teleport a few soldiers away from here, potentially to their deaths, but I'll require some of your blood. Do it. <clears throat> Drips onto the rune line page. I, I can't even see the cards. Good. Oh. Let's redraw that one. Brilliant. Now I've lost my guy for three turns as well. Somewhat boned, I think, is the term here. This is a very difficult run, this one. Oh my god. 60 seconds? Ain't gonna happen.
I am dead. Wow. Now death comes to you. This story ends <clears throat> here. But it's just that run, right? Yeah, we still go back. Would you like to enable apprentice mode? This will make combat easier by increasing your damage and automating reposts and finishes, but leaving everything else identical. Steam leaderboards will be disabled. You can toggle this mode. No, don't ask again. Okay, no, no, no. Everything's still, everything's still here. What time is it? I got time for one more. All right. So let's uh, recommend clear and fill here. Actually, encounters, I want to manually select. No. No, no, no. This is bad. Okay, I want... Watchtower, no, no, trade blessing. Ah, no, no, that's trade blessing for max life, right? Yeah, no, I don't want that either. That one. It's the only one I really want one. I think. Distress damsel. It depends on it depends on the the blessings we get. Arm wrestling, sure. Dice rolls are good. Let's keep it, take a couple of unknown ones. Um, deep water, distressed damsel. Yes, yes. And then a random peasant son. Peasant son. Manning tree, friendly innkeeper. You know, you shouldn't because it helps people, but you always feel insulted. Mm, I don't mind it. That's fine. <laughs> the shadow folk appear to have found your trail. You followed, you follow frenzied rumors of vampires and werebeasts. To a derelict farm deep in the lowlands, a thin farmer tilling the rocky soil looks up in desperate hope as you approach. Please, our little Timos was taken by a monster with bloody claws and gleaming eyes. They came, they came through the walls. He points a shaking finger at the hills. Sure enough, you find a boy huddled at the back of a menacing cave. As you draw near, a hulking cloaked figure emerges from the shadows to surround you. Fuck him up. Let's go. Shadows can counterattack. Light weapons are recommended. Change weapons in the inventory. Well, can't really do shit, can I? It's it's good to have options like that, though. It, it accessibility features are, are great, and that is technically one. Oh, they're so cute. If nothing else, I'll get a shot out of this.
Now you pissed it off. Where'd he go? Oh boy. Oh, you got him. Good work. Zapper man. <clears throat> Poor fame. Small family gathers a dusty bundle of what they came. Get some equipment. Uh, defend 30 attacks. Ten bucks, nice. Make a donation, nice. We don't have our dice roll here. There must be a rarer one, I would say. Got a couple of dice roll ones previously. Pretty freaking dope. Twenty-five life. Dice target fourteen. Let's do it. We can do this. Wow. Oh, that's pretty good. Fuck you. <laughs> Come on out, boys. Good. I wanted to fight. You have to stop helping people. It always ends up like this. See what happens when you try to dodge. I don't even know what happened there. Did he zap him again? He zapped him again. <laughs> yeah, won that time. simple part of every story, especially a tale spent in the company of allies and boon companions. The, pros the proprietor greets you warmly. What can I provide to the savior of the rusty razor? Uh, lodging? Rumors. Tells you that the recent cheese festival has kept the inn busy and his coffers full. Congratulations? What do, what do you want? Rest? No. Buy food, buy healing. I'm good. Okay, so we know the innkeeper is just a respite. You know what to do.
Was I too bold? Too egotistic? Excuse me, Twitch chat Certainly. are deciding, okay? Yet I would never have wrestled. We need a combo breaker. It's that the simple. Of beyond, were I not? I'll be the combo breaker. Nice. The climb becomes unbearable. You seek shelter in a cave and desperately fight off the onset of frostbite. When the howling winds ease, you clear the snow from the cave entrance to discover the dark clouds have passed. Basically, you don't lose. You just... Hey, nice. Oh, that's right. If we get gold, uh, we, we get um, healing as well. next level what do we got one blessing seat i don't know if that's enough man oh i don't know man i think i want i uh, number one i think number one might be the dice one i don't know i wasn't i didn't mm, yeah mm, i don't know <laughs> Number three. Let's do it. That was not it. I don't think that actually counts as a hit, which is pretty good. No, it doesn't. I tried to repost, or, or at least, you know, block that. It didn't seem to work. Uh, retrieve the weapon dig him out if we dig him out I th think yeah adds plus one to each of your dice during the dice gambit so that's two blessings deep water cross running water these days, you must deal with far more mundane opposition. Leap into the river. Dice target 11. Let's do it. Poor fame. More gold. Oh, we just escaped. Okay. Another blizzard. Big Blizzard.
Go for it. Go for it, folks. Oh, wow. Um, it's going to fail. Some of the weapon, the weapons are difficult to, you, I mean, it just takes a long time. You got to like grind them out a little bit, huh? Still a somewhat successful, eh. Another blizzard. Hey, one, two, what's up? Number two. All right. It's two for two, chat. We're doing well. I don't. I don't. This is going to be such a tough one to pass. We're going to need more. We're going to have to progress normally through the game, I think, until we get more events that give us. Uh, chances at the uh, blessings At least we're consistent. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? 
Combat feels really stale. It's, uh... How would I explain it? It is not as smooth as some other games are. Don't fuck me, chat. Let's go. Let's get a good bet. Good, good, good vote going this time. Simplified it to the most basic level. It's not about the, the combat though, right? Crawbird. Combo Breaker. Uh, allies return. Sure, yep. Revive Companion. Sure, don't really care. It's a, just another blessing. Two more we need on the next map. On this map, sorry. We need two more, which is so fucking unlikely. Crawbird. My, my dude. Like it. The problem is, with each one of these, um... It's just, we're just skipping turns here. This, we're not earning anything, so really. He did, he put another hat on, fucker. Weirdo. <clears throat> a shame. I mean, let's not be too critical, right? They, uh, I think they designed a really good game. Hardly elegant, but possibly effective. Games within games within games. Dig him out again. To fame. Yes. Can we earn one more? Arm wrestling. And what else we got? Peasant son. It's a 
shadows again. Mm, much scary. It's like the least threatening vampires ever. Just one? What? Ah, that's more like it. Okay. Welcome. What was the game we were playing yesterday? I can't even remember. <clears throat> Shit. Valuable for purely financial reasons, if nothing else. All right, arm wrestling it is. I don't think we can earn, earn anything from here. 16, huh? Oh, shit. Fuck you. Oh, I got it. <laughs> Do we get another blessing? Or just, just the cash? It's what you really wanted out of the game you were playing yesterday? Inscription? This is the game that, whilst we were playing Inscription, people were reminded of. Like, it, I'm sure there's a lot of... Um, Failed again. Fuck! Missed by one. <clears throat> I mean, the, the primary similarities is the fact that you have a, a host, right? It's like, does anyone remember the game that had an emulated desktop I think it was called Kingsway essentially the same thing just a different skin on it Wake up, you. Ah, you hit me. Is the Twitch integration native? As opposed to what?
Got it. Twitch negation when done right is really nice. Failed again. Yeah, that's a that's a tough one to pass. Um It is 5:30 a.m. Taffy won't be on yet, will he? Nope, but Hollow is. Oh, Hollow's grinding, playing fucking Minesweeper. In that case, I have no one to raid. Um, folks, have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, same bat chip time channel, whatever. Um, you've been great, as usual. Miss Quee will lead the stream, 6 p.m. PST. Another random game, another Isaac run. We are up to 16th run tomorrow. We're, we're doing well. We, we passed the hump. Take it easy, guys. Gotcha.